<sighs> All right, how much did she? Sorry for the hold up. It's time for more Dark Souls 2. Level 182. Okay. Hmm. I guess. Just gonna keep on going. Don't think there was anything else at the moment in particular. Big thing is that. Let me actually check real quick. Shrine entrance. And. Oh, this is the only bonfire. Uh, this might suck. Depending on how long it takes to get to the dragon. Because after we talk to the dragon. We're gonna have to figure out how to kill the dragon. Because it drops a giant soul, which I'm gonna need for when we go and kill Vendrick. Oh goodness. Certainly something. The dragon tried is. Dragon Airy is back there, and. All the keep far, far below. Can I see it from here? No, I can't. Okay. Hmm. Funny and space. Space defying. You know what? Angelus Mortis. Let's just fight this guy. Okay. Come on, come on. Let's see how well this will work. Probably get rid of. Oh, yeah, this is a decent, decent enough ring. Hello. Hi. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my goodness. Well. <laughs> That, <laughs> that was anticlimactic. <laughs> Alright. We got a dragon scale. Yeah. It does seem like this hex build is more than strong enough for whatever I want to do. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. But yeah, you know, it's 144, which is... More than a 50% increase over my lowest bonus, which is lightning, leveling everything up equally. Help me, giant, and then friend. Bashing through and short try prudence. Try fatty and then lesser foe. Okay, yeah, that that would probably be a good way to go about it. Oh, hi. So these are a lot like those old knights from Hyde's Tower. Hi. Oh, what was that? Huh? Okay. Interesting. Okay. Then we got you over here. Hi. Can we actually... Wait. Control, be wary of attacking. Oh, so... Interesting. Let me see, actually. If I jump, I just pancake you. Let me see. Come on. Can I do a jump attack with this? I can. Okay. I just need to hold the stick in the right direction. Hi! And just continue to stunlock you. Goodbye. And occasionally you'll drop. Oh, interesting. And it makes the other guys come up too. That said, I don't imagine that this should be all that difficult. Hi, we can just mostly. I would say we could mostly stunlock you, but that was faster than I expected. And so that is the weakness with the Ultra Great Swords. For all the poise damage they do, they attack pretty slowly. Which means that poise stunlocking is not actually all that viable. Oh well. And you're over there, and I hope those Drake Keepers don't stay perma aggroed now. That would really suck. Okay, cool. Oh, right, and you do that. Cool. Hi. Oh, oh. I don't want to lose that blood stain. Maybe I'll just run in and grab it real quick first. Fun place. Not really. Mm -hmm. Maybe getting a human effigy. Maybe actually effigying up right now. We're at 80% or so max health. So yeah, I'll just increase my max a bit again. I got plenty of these to burn, really. I don't need to worry all that much. Okay, so the big thing is that after we kill the dragon, we will eventually, we will also have to kill Vendrick first, be able to pick up its soul from a 
sort of memory realm. Hi. And just like that. Go for a couple. Oh, okay. So that makes it go from a two hit kill to a three hit kill, not having the enchantment. So how often... Actually, I should just keep using dark weapon in here. Pretty sure they're dark weak too. Either way, even if they aren't, dark is strong enough that it doesn't really matter. Come on. And just keep smacking you, and you're coming over here. Hi. Hello. Can I just jump? Hit! There we go, and one more. So a jump attack, if I can reliably pull it off. And then while they're stunned, I can reliably more or less get a light attack off Fetty. Chest ahead, and let's see what's in here. I have a good amount of Ferris Lock Stones. Let's see what this is. Oh well. And I think third Dragon Ring might be behind here. Let's see. Alright. And not a Mimic. Not a Mimic. Hmm. This is... Oh! The Mask Robe Mansions and Heights of Judgment. So that would be Oswald's I mean Cromwell's set. Let's check that out real quick. Mess of... Come on, come on. Really do need to go back to Pharaohs and just sell a bunch of stuff to Goblin. And... Not that, not that. Steel. What? Huh? Mask of Judgment. Judgment. Come on, come on. Yeah, it's gone so full. I don't need multiple of any of these. Get rid of one of those Warlock Elms, at the very least. Mask of Judgment. Oh, I'm going crazy. A okay, Mask of Judgment, there it is. So that would be the same outfit as the partner from Dark Souls 1 2. Sin was said to be her domain, name of this goddess is long forgotten, but it's a Valka. Serve worn by a person of great authority. And Rogue of Judgment, okay, that's the same. Oh, there we go. Alright. Come on, come on. So what would be... Which way do we need to go? Obviously we need to go to the end there, which is actually an area kind of similar to the Cathedral Blue from before. I think this... let's see... should be... Is this a mimic? It's not. I don't think. Unless I just missed. Okay, and what's in here we got? Oh, three bonfire ascetics. Could be worse. And anything down here? It doesn't seem like it. Okay. Hmm. But I suppose the area would have had to be obscured by magic. As it really does not, and people have pointed this out a lot, like the Earthen Peak to Iron Keep elevator doesn't make any physical sense. Don't you dare. Why? Okay. So they're gonna wait. It's a stork weapon up again. Hello? Hi. Whoa, and... Can we just... Oh, actually... That... Kind of stunned them. Interesting. So I guess when we go to try to actually fight... A dragon, we should... Not waste our time on most of these guys. Sure. Okay. Ah! Ah! Come on, come on. Jump and swing. Roll out of the way. Oh, well. This her damage isn't all that crazy. Hi. Jump and hit. Good stuff. Fun, too. And I believe there's some of them with a sword that they could drop. It's kind of like a black dragon katana. Which would be pretty cool if we could get it. We'll say. This over here. Is this weakness attacking? Well, doesn't look like a mimic. It is. Okay. Twinkling Titanite. Okay, so they were trying to convince people to attack that and destroy that chest and get a bunch of rubbish. That is antisocial. So, in that case. I guess we can... Hello. You have... You do have the sword. That's nice. So let's try to see if we can jump. Jump. 
keep holding forward, and there we go. Hi. Oh, he roll caught me. Don't like that. Come on, come on, and just jump. Oh, or miss. Come on. Oh, or uh, annoying. And we keep on going. Jump and one, two. Good stuff. You did not drop your sword. Okay. And what is over here that we might like to get? Fate stone? Uh, whatever. Yeah. So we've already been down to this part. Don't need to... Actually, maybe I'll go up the stairs again real quickly just to see how much... There's someplace else I could maybe try falling down onto. Possibly. But yeah, it's just... So far up in the sky, you've got these big pillars of stone. Trees growing on them somehow. I feel like those trees would get very inbred very fast. Hmm. How much genetic diversity can you maintain a land population when all you've got are seeds on that one outcropping? Well, they're magic, so maybe it doesn't matter. Cool fantasy landscape, I will say. So would I have to jump onto there? I might have to jump onto there. Onto that ledge from the tower in order to actually reach it. Either way, no reason not to S this up right now. Just go to waste otherwise. My funny armor set and my pale, unhollowed face. I do wonder what's in that chest across the way. And... 46 for a level up. Okay. So yeah, it does seem like there's no way to drop down, so you would have to jump over. Is this going to be through a dragon ring? No, it's actually the Drake Keeper's Great Axe and Great Shield. So those are completely non-skilled weapons, if I recall correctly. And I think I actually got another one of those. No, I didn't. I got another Drake Keeper thing. I got the hammer from one of those from the Dark Spirit and Iron Keep. With it be granted audience. Great axe, yep, no scaling. I could wield that if I wanted to. But it would take a lot of upgrading to make work. Okay. With it be granted audience and the shield. Let's see the shield. Slumbering Dragon Shield. Stamina recovery. Knowledge of the wasted land. Slumbering Dragon. Oh, so that would be Sin from the Sucking King DLC. Hmm. Destruction of Shulva. Let me check. And that's the Drake Keeper's Great Shield. Are there any Great Shields I could use right now? Does not seem like it. Maybe I should check, because... I don't actually do a lot of parries. I don't really need to anyway. So. Hmm. Okay, so that right over there. Oh, green sword. Drake Keeper, hi. Oh, oh, okay. Come on, come on, and just. There we go. If only that attack had been ever so slightly faster. Whatever. Come on, come on. And you're not attacking right now, but it's more fun to fight you. Come on, come on. And there we go. We got you over there now. And ooh, out of my way. Ugh. Come on, come on. And a little closer. And smack. And follow up. There we go. Okay. None of you have dropped anything. Try attacking. What does... Huh. Is this some kind of illusory wall, or... Well, overconfidence. Funny. I did it. So is there anything over here, or... Huh, what is this specific spot and location? I don't see anybody coming down here, but... Wait. Is this a mimic? Doesn't seem like it. Hmm. Well, whatever. Might be something nice inside. Oh, a Titanite slab. That is nice. 
Let's ask this up again, and clearly we're gonna get ganked when we go around this corner, probably. Oh well. Oh, I hear somebody. I hear somebody, anything. Oh, it's a big knight with a hammer. Hi. Oh, 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 oh. What? Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, heal up. Reapply dark weapon. So I'm not a cast for that. Maybe I'd actually like to use a root of water or something. Oh, oh, oh! Come on. Just out of the way of that. Come on, and just one more, one more. There we go. Nice. And what is behind this door? Hmm. Is this gonna be the way to the top or it's just gonna be treasure? Well, there is treasure, that's for sure. Let's see what's inside. Come on, come on. Oh, Dragonfang Billard. Oh, and that's their dragon ring. Hello, how are you doing? I am working my way through the dragon shrine. If you couldn't tell. Okay, so now we've got even more stamina, more health, and more equip load. What is in here? So someone, we got an NPC invader, Dragonfang Billard. I don't know where he is. Is at the very top here? That might be frightening. Are you almost done with exams at least? We are going through the dragon find shrine and fighting a dragon. Hi! Hello. Oh, 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 okay. Come on. Just jump and slam. One, two. Oh, that did not kill? Okay, one more hit. There we go, okay. Oh, alright, okay. Well, I'm glad to hear that that's all done, though. Oh, wow. Are things just heating up? So we can pick up the dragon egg from here. Boulder. Petrified egg. That's pretty unique. An item that big. Quite something ahead. Let's see. Petrified something? Come on, come on. Yep, petrified something. Do you find it funny how people do a message like that. Have you learned anything interesting at least, or has it all been kind of a wash? Ooh, so I guess we could maybe drop back down here, possibly. Uh, oh, there's another chest over here. Quite something in short try right. Another petrified something. Okay. Mm. Lots of stuff in here. Oh, crystal magic weapon in a fragrant branch. Can't use crystal magic weapon, but... Okay. That's good. So, what would you say is the most interesting thing you've learned? Also, let me see. Uh, petrified egg, where is that gonna be? So I can trade that with the guy at Iron Keep to get access to the Dragon Covenant. Oh, there we go. Unidentified petrified egg surely bears no life. There's life itself, two secrets of existence. What does a petrified egg harbor? Let's just go over, slam that remaining knight. He gave me his sword, that would be really cool. Don't think that'll happen though. I'll offer something. Skeptic spice and a twilight herb, well, that was barely anything. Come on. And just another, there we go, cool. So the stun from the jump attack helps. Oh, oh, interesting. So is that... A communications class thing then? So what effects in particular are you looking into? I've also got dark hail and dark ore, but I'm wondering who those would be particularly useful on. Oh cool. That sounds fun. Huh. So drop down here. Don't know if I can even get up on that ledge. I probably can't. There's that spire, it's yeah, there's not much left, I don't think. Hmm. Right through that door. Let's just see what's... Clearly there's a blood stain. I don't like the sound of that. Well, I don't like the sight of that. Go through here. And... Hmm. How much more is there in here? Can I destroy this door? Let me see. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, okay. 
So are you studying cinema because it was a technological innovation? Try attacking. You know, in an objective sense, that would be a horrible, horrible idea. But I feel like tempting fate. I don't need to... Yeah, because they're all bowing. Get far away enough, they bow, but... Oh, and somebody's coming. Who are you? Hello. Oh, interesting. That's one heck of a movement. Hi. Just get out of the way and... Oh, oh. So I guess going for jump attacks might be a better idea. So you're power stancing. And why is that? I mean, the big thing is that a lot of people don't know it or assume it isn't true, but vampires are actually an incredibly new folklore creature. They're less than a thousand years old. Vampires are much, much older and much more attested. Because vampires date back to before the BC-80 turn, you know, because arguably the first vampire was Lycaon from Greek mythology, who among other things has attestations in Ovid's Metamorphoses. That, that is interesting, especially since people have made a lot of hay about the political or the sort of philosophical implications of, dra of vampire stories versus zombie stories. And it's a bit overplayed, but essentially what a, lo what a lot of people sometimes say is that zombies are a fear of the masses, are basically fearing the unwashed masses. And being afraid of vampires is being afraid of the elites. Because, you know, zombies are these unthinking hordes that attack in mass groups without any sophisticated tactics. But vampires, they're solitary and they corrupt people. It's a battle of the mind. Hi, and... So we need to find a way to escape this group of knights. Oh... Yeah, I knew this wasn't going to be a good idea, but I did it anyway. Okay. Let's just get it out of the way. Hmm. Interesting. Come on, come on. Chess. Okay, so how far are you going to go? And that's the question. Let's actually see if we can... Dark Hail. Oh, nice. What? Okay. Yeah, that is not such a good idea. Okay. So actually, what I could do... I could equip Dark Storm. That's what I that's what I should do. The issue is that I would need a chime to cast anything with it, I think. Let's check that out. To my spells, check out Dark Storm, Dark Storm, Dark Storm. Dead again is not good, especially since none of them are dropping anything. And so Scraps of Life is basically Dark Storm. It's very similar actually. Okay, let's not one. Okay. I'm gonna just run back and get my blood stain from the 20s. What movie was it? Okay, and running past them does not aggravate the dragon guys, which is good. Hi, hi. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Just run, run, run. Run, run, run. And then I'll grab it and I'll just. Teleport back. I need to use Kaifa's shine for this, probably. Oh! Well, I can SpongeBob. <sighs> Newer SpongeBob, and people are conflicted about it. Some people like it, some people don't. I don't watch it anymore. Even though it arguably is trying to appeal more to an older audience now that, you know, kid kids are going to be watching and consuming different media, is... They're using lots of old gimmick characters from earlier seasons, like Nosferatu from that one Night Shift episode, or... The big one is that Bubble Bass keeps coming back. They made him a recurring character, the, the No Pickles guy. And beyond that, New Ember, they turn him into a parody of the Nostalgia Critic, if you know who that is. Okay, so Kythus Chime is going to be... Protective Chime. Uh, for Natalisman, something entirely different. So, Kytha's Chime 
Whereas there it is, and this is the best dark charm period. That's just, and we have lots of dark stones, that's good. Let's actually, let's reinforce this and see how much it might change it, because the Sunset Staff got a crazy amount of AR from Dark Infusion. This is, and we have, oh, we have more than enough to infuse this, okay. And it can only cast Hexes. Cannot cast Miracles. Hex Dedicated cannot be used. Yeah, it's... Yeah. It makes me nostalgic. Let's just tie my chunk. Chunk, and this is the best. Hex Chime! Let's just... Actually, let me see real quick. Try... Guess we could keep a staff and a chime there, maybe? Sure. It's not gonna make my load much heavier. Okay, let's chime, and what is the AR on that? What is the dark AR on that? That's 394 right now, and what would it be with... What would it be with a dark infusion? Because it should be better. 94 and... 40 to 27. 94. 94, and now it's... Oh wow, that would be from 394 to 3. 453, which isn't a crazy game, but it's meaningful. What is it? Tell me. And can I- oh, I'm actually a little bit away from being able to level up. I'll pop a soul or something. Let's get one more quick level. Oh! So, did you try to extort them? Did you try to guild them into giving you something? Maybe. Okay, let's... Large soul, the name of soldier. Let's see, two maybe? Okay, so we actually need... One more? Sure, sure, okay. Come on, come on. Let's be your side. Hope is fully withered. Oh, wow! So, is that good or bad, then? I need a tiny bit more souls. Oh, so... What you're saying is that they're obsessed and you live rent-free in their head? Let's use this. There we go, good enough. Come on. Oh. oh, oh, I thought... I didn't know you were talking about a guy. Okay. A little bit more HP, a tiny bit more stamina. Well, in that case, maybe maybe he's grown and improved as a person. Who knows? Okay, let's go back to the shrine. Maybe, maybe they remembered from your friend. Let's see. Let me see something real quick. Oh, oh. That's brutal. Okay. Oh, interesting. Well, it's life, I guess. Let's see. And scraps of life. Then. Oh, so that stays up pretty persistently. Let's try this out. Oh my goodness. It's, I don't think it's that complicated. Oh! Oh, poises. Come on, let's just see how much damage this deals. Oh, it's the ring that deals more damage, but the shield is up. Oh, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Let me attune. Let's put on Dark Storm. That will cost more, but it should hopefully do a lot more damage. Can't use Profound still. Let's try Dark Storm. Oh, oh. And was she stalking you or something? Let's try Dark Storm. Hi. Boom. And. Oh, oh. I was not expecting that. But. Hmm. Okay, tell me. Explain this to me. Okay, and just advance. Sure, sure, and there we go. I want to trap Darkstorm on this guy. Let's see. Hi. Oh, but 
That is kind of surprising. I thought that would be more... Oh, good lord. Come on. And what is... Okay, so actually, Scraps of Life is going to be far better for the same kind of thing. I'm trying to put down a field for them to bump into and die in. Let's see. Scraps of Life, but we've only got one. So what can I put in there? Well, I don't have any other dark things I could attune at the moment. So, I don't know. So we got... Sunset Staff. I guess if I really had to, I could put on a... Well, I could try Homing Soul Arrow. I could try it. Okay. <laughs> to see how much damage it deals or doesn't. Ah. Uh, okay, oh, so... That's interesting. Yeah, this is not doing all that much damage at all. But it's slower. Hmm. Come on, come on. Okay. Huh. Wait, so even though you don't get along, he's still in a group chat with you and a bunch of your friends? That... I don't... That's certainly something. So that... We're decently testing it out, but yeah, when I try to aggro all those Drake Knights at the end, I should probably use Scraps of Life instead. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Alright then. I'm just gonna... So saving the Dark Orbs for the final group might be good. That said, uh, Dark Hail could be good if I could make proper use of it. Hi. And just stay out of the way of that. And ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on, die, die. There we go. Well, in that case... Maybe... Maybe it's unfounded. There's only so much you can trust your intuition. You know, disgust and fear can be part of moral instincts, but it can't be the be-all end-all of them. Oh, okay, and that did not work as well as I would have expected or preferred. Oh, what? What? Oh, please. That did not aim correctly. Die. There we go. Now it's time to S this up. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to fight this big guy, aggro some more of the knights, and out of the way, out of the way. Okay, we managed to dodge both of those. Nice. And, oh, oh, come on. So actually, we could stay under his attack pretty decently. Okay. Well, in that case, you have some confirmation then. But, unless they said that they were only wishing you a happy birthday to try to cause trouble, I feel like... If you can choose between assuming the worst and assuming the best of people, I would try to assume the best. But that's just me. Come on, come on. And we pancake too. Let's keep on going. So there isn't really, in all of that compelling reason to try to kill that big group of Dragon Knights, but it would be fun. Okay. Well, now I'm interested. Now you've got me interested. I feel like I have to know. Come on, out of the way of that, and, and one more. Good thing that those ones are pretty. Oh, use Telegram? Interesting. In America, people only really use Telegram for communications that they don't want the government seeing. So it's mostly just people with various fringe political opinions. Okay. And will you drop anything? Because I thought all Europeans used WhatsApp. Is Telegram basically Discord for Europeans then? Or the equivalent? So actually, if I wanted to, I could try closing the doors. Okay, so yeah, it is basically European Discord then. Alright. So is there anyone else up there who I'd want to... So it's going to be seven guys chasing us once we get rid of this guy. Come on. 
And just come on, come on. Ooh, ooh, out of the way of that. Let's just keep on running. Keep on running. Oh, nice. Out of the way of that, out of the way of that. Come on, come on. Okay. I didn't know you'd have to crack software. I thought that would just be... Come on, come on, knock you up, knock you up. And how much damage are we going to deal as long as we can just continue moving throughout the area? We can get rid of a lot of you. Hi, hi. And just... What the... Oh, please. Oh, please. Awakens the souls of the long buried dead. Come on, and just out of the way, out of the What? Okay. Huh? What kind of attack was that? Weird. Hmm. So maybe it would actually be better to just equip a bunch of dark hails? Maybe. Let's try that again. Hmm. It's... There's really no compelling reason to want to actually fight them all. But it's a matter of pride for me. It's a matter of pride for me. If I can't do this, what am I even doing? Oh, okay, so 3D modeling software. That's right. I do find it kind of funny that they're having to do 3D modeling for communications, was it? Oh, please, and just... What? what? Come on. Nonsense, nonsense. How are you so fast? How are these guys faster than the... Whatever, whatever. Die. Okay. Context that... And her ex. Which was... Was it related to you? Or... Okay, so Dark Weapon will turn it from a... Two hit to a one hit, which is... Important and good. Hi, and... There we go. Now we got you. Hello. Jump, and... Yes. There we go. Okay. Okay. So it was just... Right, and I think you did tell me about that. It was just, they needed something to teach you, and they decided, let's do 3D modeling. For no real reason. What? Uh-huh! What? What? Not... What the... Oh! Goda! The dumbest thing about Dark Souls 2 is that when you do a rolling attack, it doesn't correct for the direction. It doesn't correct for lock-on. If you roll and then attack, you'll attack in the direction of lock-on, regardless of... Actually, let me see. You can do it with a stick, but it just... It doesn't account for lock-on at all. Lock-on has nothing to do with it. Annoying. Ugh, dumb. Okay. We can try this crap again. Hi. It's just... What are you even doing? What are you even doing? Oh, okay. Oh! Oh, online. Okay. I was under the impression that it was an in-person thing. Okay. And we got another one of you. Hi. Hello. Come on, and... It still hit me? Whatever. I guess I didn't time it as well as I should have. But okay, so the rolling attacks aren't horrible, but I do have to manually aim them, which is not fun. Come on, and just. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Ugh. And it's out of the way of that. And the range on that was not nearly good enough to. And you stunned me enough to just double tap me. So stupid. Why do I have enough armor if it isn't even helping with poise? I guess maybe I could put on Giant's Ring, but dumb, dumb, dumb. Uh, stupid. Come on. I guess I'll just use this. Oh, wow. And was that to isolate her, or was it just for fun, or...? I don't even know why someone would do that. That's crazy. Yeah, that that really sucks. And another hit. Let's just 
They don't take that many hits to kill, but it's a matter of getting the hits in on them. Ah, oh, oh, come on. Jump and swing. Oh, one more, one more. Hi. Jump and... I guess that works, kind of. Oh, 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 oh. But the wake up is gonna suck. Uh, get in closer, get in closer, and let's dodge the... Okay. Dumb, dumb. Okay, at least we got you. It's... That's nasty. That's really bad behavior. It's just... Wow. I mean, what would even... What kind of thing would even say that? Can't even... Nothing even comes to mind. Okay. Dragon Charm. Ugh. Jump and swim. We actually managed to hit one from behind, which is nice. Hello, hello. And just out of the way of that, and then we... Ooh! And swing. But that didn't kill. Whatever. And there we go. Nice. Yeah. Well, a lot of people are more pathetic than you might expect. Okay. Let's just go for this. Come on, come on. Yeah, it's... You gotta wonder why. It's just... Some people, it's just, you know... What's their problem, even? Yeah. I don't know, because... Because if it's been that long, he might have matured and grown as a person and wanted to try to... reconcile. I don't know. It's... Again... It's... I try not to assume the worst of people. Let's... go over... Don't really need to chime for anything right now. Let's see if I can pancake one of the dragon guys and mm, come on. Got a lot of twinkling titanites. I should probably try upgrading some armor. Oh. Wow. Oh, so he Yeah. It's just really, what is his problem? That's just... What business does he have in doing that? I'm sorry to hear that, then. That can't be fun. You know, I didn't, I didn't want to say anything like that, but... That is the joke a lot of people might make. Okay, well... That rid all of you. Not a good idea. Okay, and just... See if we can... Come on, come on, and out of way of that. I guess the dark orbs would probably be better to spam, maybe. Hi, and we got one of them. Not one of them. Just don't want to. Come on, come on. And out of the way of that. How can we? Hi, hi. And just. Uh, come on, and. There we go. So using it like a shotgun is good. Fair. Well, either way, you managed to laugh about it instead of getting annoyed, so I would say you won in the end. Yeah. And Italian, too. Imagine being rich and Italian. Pick a struggle. Kidding. Okay. Oh, and now you're, now you're coming over here. We just... How are we gonna... Oh, you've kind of gotten stuck. That's nice. Hi. Come on, come on, and just over there. So Dark Hail's working pretty well. Nice. And just boom. And the roll catch worked alright too. It's basically a magic shotgun. Fun. So where are we coming over here now? Alright. Nice. This is a decent amount of spacing. Hi. Boom, boom. Probably just get you with a one last quick slash. Yeah, well. In that case, it's a win-win. He thinks you he thinks you won, you think you won. 
Everyone's happy here. Okay, get a little get in a little closer. And oh, oh goodness. Yeah, sure. Tell me. There we go. Got that got that got that. Decent amount of souls from all this. What is it? Tell me. Hi. Oh, and you're glowing. Okay. Getting closer. Getting closer. Hello. Hello. Come on, come on, and just... Oh, well, alright. Come on, and die. Die. And it's gonna be one more, and do it, do it. There we go. So I think we got those Drake Keepers down. Come on, come on. I mean, those Dragon Knight guys. Oh, there are a few more. Not that many, though. Alright, alright. For you. Let's see. Just go in and oh oh come on come on just blast them. Are you coming over here? Kind of kind of oh oh out of my way out of my way. Oh my gonna. Okay. So he was possessive. Makes sense. Okay. How can I can I ask this up here? I think I can. Come on come on come on. Okay. And then what happened? Did they start dating? Uh, or did he end up gay, or... What happened? Come on, come on. Please, out of the way of that. Can we jump? We can jump. Okay, come on, come on. It's about half health. Okay. And then what happened? And, yeah, so, well, that, <sighs> that's a weird situation then, because what it means is that even if he was a jerk, that, That he was right, that he was interested in her. And that... It's... This is why I don't like getting involved with drama. Wire head, wire head. Okay. Let's see if I'm going. Okay. I think that's very, very true, and I do find it funny that you use the phrase nice guy to describe him, but, and I think the dragon is past here, given the context it's used in colloquially in America, but I think for better or worse, and you can make your own judgment, well, yeah. She didn't know, but it didn't change the fact that he was waiting around basically thinking, okay, so when when is she going to break up with him so I can date her? Which is a profoundly unhealthy attitude. Even if it did work out. It's... I... Okay. It's just... There are multiple brands of unhealthy and multiple brands of creep. Well, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick, and I think I'll... I, w I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say you'd have to leave the friend group, but... There is... I think... Especially if you've been attracted to a person before, and I say this as a man speaking to other men. If you're into a woman and she gets a boyfriend, there's a certain amount of respectful distance that you should keep as a man out of respect for her choice in her relationship. But that's just me.
Okay. So this is... This is my perspective. This is just me saying my piece. Which is that the reason I think... And I don't think he was malicious. You know, in the end, it was largely coincidence. Things happen the way that happens, and I hope they're happy now. But it reminds me of... I know I told you about that whole... How I had a friend group that fell apart along with, you know, there was a couple more or less at the center of it. And when that couple broke up, it was kind of curtains for the friend group. But the entire time there was a guy, that's good, that's good, I'm happy to hear that. There was a guy who I had actually known for a while before any of the other people in that friend group. But he was sort of adjacent and he was very much into very plainly into the woman side of that couple and when she broke up i heard that she had briefly considered dating him but didn't end up doing it when did someone else and people would ask and she was like no but the big thing is that i don't know how much of a role he might have had in maybe convincing her to break up with him in the interest of maybe one to get with her and that's part of why i think taking that kind of step back is probably a prudent and respectful thing to do because as long as and men are like ravenous dogs they're always hungry at least until they get old and their hormones start working but essentially as long as you have an interest in one of the people in the relationship you can never rule out the fact that any advice you might give if they ask you for advice might be self-motivated because essentially imagine that you know you're a guy and you're interested in this chick and she has a boyfriend and she comes in confides in you about your her relationship problems it's how can you trust that the advice you're going to give is not going to be at least maybe even self-consciously motivated by wanting her to break up with him so you can date her you know, because in the end, breaking up is very drastic. Unless there's actual abuse going on, I would say it's usually better to try counseling or work things out through communication. But if you have any kind of interest in basically saying, okay, I want her to, him to break up with her, her to break up with him so I can date her, you can never be sure that your advice is going to be not self-interested. That's just me. Merc ships and stirs. So it's talking, but not talking. Yet another stands before us. Us. Okay. Then so be it. Hmm. These are funny sounds. For the curse of life is the curse of want. Okay. Wow. And so you peer. Hmm. Into the fog and hope of answers. Hmm. Ashen Mistheart, Ancient Dragon. So this allows me to go into memories. It's a key item. Mist. Delve into the memories of the withered. Station of Ashen Mist received from the Ancient Dragon Ashen. So maybe fire related? Ancient Dragon allows one to delve into the memories of the withered. It's... I would honestly say no. And... In particular, and part of it is just... The nature of, probably the nature of artificial hormones, but... People transitioning FTM, when they go on testosterone, one of the things they note is just how much their drive goes up if you catch my drift. And it oftentimes freaks them out. And beyond just the biological aspect, like I've said before, a lot of men put a lot of pretty much all their eggs in one basket in terms of putting all their self-worth on their ability or lack thereof to get romantic or, you, you know, you know what I mean, interests from women. Well, you're the one you say who says you. You always said you hate men. Don't come after me. 
I mean, in the end, I'm not saying it's necessarily a bad thing or a good thing. It's just factual. You know, pe people are wary for reasons. And the dragon isn't saying anything anymore. But the dragon is actually a boss fight. Well, I suppose. So, what I'm gonna have to do... This is a pretty infamous boss fight, too. So I'm gonna go back and change out my items, because what I should equip, actually... I, I feel... I don't think there's anything wrong with being interested in a relationship or being more interested in a relationship than other people. But it's a fact that people should acknowledge and come to terms with. Okay, good, good. Thank you. So in that case, we need to equip... We need Flash Sweat. And then as many lightning spells as possible. Equip... Two Heavenly Thunders, because that's all we can use at the moment. And then, I can't use Lightning Spear, but I can use... I mean, Great Lightning Spear, but I can use a number of... Well, just... I don't think that it's... evil or insidious or a problem that... men tend to be more interested and... in my experience, personal experience, put more of their personal worth on romantic relationships and their ability to for lack of a better term, acquire a romantic relationship. But it's something that needs to be acknowledged, and if, if it's not derogatory, there's no harm in acknowledging it. It's just the way things are. Okay, well, before I fight the dragon, I'm gonna go back and level up one more time. It'll give me a little bit more HP, which might make the difference between life and death. Okay, okay. Come on, come on, let's... Right, no, we need to talk to the Emerald Herald to level up. I'm stupid. Okay. Let's go over here. Level up. Level up. Vitality. Increase our equip load, which should help us something. I think we can get under a certain equip threshold now, which would be nice. Okay. Come on, come on. So actually, if I unequip... The sword? I'm at very, very low equip load. That is really, really good. Oh, I agree. I think... I think it's ultimately much healthier for literally anybody to put their self-worth in things that they have personal control over, but it's not... It's something that takes personal effort to do and takes a lot of thought. Because if you just accept what other people tell you to do and define yourself according to other people's standards, you will, in most cases, end up defining yourself in, term in terms of things like, quote-unquote, attractiveness or, well, something like that. It does take real effort to develop a personal a personally defined sense of self-worth. Okay, let's go over and... Oh, come on. One, two, and... Oh, goodness. And of course we die... Oh, we actually didn't die. No, not like that, not like that. Well, I'll be honest with you. I think most people would consider those real games. I think the amount of people... Most of the people who spend all their time playing Fortnite or Call of Duty or FIFA would not describe themselves as gamers. They are... exceedingly... you know, normal people games. There's nothing really particularly special or subversive about playing that. Trade Keeper Armor. Let's see. So I guess we should equip the Hide Swords, probably. Wait, actually, do I have... Do I have Rebel... I don't have Rebel Great Shield on me, so... If I die here, I'll equip Rebel Great Shield, actually, because that has good fire resistance. 
Oh, so he... Goodness. I mean, it's like... But what would he be playing? What kind of ground would he be standing on? Okay, well... I don't know if... A sword would actually... A shield would actually deal do me all that good. Whatever. Either way, once we run out of spells, we can use our swords. Yeah, it's just... Oh, goodness. Yeah, if you call yourself a gamer and all you play is Fortnite, I'm sorry, you're a joke. But, so we should equip. Ring of Blades would not be all that useful. Let's put on Flame Quartz Plus 2. That will help some things out. Alright, it's time to fight the dragon. There we go. So before anything else, we should put on Flash Sweat and then start spamming Heavenly Thunder. Okay, okay. Come on, come on. Then, just like this. See how much damage this does. Get under you. Hi, hi. Come on, come on. Oh, that's... That damage isn't bad at all. Hi. But it's actually... Interesting. Oh, oh goodness. So if we stay under the legs, this might be alright. Just need to make sure that we... Oh, please. Come on, come on. Well, we can use Flash Sweat to survive the fire attack at least. There we go. But this boss fight is one of the most hated in Dark Souls period. The hitboxes are infamously really, really clunky and terrible. Hi. Hello. Maybe this would be a good time to try to reestablish Flash Sweat. We'll see. Hi. Come on, come on. We do have a lightning priest shine, but Lord knows. It is a cool dragon. It is an undeniably cool dragon, but it's definitely a bit a bit silly of a fight from a fight perspective. Hi, hello. And oh my goodness. Uh did not want that. Come on, come on, and just Heavenly Thunder. Can we hit the head? We didn't hit anything. That's obnoxious. Just gotta stay a decent distance away from the feet, I suppose. Hi. Wonder how much damage we deal with the head. That's the real thing. Come on, come on. Well, alright. Come on, come on. And just get head up there and lightning spear. Come on, come on. That did not do much at all. It's just how many heavenly thunders can we even equip before? Dumb. And this... This is more than a little silly, I'll say. I'm not, oh, I'm not hit. Guess that had some kind of moment. Come on, come on. Okay. This might be a good time to try to re-equip Flash Knight. We'll see. The damage on that is a lot less than it should, should be. So staying under here is not horrible, but... It's the spellcaster lack the rise. That's not fun. Oh, you can breathe fire under your own body. That's fun. Okay, well, let's just flash sweat it up. Do that again, and now I guess it's time to... Swords? Yeah, we are out of... Yeah. I guess so. Uh, don't quite like this. Come on, come on. Let's just try this out. Okay. Alright. This is... Not a great fight, I will say. Come on, come on. And just... I guess I'll shield up? I guess. Come on. It's just... I feel like life gems would help out, but we'll see. Power stance, and just roll out of the way. Okay. I don't think we actually really need to roll, though. Okay. We're actually doing good damage with these swords. Hi. And just like that. Come on. I guess running would probably help. Really though, they are. So let's go for this. Then probably run actually. Sure. So see if we can Okay, so actually running is going to be my best option when it actually goes up. 
Plus sweat is not bad, but oh, hi, hi. Let's just stay out of the way, you. Thank you. Oh well, that wasn't horrible. Come on, come on. Come on. Uh, it's just do not want to get stomped on. I don't want to get stepped up. Come on, come on. How much more are you gonna do? Please. Okay, and just run. Do the tail. Make sure we hope we don't get hit. Wow, that actually worked. Good thing that we don't have that high of a And my swords are all up pretty high. Cool. Just go over. Hit, hit, hit. Come on, come on. This is going a lot better than I expected. It does! And the coolest part is that it makes no physical sense. There is no logical way for this place to be over the keep where it was. Oh, what?! Guess who got overconfident and died within one hit of killing it. Dumb. Well, what this does tell me is that actually using magic is... well... yeah. That was almost a first try. Almost. Whatever. Well, I guess things would have gone too fast if that had worked. Okay. Come on, come on. Let's just go over. Kill him again. But actually, in that case, maybe... Let's see. What kind of other... Maybe I could take heal spells, because Heavenly Thunder is better than the swords, but the rest is not. Yeah. That's true. Oh, but I can't use Great Heal. Dumb. That's... and none of these are particularly useful. Eh, whatever. Come on, come on. Okay. Well, this should be okay. Actually, actually... Can I use Rebel Great Shield? Can I use Rebel's Great Shield? Let's just check my item box. And what do we have in here? The shields are in here. Let's check. Over. Rebel. Great shield. And that takes... What are the requirements for that thing? Great arms. Rain's favorite bird. Oh! What did he say this time? What did he say this time? But yeah, this is really, really good fire resistance, but actually, let me actually maybe try putting, it's a shame that I can't check the requirements in here, it's pretty obnoxious. Good mm. eye great shield, blossom tower shield, old knight great shield, is there a, let's just see, let's just see, equipment, equipment, are there any... There are no... Great shields that I can use at the moment. That is sad. Okay, but... And I don't need Rebel Great Shield, really. Because... Running, actually, will... Dispatch it well enough. And, frankly, we can just... We can just run past. I don't care anymore. But I assume there should be a Fog Gate now for the... Dragon Fight, which is... Pretty annoying. Okay. Come on, come on. Gotta flash sweat up as soon as we get in the right location. Hello, hello, and oh right, I do need to open the door at least. Hi. Come on. Open? Oh, it doesn't work because the dude is there. That's obnoxious. Okay. Cool. Die. Okay. Come on. Oh, and... How much... Was he serious? I hope he wasn't serious. Uh, is he rich? He would have to be, right? Okay. Well, in that case, you are just going to... How many petrified dragon bones do I have? I have 13 and... How much items do I have to trade? That's okay. Yeah, that... That's obnoxious behavior. At least the... At least the spawn outside. But we won't be able to get the drop on it like we did beforehand, which... Sucks. 
Okay, let's just go through. Uh, in that case, it's just... What is he doing? What is he doing? Now it's roaring. Hello. And so let's just put this down here. Stay under the dragon, see how well we can make this work. Come on, come on. Okay, so he's not rich, just stupid. Interesting. Well, at least that didn't do all that much damage. Oh well. Let's just suddenly found a root up. See how many we can hit. Okay, well, alright. Come on, come on. Just like this, I guess? Uh, the swords are still honestly better. Okay, so just run in the tail, run in the tail. Okay, cool. Out of the way of that, out of the way of that, and just, come on, come on. Okay, and who is... The hitboxes are just obnoxious. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, please. It's got leg hitboxes, but it doesn't seem to really have a body hitbox. That's strange. Well, I wonder how long Flash Swing is going to last. Yeah, well... Goodness. Sounds goofy. Oh, well. Alright. Let's just stay out of the way and flash sweat it up. Come on, come on. Come on. Let's just run, run, run. Oh, that happened already. Oh, well. And just... Oh, imagine you hit the... Oh, annoying, 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 and now it's gonna... That's gonna be that. I guess maybe having a great shield would actually be good then. Uh, some people just some people just have no self-awareness whatsoever. Okay, well, let's just ask this up again. Go for a uh, thunder. Hi, another one. For, oh, but that didn't. What? Oh, come on. Yeah, I gotta go for the swords. Swords are gonna have to be the way. Hi. One, two, three. And just out of the way of that, maybe. Sure. Okay, cool. And one, two, three, maybe? Sure. When are you gonna, gonna go up? Yeah, you are. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know. Even even though I might prefer it to be that way, being stupid is not a crime. Uh, one, two, three. Are we gonna roll out of the way? Roll out of the way, and come on, attack the leg, attack the leg. And where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go now? You're gonna go to the tail. Run for the tail. Run for the. Okay. All right. Come on, come on. So we need more flash sweat, then. Sweat is the only spell I can really use at this point. It's probably what I need to use at this point, but we are running out of uses. And don't tell me I'm just gonna fall off the ledge. That would be stupid. Come on, come on. Just get out of the way, get out of the way. Uh, uh, come on. Just one, two, three. Sure. Okay. And now you're going over there. Uh, more or less, yeah. At least he got something out of it. Come on, come on. It's just... Where am I gonna... Oh, well, we got pancaked by the tail. Uh, generally considered to be the worst boss in the game. Uh, okay. Luckily, as long as I'm good with running, can't do all that much to me, but still. Still. Yeah. Believe me, it was. Okay. Keep on running. Keep on running. Attack the leg. Okay. And if I get out of the way, can't do much to me. Hi. Hello. Come on, we just gotta... This might be a good time to reapply Flash Sweat. Yeah, okay. Cool. Come on. It's a shame it took... Uh, it's a shame it took stamina to do, though. Yeah. I wouldn't like to imagine it. 
Come on, come on. Only a bit left, only a bit left. I got you most of the way down, so let's just... Actually, maybe I can just try attacking the tail instead. Maybe. Okay. The music's pretty good. That's some consolation. Hi. Well, the leg is actually a lot easier than that, so... Okay. The big thing is that we will get access to a special soul. You remember the big dragon in the ruins? We can go into the memory of it and get a soul from that. Well, the issue is that it can crush you, and I think it does have a tail sweep attack. So, I would have to be cognizant. See? Yeah. If you try to get too close to the tail, it'll just destroy you, basically, so... It's not that good of an idea. Okay, well... Oh well. Only a bit more. Only a bit more. See, so did not get crushed. Oh well. And should do it. One, two, and... One more. There we go, it's dead. Nice, finally, second try. Victory achieved. Soul of a giant. Oh, and another petrified dragon bone. Cool. There we go. Time to level up a bunch of times. There isn't anything in this arena, and frankly, we didn't even need to do that, but whatever. The big thing is... That's how you get the fifth soul of a giant. You get the others from various memories, but if you don't get all those souls of giants, fighting Vendrick becomes really, really hard. What do you remember? Ha. Uh -huh. Let's try to level up. Oh well, oh well. Oh, level up, and what am I gonna get? Let's get a bit more attunement, won't do much. Strength, dexterity, sure. And I guess we could... Pop some more souls, trying to get a low of ADP. What is... what does that even mean? What would that even mean in this context? Let's just use... let's use the soul of a great hero. Oh, there we go, so that'll be more or less enough to level up. Oh, so you meant that in terms of he's stupid. Brutal. Tell him to watch my streams then. He would fit right in. So actually, got some twinkling. No, I should save that for the sword, maybe. But, mm, we'll see. I'm gonna go back to things betwixt then. Well, after a certain point, that becomes less of an explanation, more of an excuse, so. That gets dangerous. Let's put blades back on, sure. That said, once we get Dark Clutch Ring, probably switch that out. Let's put Sunset Staff back on, put my sword back on. Okay. But I do want to trade some things I've got in the hopes of getting one more Petrified Dragon Bone. Because there's another weapon. Another weapon. That I want to make. Okay. And that would be the Moonlight Greatsword. So that would be a decent source of magic damage. Okay. Come on, come on. Drop that. Leave, leave this. Leave one. Leave one. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Come on, come on. And then hopefully they'll give one petrified dragon bone and I can upgrade the moonlight great sword all the way to plus five and then use it for the boss fight it's coming up relatively soon there we go I heard about those I did see a lot of them those up soul velocity and uh fire drake stone tight slab okay tight chunk Cracked Red Eye Orb. Cracked Red Eye Orb. Channeler Strident. Cracked Red Eye Orb. Dark Knight Stone, and... We did it! We got... Got a Petrified Dragon Bone. We got just what I needed. 
the big thing that I saw was a lot of governments commemorating his death. Like the government of China and the government of a number of Latin American countries. Which was crazy. So... Well, I'm not making a bone weapon. What I'm trying to make is... The Moonlight Greatsword. So we're gonna go over here. Trade that Pildrake soul I got from the spider. And then we're gonna... And we're gonna do it. Hello. I'm gonna drop down. I guess you are. Hi. Hello. Come on, come on. Oh, goodness. That's a lot. I don't like that. Please, please. Stay out of my way. Ah, oh, good lord. Okay. Okay. It's not expecting that to go like that. I guess I really do need a lot of torch if I want to step out even a little bit. Whatever. Funny torch land. So let's light a torch. Yeah! Got jumped by a bunch of spiders. Literally jumped. Let's just put on sand tears real quick. Cool. On the dark side, but sand tears and... They can't really do anything right now. Okay. Come on, come on. Oh, but it takes multiple stabs, actually. I wonder if... Oh, but the dark spirit ones have a lot more health. That makes sense. Come on, come on. So the first strong attack is actually very weak, but the second one is quite strong. Well, actually... Well, whatever. Come on, come on, come on. Stab, stab. Come on. Okay. Interesting. So Guthrie will show up after this, I believe. And then we need to... He'll invade. And we gotta... Kill him. Make him go away real quick. And... Oh, okay. Come on. Do I have any kind of way to... Uh... I need to maybe equip a chime for this? Uh, but maybe... I don't think he's gonna invade if I've killed the boss, maybe. Mm -hmm. They might be tasty. We'll see. So let's... Got one lightning spear up. Let's try this. Hi. Just... So that actually did kill. Come on, come on, come on. The Ornifax is right over there. She's gonna be a bit annoying to find and kill, but... Hi. Oh, Basilisk, Basilisk. Hello. Hey, when they're tasty, they're tasty. Don't hate. And the... So Guthrie is over there, so we're gonna need to stab him down. Hi! Hello. Stab, stab, and oh, goodness. If I want to heal, I'll need to do that quick. What? Ah, oh, stupid. Well, at least... So I can eliminate those mages pretty quickly with a single lightning spear, but... Yeah. The big thing about Dark Souls 2 in particular is that Estus is really, really slow. It says, oh, right, oh, no, I did not mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. What's... And I lost that big blood stain. Go to hell. I wish my torch would have stayed lit. If you die with a torch, your torch should stay lit if you're in a bonfire. Stupid. Yeah. The big thing is that... Scholar of the First Sin is the only Dark Souls game that is really... Only version of Dark Souls 2 that's really readily accessible. Because... Among other things, the DLC is free. The original Dark Souls 2 and... The viewer on Sunday, she was talking about about it. The original Dark Souls 2 is a lot easier. D Scholar is... It was basically a Master Quest or a hard mode version of Dark Souls 2. But it has better graphics, was released on newer systems, and generally is just... It's the version that is easier to find if you're looking to play Dark Souls 2. But it is... A lot more difficult. 
I will say one of the things it does have going for it is that the entrances to the DLC are a lot... Oh, nice. ...are a lot more integrated into the game itself. Because in standard Dark Souls 2, they just give you the item for free. And it doesn't really have anything to do with anything. But... Yeah. Come on, come on. Let's just... Go over there and kill you. Hello, hello. Die, die already. Come on, come on. So Guthrie is over there. Let's just... Lightning him. Sure. Then we'll go and... Poke him to death. Okay, whatever. Die. 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 One, two... Oh, well that didn't hit. Come on. He doesn't have any kind of melee at all, actually. Which... Oh, goodness. Come on. Hit and... Hit. Hit. Yeah. Do you think those are tastier than bug skewers? Okay. Well, splatters aren't bugs. But the nice thing is that every time I want to talk to Ornifex, I will need to kill that guy, probably. Okay. Okay. Mm. That's not annoying at all. Alright. Yet? Do you predict that changing anytime soon? And if so, why? If you just get hungrier. Rouge water. Alright, alright. Let's maybe stab a few more of them to try to get a bit more for the upgrade, maybe. Sure. That's fair. I appreciate the level of intellectual humility in that statement. <laughs> okay, well. Come on, come on. Go over, keep stabbing. Will we be able to hit you? An overhead? Maybe, maybe. Come on. Oh, but we got the one behind there. Let me actually see real quick, because sometimes they actually drop rare weapons. They did not drop anything. Okay. Let's go over to Ornifex. Then... Talk to... You hello, hello. Hello there. Do you have a wondrous soul? Sure. Let's pick up a wait. Oh, you have to trade, trade. Let's get a moonlight greatsword. That costs Oh wow. Ten thousand. Oh, so all the things that you make with the upgraded souls cost ten thousand, that makes sense. Rays of the moon, born of a great white being, launching a wave of moonlight. Chime hammer, not faded completely. Iron king, vessel of the bread, Icarus, earth, and demon. Explosion of those who would challenge it. Lost sinner, burden of misdeeds. Spitfire spear. Great flame and a strong attack. A wansur. Stone scales of dragons. Well, I don't really need most of these. Freya, far from human. Spider fang, spider silk is from Ornif. Stridably, but this is the only thing I want right now. Let's actually see. Great bow down ancient dragons, extremely large, more destructive than any range of weapon imaginable, crowning the anchor. All are what requires great arrows. Hmm. This is what I want to make right now. There we go. Eldrick Soul, can we reinforce any of that right now? I can do it a little, but I need a lot more souls. Thank you. I guess I could actually farm a few spiders real quickly. But then I'll probably go back and go to the other blacksmith to get the ones I need. Because I also want to infuse it with magic, which only he can do. So, we'll see. That's some of the... It's... There is one of the DLC areas accessible through Black Gulch. That's where I want to go and what I want to be. Should be possible. You can just get a few more souls. Well, aside from that, like I said, I'm going over to the Crown of the Sunken King DLC, I believe. That is... I think I should be able to beat 
everything in there today. But we'll see. Oh, and a mage came down here. Hello. Okay. Come on, come on. This should be enough to level up Moonlight Greatsword. Big thing is going to be seeing where and when I can summon the actual boss. Because I'm going to have to go through a decent amount of Shulva in order to actually reach Alana the Squalid Queen, who is a boss weak to magic and a boss that I actually need to summon someone for. Or complete a quest line. He fell down a hole in the ceiling. That bonfire is on a lower level of the area. New Ember, and there are some mages on the upper level. So let's reinforce and just make this as strong as possible. I do want to see quickly what its AR is going to be like. How much it'll scale with... Hmm. Over here. That would be... 152 plus 91, so that's already really good. 243. Remember, 243. Reinforce. It's got good scaling. 143. E1. 43. Okay. And... Good position. Now we can reinforce. It's a lot of fun. I will say, if you did a real build, especially if you prioritize durability, it would be a lot easier. It's not as bad as people make it out to be. Let's just pop a soul real quick. Infuse this. And after all, if you summon people to help you out, it becomes a lot easier. A lot easier. I just avoid doing it unless I need to complete a quest line. Because it does make things more difficult. And I want things to be a decent amount more difficult. So let's just see what the AR is after I infuse it with magic. So right now it's 42. 42 infuse. 82. Not enchanted, but magic. 82. The scaling will increase. That's the thing. Fair. But you can get help. Interestingly enough, that actually slightly decreased. Decreased the damage, but it will make it better in the long run, so that's fine. Let's just see. And like that, that's an overhead. Overhead swing. Goes up. A strong attack. Strong attack. Strength launching a wave of moonlight. There we go, and that... Sends a vertical wave and it consumes a decent amount of strength. Well, anytime there's a boss fight, you can summon NPCs to help you out, actually. And that makes a pretty big difference. It's just a horizontal swing. That's a horizontal swing, too. Let's try this out. And there we go. But if you hit with both the wave and the slash, you do even more damage. Hmm. Yeah, this, it's in every FromSoft game more or less in some form, but the form it's in changes. And in some ones it's more translucent, some it's less. Hi. Oh my goodness, that was big. And just, that was good. A Jailer, that's what it is. And that... That was fun. I want to see... It'll probably be a one-hit kill if... That said, even the Greatsword, the Dark Greatsword, would probably be a one-hit kill, too. I'm going to test that out real quick. Hmm. Okay. Should be a one-hit kill if I get him with... The Beam and the Uppercut in one hit. The big thing is that to get it, you do need to fight... The spider boss on a hard difficulty, but it shouldn't be horrible. There we go. And I do think... I'm pretty sure the beam was actually doing most of the damage for that attack. Let's actually go and see if the dark greatsword will do more damage. Okay. 
Come on, come on. Apply human effigy's effect, but I haven't used a human effigy to get people away in multiplayer. Alright, alright. I'm just gonna... Oh, but he's gone! He despawned because I killed him too many times. There is another jailer over in one of the other bonfires in the area, so I'll just go over there to test it out. It should work. Let's see. Sebastiol and Tower Apart. Well, he's very aggressive and he attacks me as soon as he sees me, so... It's just the comeuppance for his violent nature. Hmm. I'm just gonna check. See if a single hit will do it, because it should. It probably should. Hello, hello. Die, die, die. And oh, actually, it didn't do it. But somehow, oh, he got stunned long enough. The attack stunned him enough that I was able to get a backstab off on him from the front, basically. I didn't know you, had a, you could do a stance break like that in Dark Souls 2. I thought that was more of a... Dark Souls 3 and Elden Ring thing. Okay. Hmm. Come on. Ah. Second. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's nice. So hopefully that could be the beginning of something big and interesting. But we'll see. The big thing would be figuring out. Well, isn't that a good thing? It's definitely a good thing in the long run. We gotta go back here and... Now I can teleport to the DLC area. Let's see how long it all takes. So in that case, actually, maybe I'll just use the human effigy now, maybe. We got a lot. We have a lot. Okay. Humanity restored. That is not what I was saying. That is not what I was implying at all. That's on you. Let's actually see. You know what? We could just equip a crazy amount of soul arrows because the boss is weak to magic. Why not? Why not? Okay. Come on, come on. But oh, I don't have a particularly good magic staff though. Okay. I said that once, but I didn't say it this time, so. Slow your roll. And okay. The darkness will immediately destroy. That much is nice. Okay, so there should be a chest in the end here, which we actually. Oh, the the wooden chest didn't respawn, even though I used an ascetic. Dumb. Well, there was nothing valuable in there anyway. That's fine. Just keep on running. Come on, come on. So the rotten was originally past here, but oh, and now I'm poisoned. Whatever. Come on. But past here, beyond all the fire and stuff. Okay. If it did offend you, I am sorry. Okay, but past here, I need to find the way. Okay, it's through here. But we go through here and we'll get the ability to enter the DLC area, which will be Crown of the Sunken King. And there will be another dragon at the end of everything, and not just that, but a dragon who is weak to dark damage. So just through here, we can go to Shulva. Examine that. Okay. Alright. Come on, come on. Yep! Another dragon. Get excited. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything behind here. Well, we can actually go behind, but there isn't anything to see. Oh! Oh! How'd you be most century, Rageful Ranger 1? I actually basically just beat Dragon Shrine. Managed to kill Ancient Dragon on the second try after getting it one hit away from death and getting stepped on the first time. So I made a... How are you doing? How are you doing? Big Dark Souls fan? But I am... 
I made myself a Moonlight Greatsword, put magic on it, which in the short run is actually not that good. But we've gotten two-thirds of Benhart's quest line done. I had him fight Looking Glass Knight and Crawling Magus with me, so fighting Alana here will be the final fight. But what's really, really cool, and it's only applicable to base Dark Souls 2, because in, in Scholar you just have the DLC at base. But if you don't have the DLC in the standard version, and you put your summon sign down here on some of these tombstones, you can actually get summoned in the DLC areas without owning the DLC. That lets you play a little bit of the DLC without actually buying it. But our Dragon Talon is going to let us go inside the door over here, the Great Slumbering Dragon, and that will be Sin. S-I-N-H. Yeah, yeah. So I'm excited. How are you doing, Rachel Ranger? I am, like I said, I'm working my way through. Uh, I have never seen this place before. Shulva Sanctum City. So there's a weird tree with a face over here. Giant butthole. I... I don't see any. Okay, so we got some of this. No problem, no problem. Thanks for the fall and thanks for watching. Always happy to get more people involved. So we are... Oh, and good thing I turned around because we have three dragon charms. Giant butthole. Giant butthole. Oh, and yep, they were telling me about the item. Oh, nice. Behind again. Wonder if... I guess they would have to be online to get an S just topped up, but... Wonder if they would get any S's topped up if they were offline at the moment. Come on, come on, come on. So, oh wow! That is big. It's basically like a ziggurat. It's getting Mesopotamian up in here. Oh, but so there's stuff at the bottom too. So, am I going to start hearing singing soon? Yeah, that's true. That was that was a somewhat embarrassing moment. I... That's a real saga. Oh, oh, interesting. Are they gonna spit poison at me or something? What is that? I didn't know there were more dragons here. Oh, no, that's just Sin. That's Sin over there. As you can see, there's a spear stabbed straight through Sin's body, actually. That's kind of a lot like Calamite's introduction in Dark Souls 1 D 1's DLC. Hmm, okay. I do remember to go back to Undead Crypt to find some of the Dark Spirits. It is! And the item you get from killing it is actually the spear that we saw stab straight through it, which is one of the best weapons in the game, actually. It's really, really good if you use it correctly. Sanctum Walk. Up right here, and it's gonna be three in this area, but I believe that it should only be a few more bonfires in here. We'll see. Come on, come on. Let's just give it up. Bloody expensive. So what's down here? I... It's a complicated question. It's always come. Try jumping. No. First of all, no. Because the interesting thing about it, the weapon is called Yorg's Spear. Old Growth Balm. So that's a new kind of weapon. A new kind of item, I think. The DLC does introduce a number of new types of items. Let's see. Old Growth Balm. Temporarily increases strength. Oh, interesting. It is always complicated. It really is. But the thing about Yorg's Spear is that it's the kind of thing you're supposed to... Oh, Wolf. Oh, they don't actually like Sekiro, though. I was wondering if they would, because... Gorgeous view. It really is. It's all the way underneath the earth. Yeah, never, never, ever. Never trusting a jump. And you are... What is this guy? Is this a Sanctum Knight? Oh, well, luckily, a single a single jump attack with our funny Dark Greatsword will take them out pretty handily. Come on, come on. But the big thing is... Oh, oh. Who's hitting me? York Spear, if you infuse it with an elemental damage stone, it basically keeps all the damage it had physical and gains roughly an equal amount of elemental damage. So it's a weapon you really want to use elementally. And what are these doing? Oh, that was cool. That was interesting. Oh, so. Whenever you hit one of those stones, it'll interact with the terrain. That's fun. 
I did not expect that. So what will happen if I hit it again? Will it lower? Okay, that's cool. So we can raise and lower things, it seems. But wait, so now it's going down. So I think it must have three kinds of... Three kinds of elevation levels. Okay, so we can pick up an item from you. Poison boss. Come on, come on. Ooh, I do not want to take too many hits. Now this is really cool. It seems like all of these glowing triangular stones have three levels of... Okay, I overestimated my range for that. Let's just pancake you. That did not kill. All right. That did. So I suppose if we want to find everything in here, we're going to need to test out every level of elevation. If anything, this kind of reminds me of... Kind of reminds me of Encon Mio with the day-night switches. Which is always a good thing to be reminded of. Come on, come on. We need to go back and heal. I was not expecting that to deal that much damage to me. Well, actually, I guess I could re-equip... I'm not really doing any dark magic. I could re-equip my sorcerer's staff, which... I need to figure out what would actually be a good... A good magic-oriented catalyst. And... Oh, but the damage on that is garbage. Mm, okay. So we're behind the pillar. Homing is not that good. So we can just... I guess we could maybe tap you down. Maybe. Ah, oh, whatever. At this point, I just want to run it and get this over with. Hello, hello. Just die. Die. Oh, what? Oh, what? Well, alright. Come on, come on. Well, we didn't die. We didn't die. That is notable. So what I'm wondering is how I would be able to get back up topside, ideally. Oh, but I don't have... So I guess that would lower. Lowering it would send it down here. Okay, so now I see that. We didn't die yet. We can still die. It will almost certainly happen. But it hasn't happened yet. Okay, come on, come on. I'm just gonna wait for these guys to... Okay, so their hammers look kind of similar to the old knight hammers, but they aren't actually the old knight hammers. That is good to note. Hi! Oh, wait! That didn't poise break you? Crazy. They do look somewhat petrified, so I can see that. Come on, so what is gonna raise now? It actually moved. Weird. So that moves that up, so actually maybe we could use that as a way to go back up. Interesting. Don't hear anyone coming over though. Hmm. So if I went down there, I would be SOL. I would probably have to try to teleport back. But actually, it does seem like maybe there's something down there. But no, I wouldn't be able to jump up there. Okay. This is getting very, very complicated. Come on, charge, charge. Let me just jump and... Even a jump attack didn't break your poise? You have got to be kidding me. Pick up a poison stone. I do wonder. Uh, Cause you know, as I know, the model I'm using right now is completely free. If and when I do shot some cash to get an upgrade, I'm wondering what kind of style I'd want it to look like. And maybe what kind of characters and character designs I'd want to use as inspiration. Because the art style of Have you heard of the game Hi-Fi Rush? You might have. I was talking with a friend the other day about how I might want to do things, and we agreed that that could be an interesting sort of style. Okay, so if I use range, I can... Oh, but it doesn't... It only goes up and down. Hmm. So how am I gonna... Okay. Probably gonna need, just need to use the binoculars for this. But actually, if I got on the ledge... Let's see, let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Let's use some binoculars. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting because it's... It's an art style that's kind of in between anime and western animation. And I... 
It's very, very interesting for that reason. Has a lot of unique charm for it. The game as well would be a lot of fun to play. The issue is, is that it's a rhythm action game whose entire deal is using a lot of copyrighted music, which is really, really cool, but it means that it could be hard to maybe keep a bot uploaded. That's the thing. Just trying to snipe this. I do not want to have to. Okay, so the issue is, of course, that I'm moving forward a little bit every time I shoot a soul arrow off. We need to... There we go! We managed to hit it. Let's just go down here, actually, and see if there's anything over on this ledge. It's a good thing that we have a lot of projectiles with us right now. And there you are. There you are. Die. Die, die, die. Thank you very much. I was not expecting to actually make that. I will say, I should have honestly just bitten the bullet and used a bow. Because <laughs> I would have at least been able to actually get a reticle there. But, you know, it worked out either way. And there's no use complaining about something that actually worked out in my favor. The issue is, is that now there isn't a good way to actually get up and shoot it, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess... The, here comes the part where I use the Aged Feather and agonize through killing all these knights again. This is what my life has become. I suppose it does make sense that some of the name like yours would respect a decent trick shot. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Yeah. But I don't know, the big thing is just a single jump attack should be able to kill them for good. So if I just... Or, no, no. Actually, if I used Dark Weapon, it would be able to knock them out for good. So in that case, and is there something down here maybe? Oh, actually, if I sniped this one from across, I think there's a good chance I'd actually be able to just take a shortcut. That is really, really interesting game design. I like that. Rewarding lateral thinking, or at least taking a ranged option. In particular, what it reminds me of is... Are you familiar with the game Hyper Light Drifter? Because in Hyper Light Drifter, there are a lot of pillars like this that you're supposed to shoot using a ranged weapon to activate some stuff in, stuff in an area. Dark Spirit. Serfed. So where are they? Because I should be able to knock them out pretty easily with my sword, but it's a matter of where I can engage them. Big thing is, is that if they kill me, I'm going to have to use another human effigy if I want to summon Benhart. That could get aggravating pretty fast. There was an instance in Dragon Airy where someone invaded me and they left because they couldn't find me. It would be pretty funny if that happened again. That said, this area is pretty straightforward, so I don't think that'll happen, but we'll see. Before that happens, I do want to check if I can snipe. Oh, they're over there. Hello. wonder how well I can, might be able to screw with them with some of this. Hi, actually. Maybe if they activate that and go on top. wonder if I could... Hi. Come on. Let's actually throw some homing soul arrows on you. If you're gonna stay over there, why not? Why not? Hi. Hello. Hello. Oh, interesting. So. Oh! So they landed that jump, and clearly they're coming after me now. Hello. Get over here. Get over here. That was fun. It's happened a number of times, too. And just roll. Oh, goodness. Please, please, and just jump and... Oh, what? Okay. Come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, interesting. And just out of the way of that. Oh, please. This is going to be tough. Let's just... Here we... Oh, what? How did that... What? Like, excuse me? Out of the way of that end. Oh, that damage was crazy. Crazy good. Oh, what? Oh, but no. Mm -hmm. Got a katana. And just stab... Only one more hit will do it. Oh, but the issue is that... Oh, good God! Gotta be kidding me. Let's just blast you on. Wake up! 
There we go. Well, they got me too, huh? We got a mutual kill. <laughs> okay. The big thing is just, for whatever reason, and I don't know whether it was because I was mashing or not. That's clippable. It kept having me do another attack after I did my post-roll down stab. And that was what allowed that guy to not just actually get hits off on me, but also get the backstab on me that led to my death. So they have a poisonous mace. That's new. Well, we got that back at least. All we have to do is not be stupid. Easier said than done. Okay. That case, in that case. That down there. Let's make this rise up again. See if it rising will maybe deal some damage to them on the way up. No blood stain left behind. As long as I can help it. As long as I can help it. Okay. Let's just see. And yeah, that did do a decent amount of damage to some of those guys. Does also block off top over there. So I do wonder. I should just look it up and see what damage that would be best for dealing with. These soldiers. Thank you, thank you. Sometimes I am somewhat intelligent. It's crazy, I know. Hi. Oh well. So... Coming over here, gotta just make sure that... If they're... Going with arrows, that they only do so much... What? That hit me? Insane. Come on, come on, and just... Okay, so I guess I should have run. rolled horizontally. Thank you. It might not be wise to put that much trust in me. Let me see if I can trick shot this. Come on, come on. Just frame, frame. All right. I should eliminate those guys first. Come on, come on. You over there are... Let's just die, die, die. One, two... Oh, what? Excuse me? Excuse me? At least they're chasing me now. This should be... good. So get them to chase me and then go for the bump shot? Sure. Okay. Die, die, die. Die. Come on, come on. Just gotta... Shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. Hi. So if we just... Get over here, maybe. Or you can fall. That works, too. Okay, so... One of them went down. One of them went down. And that'll get that. There'll be something I can grab, at least. There should be. There should be. Come on, come on. Go down, go down. And... Oh, you got back up. That's what changed. Okay, cool. So how am I gonna... Oh, clearly what I need to do is... Lower this, ride it up like an elevator when it goes back up. And then jump on top to the other location. Hello, hello. Get over here. Just, just, well, it missed me, which is good. Uh, if I hit that again, I didn't want to. Okay, so what are s Poke Day? It sounds good. Sanctum Night. Night DS2. Let me see. Sanctum, Immunophysical. Weak to Magic. Oh, not those ones. Sanctum Knight. Shulva, Sanctum City. Sanctum City. Let me see those enemies. Sanctum Soldier, Sanctum Soldier. They're Oh, they're weak to Dark and Physical. They're actually weak to Dark. So that's good. I might have told you before, but... The best food I've ever eaten, in my opinion... I had a really, really good poke bowl once with incredibly fresh fish once when I was visiting family in Hawaii. And it was just incredibly... Oh, well, that could have killed me. Oh, Dark Quartz Ring plus three. That's nice. That said, it'll be a while until we really find anything where I can actually use the life gem. But it was tuna with spicy mayo, I believe. 
And I believe it had a bit of row too. But either way, it had it also had some nice freshly made rice and some kimchi. It was nearly unbeatable. This is incredible. Okay, I'm gonna have a couple of spicy chips real quick, sorry. Mm. Are you familiar with popcorners? Those popcorn chips, do they have those in Europe? I know that in America, they advertise it using Breaking Bad, of all things. Hmm. Okay. They're good. They're really tasty. What? Okay. That's what I get for eating on stream. They're so good. So right now I'm having I'm having a spicy queso right now. I would say that the spicy queso and the standard sea salt are actually tied for my favorite flavors. Yeah, I'm not sponsored. I just like them. Maybe one day I could be. Hi. Yeah. They're definitely. You know, the idea of healthy snack food is inherently kind of an oxymoron. But they're not going to kill you, so... I like them. Oh! Oh, it fell off the map. That's fun. Go over here and... Oh! Sanctum, Sol Sanctum Soldier Gauntlets. Those are actually incredibly good. In the specific sense that... The Sanctum Soldier Gauntlets add a bit of poison damage. Oh, I should have left this up earlier so I could use terrain to space out. Okay. Come on, come on, and... Okay, so... I actually very narrowly managed to dodge that. That is nice. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Yeah. So, Rachel Ranger, what would you say your favorite Souls game is? Because I... I've been meaning to play fair... I like that mindset. Exactly. Everything in moderation. But, so far I've played through Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2 with this sort of equal stats playstyle philosophy. And I've enjoyed them both in very different kinds of ways. I would say that, and as I'm sure you know, Dark Souls 2 is literally rushed and unfinished due to publisher, <coughs> publisher meddling, but I really like the damage types and how scaling works in here. Especially the way that dark and fire damage scale. And just the build crafting and the way the upgrade system works. Oh, fair. I would s so which ones have you tried out, if any? I do recommend trying out all of them if you get the chance. Because I have played a little bit- I've technically played a little bit of every Souls game. It's just... Most of them that I've played, it's just been trying bits out with friends, though I did actually beat Elden Ring a few months ago on my own time for preparation for actually doing it on stream, but the thing about Dark Souls 2 in particular is that the elemental infusion system for weapons is very, very different from every other Souls game, because in every other Souls game, if you do something like I did and put a dark infusion set on a weapon like this, and it, to be fair, in most Souls games, you usually can't do any kind of infusion on boss weapons at all, weapons with any kind of pre-existing elemental damage. But in Dark Souls 2, you can infuse a weapon with damage, a damage type, given an infusion that is compatible with the damage it already has. So this weapon already deals dark damage at base, but I gave it a dark infusion, and it just became a super dark weapon. And you can also even stack weapon enchantments with that, so I can cast a dark weapon spell on that, and it'll be even more cracked. So it lets you stack up things to a pretty crazy extent, which I enjoy. It encourages a decent amount of specialization, but the way the stat system works, in that dark and fire damage actually scale off of multiple stats, also means that Specialization doesn't just mean building only one stat. Oh. <clears throat> oh, which one? Moonlight Greatsword? 
I'm going to be using it for the boss of this area, but yeah. Just like this. Like... And it has funny beam attacks. So, it consumes a lot of durability every time it uses that, so I don't want to use it too much. But I'll be using it for the boss at the end of this area. Yeah, yeah. And Moonlight Greatsword, as you may or may not know, is a... kind of a signature weapon of From Software. It's appeared since a lot of their early... since one of their earliest games, and... They usually try to bring it back in some form in every single game they make. Sometimes it isn't even a weapon the player can use, because in Sekiro it's actually a weapon a boss uses. But they try to make sure they have it as a touchstone in every game they make. Which is nice. So Poison Bite Ring plus one. What are these guys doing? Come on, come on. And okay, they aren't going to explode and make a bunch of poison appear. Because it's actually in Dark Souls 1, too. So when you played Dark Souls 1, what kind of build did you use for the little bit you played? Because when I played it, I, like I said, I did a kind of an equal stats build. Which meant I ended up using, for a lot of the run, the Great Sword of Artorias. Which scaled somewhat with most of the attacking stats. And I would also use all kinds of magic depending on the weakness of enemies that were weak to a kind of magic. But I would also, I would also use pyromancies, because they didn't scale stats at all. I had to limit it, because if I just used pyromancies, it would kind of mean that leveling all my stats equal wouldn't be, equally wouldn't be any kind of challenge. And to be fair, it really isn't in the long run. Because it just means you're versatile and also quite defensive, too. But... I wanted to make sure I couldn't lean on it too hard. Oh, okay. Bows are cool. I will say. They do often tend to be tragically underpowered. I want to see if... Is there anything down here? Let's check. Does not seem like there's anything down there. So if I went down there, I would be making an incredibly silly mistake. Just keep going this way. Mm -hmm. The big thing you can actually use a bow for, though, is... If you... Okay, actually, we can... Oh, I don't think we can even backstab them. If you shoot the tail off of a big dragon that you find in one of the earlier areas, you can get a pretty decent early game sword. The issue is that it's hard to... It's expensive to upgrade and doesn't scale with any stats. So it could actually be fine if you wanted to avoid upgrading attacking stats more than you absolutely had to and then focus on defense. But other than that, it's usually stops being useful pretty quickly. I want to see. So I can lock on. Try locking on it. Oh, okay. So there's some coming down from the ceiling. What are those egg clusters? One thing I do appreciate, though, is that Elden Ring is going to be introducing with the DLC. So I guess it would probably require having the DLC to at least some extent. Though they might add some to base game, hopefully, but I'm not holding my breath. That... Oh, okay, so it'll create a cloud of acid or something, but... Let's see. I can at least destroy them and maybe get something for my trouble. But they're introducing throwing weapons, and the trailer, if you've seen it, because it's really, really cool, showed both a player character throwing knives and also throwing... Explosive barrels. So throwing weapons will come in all shapes and sizes, but either way, you can have a non-magical range built with a decent amount of power. Because bows are actually pretty useful in Elden Ring, but it's mostly for applying status from a distance. Because when I played on my own, I tried using a pure magic build. The only thing I leveled was... That broke that ring. That's not good. So that was acid. I should have known. I thought I was far away enough to not get affected, but I was not. Oh well. There are more of those poison statues too. Okay. But the big thing is that there was a boss called Do Godskin Duo who you may have heard of. It's a fight against two enemies who use magic who are already pretty hard on their own. But the best way to deal with them is actually putting one to sleep and then focus firing the other one. 
so that's what I did. I equipped the only bow I could use, because I hadn't leveled any single stat other than my magic stats. But I equipped the only bow I could use, made a bunch of sleep-inflicting arrows, put it to sleep, and just killed it that way. And it worked pretty well. But that said, and it's especially difficult given that to use a bow you need to craft or buy arrows, and it inherently gives it a resource cost that other kinds of weapons and magic don't have. But if they're introducing throwing weapons as a weapon type in the DLC, I think it stands to reason that they would be infinite use. You wouldn't have to worry about running out, which immediately would get rid of one of the biggest weaknesses of throwing weapons in Souls games. Oh, I can... I did not mean to go down there. At least I didn't die. So where are more Sanctum Soldiers? It's a good thing we've got a good amount of Dark Den and just at our disposal at any given moment. By the way, third Dragon Ring being broken is not fun. Okay. There we go. Big ol' sword. Big ol' sword. Let's seal up real quick. And through this room there was... Go down on one of these ledges. Not through here, but the other way. There was something to grab. Just grab that real quickly. Hmm. Yeah. There we go. Old growth bomb. Because the most obnoxious thing about bows in Elden Ring is that the best bow arguably isn't even a bow at all. It's a spell, well actually two spells, that allow you to conjure a bow using magic and shoot arrows conjured by magic. Because it scales pretty heavily with your magic stats and you don't have to worry about running out of ammo. You might have to worry about running out of mana, but that all comes back when you rest at a bonfire. Well, they're not bonfires in Elden Ring, but you know what I mean. It's just... They gotta, they gotta, and they gotta make non-magic ranged combat good in the DLC. And I'm pretty sure they will. But still, it's a little egregious that it took them this long. So attack this and see who shows up. Is the bow guy gonna come down, or what is that going to do? Oh, you have to do this to make a bridge over to the other side. So attacking this again would just make it retract. Interesting. Well, no reason to do that. Yeah. I feel like... Well, for what it's worth, Elden Ring's bow combat is already a lot better than in later Souls games. Just because, since it has a crafting system, and you get a lot of crafting materials from just hunting wildlife and killing enemies, you can just craft more ammo. And that's what I ended up doing. That's how I made my sleep arrows. I crafted them. But still, it's... It still has a resource cost that other... Boy styles don't need, and the damage does leave a bit to be desired. So, what do you mean healing is slow? Oh yeah, it is a lot of fun. Very specifically, a lot of people say that, and I'm inclined to agree based on what I've experienced so far, the DLC areas of Dark Souls 2 are probably the most inspired and creative areas in the game. And the Dark Souls 2 DLC areas were directed by a guy named Yui Tanimura. And he went on to be one of the lead directors of Elden Ring specifically. Elden Dark Souls 2 gets a lot of hate, which I think is largely unfair. Because even though it is, you know, somewhat unfinished, it's still a good game. It's not a bad game. I would say it's arguably the weakest mainline Souls game, but it's not a bad game by any means. But a lot of things that they explored in Dark Souls 2, such as n certain kinds of non-linearity, as well as, I would say, maybe not verticality, but a world that feels more alive. Because Elden Ring, very specifically, has a lot of wildlife. And Dark Souls 2 is kind of like it in that in two out of three of the Souls games, pretty much anyone you run into is going to be undead like yourself. In Dark Souls 2, a significant portion of the NPCs are... That's fair, but the, a big reason they do that is to incentivize you to use these life gems, which to be fair, I don't usually do, or to build defense, which I do do. But, as I was saying... 
Elden Ring has a lot of wildlife, which earlier Souls games didn't have. And Dark Souls 2, unlike a lot of previous Souls games, has a lot of NPCs and characters who aren't undead. Being undead in this game, unlike in other Souls games, makes you kind of an odd one out, rather than just normal in the world setting, which... It's just different. It's a different kind of approach and gives it a different kind of feel. It's a world that's a lot more alive. Yeah. But these Sanctum Soldiers, the gauntlets they drop, give an additional poison application to any attack you do. Which means that if you're doing a poison-focused strategy, it's really good to equip the gauntlets. So this over here... What was that area at the start? That area over there... What did I miss initially? Okay, hurrah for miracles. But... If it sounds like I'm just mouthing off or yapping, well, I am, but also, there was an interview with a lot of the devs at FromSoft very recently where they basically said that Dark Souls 2 was very specifically to them a proof of concept for, con for ideas that they would explore in greater length to much more acclaim in Elden Ring. My strategy is trying to survive. It doesn't always work. So actually, I want to see if there's walking poison statues. Someone, nobody is chasing me right now. Let me see. Shulva, Shulva poison statues, Shulva Sanctum City. What kind of enemies are here? Corrosive egg crawlers, poison statue cluster. By shooting them at the base. Precise projectiles or area of effect spells. Wait, what? What am I? What hit me? Someone's shooting me? Okay. Oh, yep, someone is shooting me with arrows. So if I want to kill this thing, I've got to snipe it at the base. Can't lock onto it, so... Come on, come on. It's just... There we go, that's not bad at all. Oh, but you move. Dumb, dumb. Come on. That was good, that was pretty good. Let's just... Leave my shot a little. Then... Aim up. There we go! We actually killed that darn thing. And all of the statues just disappeared because they had no ontological inertia. Let's keep going and... Okay, and those pots aren't anything special. So we have to go down there and is there any kind of... Mm -mm. Great soul arrow. Okay, locking on would help when those guys start dropping down. Hi! How much damage will... Oh, that's not that much damage. Dumb, dumb. Well, actually, hitting them with... Oh, but my sword is at risk right now. That is true. Blackweed bomb, blackweed bomb. <laughs> don't cut your legs. Oh, oh, you mean... Don't question your compliment. I, th I thought you were saying that you were one of those crawlers. Well, you might be. You might be saying that. Are you? Be nice to yourself. I wouldn't say that you're some kind of toxic insect crawling around with big statues on your back. Beyond being insulting, it just doesn't make any sense. Okay. So let's just get these from a distance. I should have done this before, given that I was literally bringing these solos for precise this reason. Come on, come on. Great heavy, great heavy. Are there others up here? There should be. Hello, hello. Come on. Just like that, maybe. Oh, but it's still three hits to kill him. Weird. And over up there. So many of these guys, really. Come on. Wait, so how is... That targeting is completely off. Weird. Come on, come on in. Oh, hi. Hello. We need to try to... Okay. As long as we can avoid you making a poison or a corrosion cloud, we can pretty easily just slam you with the sword. Come on, come on. Die, die. Oh, and now the sword's broken. Even has a funny broken texture. Well, honestly, honestly, uh, I should have used a repair powder. You know, I was actually trying to be nice to you once. I was actually trying to be nice. But if, but if you won't accept it, if you won't accept it, that's on you, for once. Something that never ever happens, you know. I'm so cruel. I'm always mean. Just like you. That's why we get along so well. So now they're going over there. 
Hey, you know, that's my name. At least part of my name. So let's just... Oh, we managed to get that ledge drop. Let's just see, how can I get back to the start? Hmm. Let's just age feather back and probably... Repair some stuff at the blacksmith. Need to repair my sword, need to repair my ring. Good, good, good. Like a true fan. Let's go back to Majula. Nice, fast place to repair our sword. And then not mess up by hitting those egg clusters and getting all acided. Okay. Poison and acid. Poison and acid. Okay. For dead, repair. There we go. And repair the ring. Mm -mm. All right. How much do I need for another level up? I need 4310. I should use those as soon as possible. So let's actually pop Soul of a Hero real quick. And probably one of these, one of these, and then. No, I did not mean to do that. Appreciated. Meanest streamer in history. Hello. Hi. Come on, come on. Speed your side. Hope it's fully withered. Let's see what we can level up now. We can level up Intelligence, which will not increase a Dark Bonus at all. Because your Dark Bonus is based on the lower of your Intelligence and Faith. Your Fire Bonus is based off of a combination of the two. So you can actually do pretty well with Fire, only leveling up one of those stats. Of course you want to level up both, ideally. But for Dark, you have to level up both. You need balance. Which does mean that if you're doing anything related to Dark, you can also do pretty decent lightning and fire damage. Well, pretty decent fire damage, obviously, but also decent lightning and magic. You're just not specialized in any way. Let's see. What's through here? I did not go down through here, but this does not seem to be like... Main oh, what this is, is there's going to be an elevator back to the bonfire once I get farther down. Right, right, right. Also, I realized all of those imp enemies that I was fighting in Dawn Graf with Larry, it took me a while to realize it because I had to see the melee versions and then see the Elden Ring equivalents, but they're literally based off of the imp statue enemies in Elden Ring. They're directly taken. So many things in that mod pack are just ripped straight from FromSoft games, which I don't actually hate. But it is funny. Yeah, yeah. Call it a tribute. Come on. There we go, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. Mm -mm. Let me just see real quick. Also, for what it for what it's worth, Rageful Ranger, I do try to keep my schedules posted on my Twitter and also in the Discord I've linked. And also on Twitch itself. So if you're interested in seeing other things I maybe play, or at least knowing when I'm playing Souls again, that could be worthwhile to check out. Just a little bit of advertisement. Come on, come on, and just... Oh, well. I overestimated how quickly I could hit those guys. Whatever. Come on, come on. Anybody up here? Another one of those bugs. Come on, come on. Get over here. I can hear you. You're crawling, you're crawling, you're crawling. Growing in my skin, these wounds, they will not heal. Okay. Come on, come on. Ugh. So we're just gonna go over. Make sure that those bugs don't get me too easily. At least lure them out so I can hit them with this sword. Hello, hello. Get over here. Get over here. Oh. Just... Jump over, jump over, and just hit before you... Oh! That pounce actually did a lot more damage than I expected it to. Well, whatever. Grapefruit shaped lamps. I know we've discussed this before, but... I do very much enjoy just eating plain grapefruits. There are some grapefruits they sell. The wonderful company who used to mostly sell pomegranates. They have a special breed of grapefruits called Sweet Scarlets, which are... 
you know, sweeter than a standard grapefruit most of the time. Yeah. Grapefruits are grapefruits are very, very good. I'm a fan. You know, if nothing else, they have lots and lots of antioxidants. They're healthy for you. And stay alive as a goblin. Hi. Just out of my way, out of my way, and still got hit. Whatever. Come on, come on. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, well, we... We don't really have local grapefruits growing, so sadly that isn't really an option for me. That is really, really cool, though. I'm happy to hear that. Lucky goblin. Come on, and just... Another, another, there we go, and... There is one resting over there. Let's just go for it. Come on, come on, and just jump. Oh, we actually managed to catch him in counter frames and one-tap him. That was nice. Hmm. Keep on looking, see where we can go. And did... Did the... Okay, so the... So everything has actually stayed in place, which is nice. Oh, what? What? Okay. I don't have to bring any of the platforms back out. Hello, hello. So can I drop down? can drop down here. I don't have to worry about falling to my death. Get closer over here. Oh, well. Fair. Oh, he is. He's holding a big lance. Let's actually see if we can... Oh, okay, we can actually backstab them. That's good. Good to, good to keep in mind. In that case, let's just... My best heavy soul arrows out and snipe the base of that guy again. Come on, come on. It's just... That's not hard at all. Oh, well, I missed that one. There we go. Die again. Yeah. The other thing is that... And I think I've talked about this before, is it? But in case other people here don't know it yet... Dark Souls 2 is unique in that it's the only Souls game where enemies can stop respawning. Because in Dark Souls 2, if you kill most standard enemies 12 times, they'll just stop showing up. Which is interesting, and it's kind of an anti-grinding measure for better or worse. But what it also means is that annoying, annoying boss runs can actually be made easier just by killing all the enemies in the way. And it's a silly way to do it, and is literally the definition of battle of attrition, but if it's necessary, it is a way to do things. Come on, come on. So apparently Olana Squad Queen, who is the boss of this area, is supposed to start singing at some point. Or at least that her singing is going to be the sign that she's around. Haven't heard anything like that yet. Hmm. Before that, let's just... What? Singing? Dark Souls 2, a musical. Well, for what it's worth, there were singing enemies and... Well, not enemies, but there were singers in Shrine of Amana, but they stopped once we showed up. Oh! Oh my goodness. Oh, nice! Okay, I, I should check real quick about that. I should check. Finally, someone else in Fancord. Our power only grows. Okay, let me check real quick then. Okay. Second. Just a second. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Discord is not launching. You know, if I was doing this through Elgato, I would be able to just keep doing things while it was open because I wouldn't need to have a window highlighted, but... Since this is actually a game I'm playing on my PC and not just streaming from a Switch capture card, it's not so easy. Come on, come on, come on. We need to go back out, go back out, and... Whoa. We need to go back the other way. So I guess we're going to have to go back and drop on top of that. Okay. There's the other guy shooting at me. Let's jump this, actually. That would make that drop a bit more reliable.
Okay. Formidable. Yeah. What can I say? Maybe, maybe one of these days I'll do something like get everyone to hop on Guilty Gear Strive or something. We can all fight it out to establish dominance. Okay. Come on, come on. Oh, and of course you're gonna Estus up. Die, die. But of course, Estus isn't just slow for me. It's slow for enemies, of course. There aren't as many enemies that use Estus in this game as there were in Dark Souls 1, but we take our small victories where we can. Let's just see. Let's just see. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, let's just hit, hit, hit. Before you can... We did manage to do it fast enough to preempt... Well, whatever. Come on, die, die. There we go. Backstab, backstab. So honestly, given how slow they attack, how slow they turn, I really should just be going for backstabs to kill them. Instead of trying to hit them in counter frames or any other way, really. But, eh, whatever. It's not that complicated. Hmm. Over here, do we have more? I hear somebody. Oh, hello! Hi there. Let's just get over, get closer, get closer, and... There we go, another backstab. Easy enough. Easy enough. Cool. Interesting, interesting. Come on. Oh, down there is... Okay, I can clearly go down there. Oh, it just drops down to the lower level. To a spot I've actually been in before. I am. Well, you've said it, I'm heartless. This kind of tactic suit me. You always have to use trickery. So I've actually thought this through, and I've realized that I think for once I can actually pull it off, once I have the strength for it, my primary method of combat in Elden Ring, I'm going to be an axe assassin. An axe assassin. Because the highest damage critical hits come from a weapon called the Executioner's Great Axe. So if I can sneak up on enemies and just smack them with an axe from behind, they're just going to disappear. It's going to be so silly. Oh, so you can use this to get over to the other side if you hit all the... Ah, uh, okay. Hello. So where are the others? Oh, you're right here. Dumb. Dumb. But we can... Oh, well, that didn't work. Oh, what the... What? Oh, goodness. We are in dangerous territory. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Let's just go behind so we can heal. This was dangerous. This was very dangerous. I thought I would have been able to get a backstab off, but no, 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 oh goodness. This is a fun area. I feel engaged and challenged. Hmm. Bonfire ahead, therefore try up, try lift. Hmm. Interesting, so I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to get to that high and just, oh, oh, okay. Come on, stab, and just... It, oh, well, whatever. I really do. Makes life meaningful and worthwhile. Seeing the soldier gauntlet, I wonder if they can actually drop other armor pieces at all. Lloyd's Talisman, not that meaningful. I guess they do do a bit of healing, but I'm not engaging them slowly enough that it really makes a difference. Twinkling Tide Knight. They're somehow managing to hit me. Kind of through those pillars. Obnoxious. Oh, but if I want to activate those lifts, I should probably try to do it by way of hitting them with a projectile. There we go. They were fun. I did find it interesting that that tiara did look like cat ears. That's all I'll say. I did receive some strongly worded messages from people I know saying that if I became a cat boy, that they would disown me. So... Oh, interesting. Oh, so actually, to get up there, I would need to put that down and then raise those up once I've jumped up on top. Okay. Well, now that it's all over, we can just laugh about it. It's the nice thing about history. Once it's over, it's over. So let's lure you over here. Sure, the poison doesn't get me. Come on, come on. Just, just like that, and just come on, come on. Backstab. Well, I somehow I don't entirely agree. Okay, okay. Let's keep on going. 
It's not a question of popularity, it's a question of dignity. And go over there and crush you into the dirt. And we got another one of those crawling statues. Let's just obliterate them again. I... There are certain things that shouldn't be abandoned. That's what I'll say. Well, we killed it before it could poison us, which is good, because we are running dangerously low on Estus. Anything in here? Oh, we can actually climb up. Hmm. Getting on top on top. That's the question. So what's actually over here? What would this raise up? Wait, wait. It's moving. Oh, that's moving now. So actually, actually, no. We don't need to permanently raise, or we don't need to raise and lower them every time if we can just get that one going, and then the bridge over to a bonfire should now work. Let's go back to the previous spot, and we should be good. Cool. Actually, I think I'm all turned around and just climb the ladder over here. It's this over here. Hmm. I gotta say, I do find it interesting that this is a poison-oriented area. That you access it at the end of the other poison-oriented area. Does it make sense? It does make sense. I like that consistency. It's just kind of funny because, you know, things making sense in Dark Souls 2 isn't all that common. Let's just go over here. We can light up the bonfire. There we go. There we go. And this one is... Tower of Prayer. Let me actually see real quick. So this is Tower of Prayer. And there is another Tower of Prayer in Shrine of Amana for whatever reason. Yeah. Probably. It's a good thing you can't do that. In that case. What is funny is that in my very first D&D &D campaign, as in the very first one I played in, I showed up with my head stuck in the ground because I jumped out of a tree trying to fly. My character's only goal was getting the wings. He did eventually, actually pretty quickly. But they kind of sucked because the DM didn't know how to actually make stuff in D&D. But... They found me with my head stuck in the ground, and they had to dig me out. That would be fun. So they do have armor with spikes on it that allows you to deal damage by rolling. It's a logical extension of the same principle. Hands free, hands to hand. Okay, no, no, that is... That is not the same person. I don't... My DM was not a simp. I don't think. At least I didn't have enough information to know. But... The big thing is that... The big thing is that... Wait, wait. So we should just, let's just drop down here, maybe? So we got you down there. Let's actually try to go for a plunging attack. Guys, I'm Zhao. I'm Zhao, but I also miss. Sad. Come on, come on. Oh, we got multiple of you. Multiple. That's not fun. Oh, we got this over here, too. How am I supposed to get there? Weird. Come on, come on. Guess I need a lower one first. Come on, come on. And just like this, maybe? Come on, come on. Okay, so they can kind of hit me while I'm doing a backstab, but it's not doing full damage. Okay. Die, die, die. I bet it would have. Okay, so there's actually something over there. So I should actually go back around real quickly and lower one of the towers so I can go in and get that. Interesting. I really do like this. They're definitely rewarding attention to detail. We need to find a way to... Let's see if we can snipe this from up here. Come on, come on. We need to make sure we don't fall off, too, since... The one weird thing about Dark Souls 2 in particular is that... Magic does move you down. It moves you a bit forward when you, when you use a magic projectile. Which... Can be interesting. Can make you fall off things. Oh, Thunder Quartz plus three. That could be quite useful. But wait, actually... Oh, was there something down here, too? There was... There was another thing! Okay, so there were multiple things. Nice. Can we... Okay, we can get that barely, and... Okay, Dark Knight Stone. 
We need to be smart with this jump. Could be funny, though, if we failed. Actually, no, nah, no, nah, let's not each feather back. Let's just binocular zip. Here we go. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. Nice. So there we go. We need to... Oh, and there's another bonfire over on that side over there. Interesting. And I assume that... Alana would probably be in... That ziggurat over there? Possibly. Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's to go over there and see if anyone's in there to kill. Violence. So you are over this way. There, there are going to be more, I assume. Let's just get you over here, go for a backstab. What are you doing? You are... Well, your back is turned. Hi. I would... Violence is usually not the answer, but in this case, in this case it is. Answer is... Oh, oh. I expected more out of you. I expected that you were trying to encourage me to be a better and more peaceable person. I can't expect these things. Okay. Well, nothing to do but keep on going and... Oh, so they actually do leave corpses, so I could maybe try using dead again to... Pull them up. Because one of the one of the hexes I have is one that makes corpses detonate. Oh, I agree too. I'm just afraid. Yeah, we all deserve each other. We all deserve each other. Mm -hmm. So range battle and worrying out one at a time. Let's see. So over here. Oh, this I bet this would wait. What? Circling around. Is this not the elevator? Circling around. How is... Huh. How do I unlock that elevator? Brutal. Nothing like repaying cruelty with more cruelty, I guess. So if that fire looked green, it was because it was. It wasn't just fire, it was poisonous fire. And now they all blew up. That was Sin again. Slumbering dragon. Who is going to be the final boss of this DLC? Focus Souls. What does that do again? Let me see. I'm pretty sure it's a spell I can't use, so let's check this out. Focus Souls. Let me see. Oh, 60? A focused beam of souls. Oh, that? That's cool. Yeah, I can't use it. And so we're going inside the Sanctum over here, and... Hmm. Soldiers got gotten. Oh, and now it's opening. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Let's go through here then. Are they going to close off behind us, or...? Hmm. This is... Ominous. Or Dragon Sanctum. Ah, now she's singing. There we go. wonder if... What a way back might be. Okay, cool. In that case, I might take a quick bathroom break. I'll be right back, too. So in that case, actually, I will probably close off to make sure I just don't get invadable off the line. That did happen. That did happen once. Thank you. I'll do my best. I'll make sure to die in boring and uninteresting ways, then. Okay. BRB. BRP.
one of the things about Dark Souls 2 is that it's it has a completely unique level curve compared to every single other Souls game. Because every Souls game, I actually don't entirely remember Demon Souls, but I think it's probably the same, but Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3, and Elden Ring, all the same level curve in terms of the amount of souls it takes per level. So it'll take a pretty crazy amount of souls to get to max level. But even though, compared to Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 3 and Elden Ring, Dark Souls 2 actually has one more stat. It has nine stats rather than eight. It costs a lot fewer souls to actually get to max level. Oh, so you have to attack those. Great hero on a dragon charm. So maybe I should go back and try attacking one of those buttons. We'll see. Okay, so she is singing now. Because it means that even though my stats actually started a lot lower than any other Souls game, because I picked Deprive, which is the one where you start naked with... Usually you start with a wooden club, in this one you start with no weapon. I had to find a dagger in the tutorial area. But over here, over here, I started with six. Because normally Deprive starts with 10 in every stat, sometimes 11. But in this one, Deprive starts with six. And even in spite of that, my stats are still higher than they ever were in Dark Souls 1. It's kind of funny. Can I smash that button in the ground? Let's see. Might not be far away enough. No, that's definitely not the issue. Okay. Come on, come on. I'm just gonna go back. Go back, hit more of those hit more of those buttons and see how I can trigger that elevator eventually, hopefully. So there was one near the start and one around here. I need to know what they do. <clears throat> so I wanna get everything. I wanna get everything. Come on, come on. Sanctum, that's locked. Be wary of the left. Yep, it's still locked. It's still locked. Okay. Come on. Look through here. That over there, we got some kind of ring or something. Hmm. Enemy horde ahead. What's over this way, though? This is armor ahead trying to destroy some kind of ambush or what's going on here? Oh, those are. They're ghostly soldiers. Hello. Hi. Luckily, I can... Oh, goodness. Oh, right, you have to destroy the armor over here to make them take physical form. That's right. I forgot about that. Okay, well, let's do that then. Hi. And you should be a lot more vulnerable now. Hello. And just like that. Not easy to fight, but at least more possible to fight this way. Fighting multiple of you at once is still not fun. Oh, please. Please. Just space you out using the... Oh, oh, come on. Do not like that curved sword. Let's jump and... Got a crazy amount of poise. Of course you do. Of course you do. Die. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Die. There we go. There we go. So now we can take our time trying to... Test these for mimics and open up the chest to see whatever we get in here. Nice. Got destructive great arrow. There's a lot of loot in the DLC areas. Praise the sun. No harm in at least checking them. Hmm. Then Katarina Helm. Oh, so that's how you get the Katarina set in Dark Souls 2. Okay. Fine work charmer ahead. Okay. It is nice that dark damage is pretty effective against the Sanctum guys. Convenient for me. So there are no blood stains around, and none of them do have latches. So none of them would be mimics, but... Metal chests can't really be broken by hitting them, so I don't feel bad about testing them. Mm -hmm. Alright. Titanite slab, again. I guess if I really wanted to, I could upgrade more things. I do like how generous they are with upgrade materials in Dark Souls 2. Really does encourage you to play around with enemy types and the like, weapon types and the like. And actually deliberately target specific enemy weaknesses. 
It's fun. Oh, but... Oh, and we're getting poisoned while we're... Oh, but as soon as they die, their poison cloud disappears. Stops being relevant. Ooh, oh goodness. Let's S this up. There was a trap. That little lowered stone on the ground was very clearly a... Frankly, I should have taken Caressing Tears, because my poison meter is taking a very long time to go down. Come on, come on. Out of the way, out of the way. Out of the way. Go for another overhead swing, and we'll just... Circle around and backstab you. Or not. Or not. Goodness. Ugh. Well, you're dead now. Good riddance. Okay. Come on, come on. Worry of trap, but also I can just step on this and move out of the way. Thank you. That was a crazy amount of arrows, too. It's just... Okay, so it's actually hardly doing any damage to them, but... Guess maybe it was useful as a distraction. No, not really. Oh, oh, what? Okay. Time to run. Time to run. Okay. Come on, come on. Please, please. Out of the way, out of the way. And just... Can we... Oh! Having two of them at once makes it really hard to try to backstab any of them. Well, at least we got you. And what? What? Oh, goodness. And of course you got me mid-animation. Gotta be kidding me. Die. Or do that instead. You'll still die. Come on, come on. Okay. Keep on going. We got you and you and you. Do not need to activate that trap again. Enemy horde. I think that was where I was before. Is that... Yeah, that is not a stone that actually brought anything down. This is not a mimic either. What is that guy? What is that... Okay. I'll do a guy, maybe. Looks kind of like it. No, I think that's a Sanctum Priestess. Let me check. Let's see what they're weak to. Dragon Sanctum. Then, enemies, Sanctum Priestesses, they're weak to physical, profound, still, and yearn. Doesn't say that they have any particular resistances. This hat. I've actually seen some NPCs wearing. All right, all right. Just keep on going. Maybe I'll drop down and just kill that priest as soon as possible. Hi, hello. Die, die. There we go. And now you're over here. Let's just move out of the way of that attack real quick. And there we go. We can get our back stuff off. And what is going to happen when we step on that? It's going to move that. This actually feels like the DLC dungeon from Breath of the Wild. Wait. Wait. Huh. Well, maybe if I got close enough, you would actually go down. Probably not. Well. Oh, but this is a trap, because you can't go back. And it would normally cause the enemies from the side to come and gank you. Now I see the vision. Now I understand. Okay, cool. I'm not fast enough for that. Annoying. Okay, just... One, two, three, and... Well... Oh, goodness, I need to get closer. The fact that those arrows are staggering is... Strange and unpleasant. Hi. You gonna shoot me? Okay, whatever. Oh, come on. What? What? So that hit me, but I wasn't able to hit him. Who gives? Okay, die. There we go. Let's try this again. How many times do we have to rotate before we can actually go inside? Ooh. Okay. Okay, so now we can go up. Maybe we could try to use it to get on top by immediately running onto the... No, we couldn't. Definitely couldn't. Well, actually, oh, oh. Oh, but there's no way to actually get. Maybe if, if you didn't co op, you could probably get someone else to put the button down and send you on, but there'd be no good way to do it manually like that. Solo. Forgot to say I was back. Whatever. Oh, and it actually keeps going if you keep standing on there. Interesting. 
And we can hear her. Okay. Anything on the sides? Any kind of labyrinth? Mm -mm. I wonder if there are any illusory walls that repair powder. Not bad. Visions of up but down required ahead. Ah, oh, so if you go down, you can get back up there and be wary of pull, therefore try jumping. Or we can just go down there. Because clearly, I think that will lead us back to the start. So who is... Is that a bug I hear? That is a bug I hear. Hello. Hello. Okay. It's down here. Luckily, bomb and ambush ahead. Don't like that. Try dash. So what is... Oh, a spiky... Huh. Well, that's something. That is certainly something. Should go to places where I can actually go back before I go to places where I can't go back. Probably. Dash through, I can probably go break that armor somewhere, depending on where it is. The spikes are not great. Oh, please. Where am I headed? Right, visions of switch. Enemy ahead. Switch ahead. Oh, goodness. I am not in a good mood right now. So where is Pyromancy and Short Dark Spirit ahead? Behind. Oh, hi! Oh, no! I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Is the Dark Spirit gonna invade over here? Oh, definitely, definitely. Where am I even going? Weakness Gurm Shield. Wait. What am I doing? Spirit Hand, then Pure Luck. Vigor Required Ahead. Oh, Dark Spirit and Pyromancy. How far are you gonna chase me? Hi. Die. Die. What? Gank. Gank. No. Oh, so this is Alana's location, actually. Okay. Where are you gonna go? Oh, where are you gonna go, though? Come on, come on. Keep going for your Chaos Storm, maybe, and just... Can we... Hit? What? 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 Oh, no. Oh, no. It's just those Sanctum Soldiers are just... Playing shooters. Yeah, I am in a bad position. Bad mood, too. Come on. Oh, no, no. Yeah, just the forbidden sun that he does is insane. Come on, just follow that up. Make sure the guys around behind me don't do too much. Stay out of the way of Firestorm. Honestly, once I've gotten rid of him, I can probably just stay out of the way of the soldiers. There's not much else I have to deal with, but... Oh, and that's... Is he using warmth? He is using warmth. Oh, die. You piece of garbage. Okay, that still hit me. Come on. Just heal, heal. So get rid of Thomas. We will be in a much better position. Jump and swing and... Oh, oh that was narrow. Come on. It's like that. Heal. Oh, and he got out of the way. What? You can't do that. You can't do that. Heal, heal. And just... What? What? Oh. Okay, so a jump attack is going to be much, much better. Dispatching him. Jump and die. There we go. He's done. That was one heck of a relief. Come on, come on. It's just out of the way, because we can kill them. It's very difficult, but we can kill them even when they're in their ghost form. I just... It's not pleasant. Uh, come on. Ooh, oh, now I'm out of Estus. We need Radiant Life Gem. And actually, I think... Is that healing me? Maybe. Come on, come on. Just jump and one more jump attack should maybe probably do it. We'll see. Die, die. That was trouble. But yeah, warmth will heal me a little. This is one heck of an invasion. Mm -mm. Kind of like the other one. Mm -mm. All right, all right. So, clearly there's some more ar pieces of armor, suits of armor to break, which will make them visible. Just gotta make sure that we- oh, hi! Hello! Luckily, we can still hit you, even. The main thing is that we can block you when you're in your invisible state. Because the ghosts in Dark Souls 1, when they were intangible, they couldn't even be blocked. Which was not fun to deal with. Could I use magic on them? Maybe. Let's see. Great heavy. Oh, that basically does nothing. But it actually passes right through them. That's interesting. Can I backstab them? 
wondering. So they are roughly humanoid, but still. Get over here. And just, can we... Well, you definitely swivel too fast, that's the thing. Oh, okay. Come on. Scotta. And just... That doesn't seem like a... Backstab is going to be an option for dealing with them. Sad. Real sad. Maybe a jump attacks, just because... It allows me to close the gap without having to deal with any kind of... Garbage. Hi. Hello. Jump and... Oh, what? No, no. I definitely overestimated my reach there. As you could clearly see. Come on. Slim and you don't have any kind of... Hmm. Doesn't seem like I can poise break it, at least like this. Third dragon ring at risk? What? Weird. Ah, well, so we can take you down. They definitely will respawn eventually, but at least they're out of here for this time being. So before that ring breaks, because the third dragon ring we have on, it's kind of the equivalent of the favor ring from Dark Souls 1, and that it decreased it increases. Health, stamina, and equip load. But in Dark Souls 1, it would just break whenever you took it off, and you only had two rings left. So you didn't equip it lightly, and you especially didn't take it off lightly. A lot of optimized builds would use it, especially with another ring like Havels. Just be able to use heavy armor at the lowest equip load possible. But Dark Souls 2, you can take it off freely, but they balance it by making it so that it breaks really easily. And you have to repair it or maintain it with repair powder just stick to bonfires. It's a very, very strong win. Hmm. Okay. Just keep on going, see what's down here, maybe. Okay, so we were down here already. Hmm. So Ben Hart. Should be summonable around there. If I wanted to, maybe I could just go fight the boss now. But if I don't have any Estus, that might not be such a good idea. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's take us back up here and... What am I looking at? Have I seen anything down there? Well, I think a lot of that is probably going to be later areas in the Sanctum that I have to access, access later. Switch ahead. That drop is going to kill me. Oh, so that's what it was lying about. That's why it said that. Try right and then visions of switch. Well, actually, I don't know. If I had Silver Cat, I might be able to survive. Let me just see. Where's the armor? Where's the armor? If I go down and find a suit of armor, I could. Torch. Oh, good lord. And yet, when I stand on the spikes, I just keep on taking damage. Fun. Hmm. I'm just wondering, which way do I go? And the armor is not over there. Interesting. Well, okay, and now you're chasing me. Now you're chasing me. Come on. And you don't take any damage there. Of course you don't take any damage there. Because nothing good can last, at least for me. And now I'm in a corner. Now I'm in a corner. Uh, all right. We should... I need to equip some better life gems, that's what I need to do. But I don't have any other life gems equipped right now, and that's the issue. Hi. Die, die. Did you do- did you get damaged by that? I think you did. Hi- ooh. I should just feather back, yeah, whatever. Cool. Nice. There we go. And I'm actually invincible during that animation. Surprising. Big thing is that Jester Thomas is gone, and that was gonna be really painful. So I guess we just go down the tower again. That said, I don't think Sin will be torching the guys on that bridge again. So we're gonna have to do the job ourselves. Kinda sad. Oh, hi! Hello. Interesting. So just, there we go, pound you into the ground, and what did you drop? Okay, poison moss. Could be worse. That's just down there, and again, 
completely missed plunge attack. Gotta love it. Get over here, get over here, get over here, and what? Okay, cool. Come on. There we go. Backstab, backstab, backstab. But no, yeah, I don't have any life. What? 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 Huh? Weird. Thought that was the other one. Didn't think there'd be a third. Okay. Go in. We need to equip some life gems in here. Sure, why not? Put all the radiant in there. Because it's special. Hmm. This is what my life has turned into. This is what my life has turned into. Hmm. Okay. Yep, we don't have sin for us anymore, so we need to actually fight these guys the real way. Hi. Let's just actually see if we can... We can backstab you! We can! Nice. Out of the way of that, and... There we go! Well, whatever. Come on. Oh, baby! Oh, baby. One more, one more, one more. Die. There we go. Cool. Get that Estus up, and then... Gotta kill all the soldiers on the side so we don't get ambushed when we go through the main corridor. Also, because there are those knights over there, and I guess this would also tell me... Would also tell me if the armor will regenerate. Okay, the armor doesn't regenerate, so we can just go in and kill him. And we can actually backstab them. Nice. Cool. Let's just sneak up on them, make sure they don't see us, and there we go. I think we could have done that from a little bit farther away so we didn't touch them and alert them, but it worked one way or the other. Cool. Go through and... You're over here, you're over here. Die. Die, die, die. Cool. Nice. So activating that trap will make them aware of my existence in a way that I wouldn't like them to be... Oh, die. But we didn't get poisoned, which is good. Probably wait for that to subside a little, maybe, but... Okay. Hello. Just... One, two. Attack you while you wake up. But actually, no, you're aggressive now. Attacking your buddy made you aggressive. Some loyalty, I guess. Come on, come on. And just out of the way of that, and then before you jump, we will sneak around back and crush you. Okay, okay. And then just before you do anything else, we'll kill you again. Hello. Hello. And backstab, backstab. I thought that wouldn't work. Well, good thing it did then. But, of course, now we're poisoned because nothing good can last. Do we even need to kill that one up top? I don't think we do. <laughs> do I hear someone? Okay. Come on, come on. And these are... Ones I got before. Nothing to worry about. Let's just go on through. Heal up a little. That guy over there, is he gonna come down and try to... I don't hear him moving. No, I do. Gonna drop down and maybe try to ambush me since I didn't go after him with a bow? Weird. Well, you know, as long as I watch my six, I should be alright. And now she's singing. Okay. Let's jump over the. He's not coming around. Jump over the hole. See where that takes me. If I can find this way. Hmm. -mm. This is... Oh, there's a hole in the wall, so to open this, we need to use some kind of projectile. That is really cool. Conceptually, that's very, very interesting. Let's see if we can... There we go. There we go. What's on the other side? What's on the other side? And... One of the poison knights. Alright. Hi. It's out of the way, then. Well, that didn't entirely work. Oh, dumb. Don't poison me. Oh, in that case, I'd have to run a little? Dumb, dumb, dumb. Thought I was gonna get the backstab, but instead I got attacked. Annoying. Hi! Just... There we go, and you turned around of your own accord. Bet you regret doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's two switches. The one by the first bonfire and the one by... Oh, nice! Yeah, do that again. Or not. 
Come on, come on. And just hit you and... So, what stone is making the spikes appear? Oh, it's this one. In between the legs of that corpse. Okay, so the hero. I don't think it would instantly kill me, maybe. We'll see. Hi, hi. Just spike you, spike you, and... There we go! Thank you for doing the job for us. Okay. What else is over here? Try tongue and then try tongue. Tight spot and then try above. So in that case, is there a spot to shoot or... Hmm. Okay. Well, bolt stone and bleed stone. That's nice to get. This doesn't look like a mimic. Welcome back! How are you doing? I fought an invader. Three twinkling titanites, three dragon stones. Three petrified dragon bones. Not all that much. I fought an invader as a bunch of ghostly enemies were trying to get me to. Front and short look carefully. What does that mean? What does that mean in this case? Rough message. Up. Wait. What's up? It was. Very narrowly survived. A dead end. Possible. So in that case, how am I going to... Hmm. There's a lot of stuff to deal with. How am I going to get past this door? Oh, roll. Well, at least that didn't kill me. I made a mistake. Got to see... Yeah, you got to see the spike trap just now. I actually used it to kill off an enemy that was chasing me. And then I triggered it and almost died myself. Because I am incapable of learning incredibly basic lessons. So there's that door over there. And there's also the two elevators earlier by the other bonfires. And I wonder where those are going to take me. Oh, hi! Hello. This is supposed to be an ambush. So what I'm wondering is... I should probably just use some soul arrows to take out as many of them as I can before I actually go down there. Nice! And we're getting lots and lots of... The funny acid eggs, so... Let's just... Soul arrow them up. Well, you did get to see it just now. So we got that. Let's just see if we can get that in the corner. Oh, just a little. Did get that. More of these we destroy now, and the fewer we'll have to deal with when we're down there and maybe accidentally break a ring on. Oh, please. You've got to be kidding me. Come on, come on. Oh. So there's at least one more scuttling about down there. It's just... We got a few. I think we can probably afford to just hop down and... Oh, that was a lot of... Ooh, a lot of... Damage. Oh, no, not like that, not like that. Do not poison cloud me. Do not acid cloud me. Okay, out of the way of that, and then... Oh! What? No, 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 no. Heal me, heal me, heal me. Why are these bugs so strong? They should not be this strong. Die. Ah. Uh, and they're still just... They won't stop with the acid cloud. What makes them stop? Come on, out of my way, out of my way. And just... No, 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 no. What, what, can, I, what can I do against... What can I do against the acid cloud one? Come on, come on. Just out of my way, out of my way. Out of my way. Die. Die and just roll, roll, roll. Oh no. Oh no. We need to heal. We need to heal. It's just... It won't stop doing its acid cloud. and That is not great for me. Come on, come on. Just stay out of my way. I guess I'm trying to stay with magic, but now multiple of them are doing their acid cloud. They will not stop acid clouding until... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh! Your cousins? The bugs? Are you a bug or a goblin? Get your story straight. Okay. Well, good thing we have magic to spam. This is certainly something. Uh -huh. That is the thing with magic, is that it's difficult to 
may be a little difficult to do a lot of damage, especially with a build like mine, but you have a crazy amount of charges. Life gem, life gem, homing soul arrow, soul arrow. The binoculars back and destroy all these eggs. At this point, this is just catharsis. Don't think it's actually making much of a difference at this point. And somebody... Somebody died here. But it wasn't me. But it wasn't me. Okay. Keep on going? Of course. You can always tell me about cringe. Let's keep on going, keep on going. Destroy that from over here. As far away as possible. Thank you, thank you. I'm happy to. So the other one is actually up there. Okay. Heavy Solero and Solaire. Oh. And go for you and come on, come on. Come on. So okay, we can get up to a ladder. Will that allow me to break some of the armor? Stutter via attacks. Oh my goodness. Hurry of trap. Well it's not actually a is it a poison trap? Let's see. Okay, no trap. Goofy. Oh, Flynn's Ring. That's useless for me. Gives you more damage with lower equip load, but up but down required ahead. Goofy-ah. Uh. Okay. So now, the only thing left is going to be whatever's through here. Use a basic life gem. Wouldn't do all that much, but... How am I going to get up there? Yeah, it's... S some people... Some people are just... They have, they have their issues. I'll be nice. So I guess I need to dash through? What? Oh, so not only were they talking about stuff, but they were talking about it to... Someone who very clearly did not want to hear. Nice. Yeah, these guys are certainly something. They are somewhat reminiscent of the ones in Dark Souls 1, but at least they aren't completely invincible. Come on. And over there, and just... Because we can beat them without destroying the suit of armor, and since I don't know where their suit of armor that keeps them invisible is, I will have to kind of do it this way for now, but it's very clearly not a preferable way of engaging them. I've got enough life gems that I can pop these like candy. They might heal slowly, but they're always fast to use. That's alright. Where is somebody coming? Can I go up and maybe... Are there any switches? This is- oh, I can climb up there and then maybe destroy a suit of armor there or something. Wait, but actually, oh, there's a switch over there. What does that do? What did that do? Weird. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. That certainly is certainly is something that happens. Every now and then I have given advice to people I find loathsome. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're kind of caught between a rock and a hard place. Brutal. Well, in that case, I wish you luck and I wish you... Godspeed. Can't imagine this is fun. So let's actually pop a life jump right now. So once we get rid of those ghost soldiers in a... Annoying way, we can hopefully kill them in a less annoying way. Maybe actually I could. Could I backstab them? Can I backstab them in ghost form? Probably not. Whatever. Let's just see. And yeah, it does appear like, at least right now, they're backstab immune. Fair, fair. I... I'm much the same. You know that by now. Okay, just a few more hits. Luckily, dark damage is decent against even the ghost form. Come on, and just run out of the way and miss with our downward stab. Oh, ooh, okay. Come on, come on. Just out of the out of the way, out of the way. Ooh, use another maybe. Wonder if I can stack the healing effects or not. 
Come on, die. Die, die. Ooh, and just one more. Two more, actually. One more go, and two more hits. There we are. So now we should probably go over. Kill that Sanctum Priestess. And then there's a ladder there. We can use it. But actually, the switch won't activate again. Whatever it was. Oh, it was that thing over there. Okay. Maybe it was the other one, too, maybe. We'll see. Okay, okay. Well, in that case, you know, he's taking your criticism, which is... That's good, at least. Means you're maybe getting through to him. A dragonstone. What does that do? Dragonstone. Act operates sanctum contraption. So maybe that would make the elevators work? Home of a race that discovered a dragon, worshipped its magnificence, and perished by its side. And then apparently became clerics. According to some stuff. Let's go up. Oh, nice. That's not the first time that someone's psychiatrist has thanked you on their behalf. Wow. Okay, so... Should be... Oh, funny chime noise. How am I going to get over there, though? Hmm. I have to dash through to deal with the spikes. How am I going to get that? Bonfire ahead, but... How am I going to get over there? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Clearly I need to get over to the other side to... Go through. And for what it's worth, it wouldn't be horrible running to the boss from here. It's just... I wouldn't like to. Let's just go over, get that item real quick, and we are taking lots of damage. Uh, uh. I mean, at that point, yeah, you just say you're welcome and leave it at that, I'd say. Take it as a compliment, which it is. Oh, but we're, oh, we're, and of course it broke my ring. Of course it broke my ring. Well, should get another bonfire soon at least. Come on, come on. Come on. Is that another dragon charm? I didn't even see. Well, in the end, I can just... I'll just repair it. It's not the end of the world. It's just silly how not durable that thing is. Try ranged battle. And... Okay. I want those guys and another Sanctum Priestess. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I hope there's at least armor through here. Come on, come on. If I can actually... Okay, to go down, maybe? Let's see. Well, the Sanctum Priestesses are pretty easy to kill, so... Oh, but I don't think we can backstab them. That's annoying. Come on, come on. Trap ahead. Did, that, did they fall? They might have. Can they climb ladders? I don't even know. And revenge ahead. Try luring it out. The Priestesses? Yeah, they do. Rolling, therefore, weakness armor, raw for revenge, therefore try revenge, plunging attack, therefore try hole. So this should probably be the armor at the bottom, I would assume. That's what I'm guessing. Did it die? Maybe. Okay, there was another treasure chest over there. Very clearly, I need to go down and... Is there armor to break? To... Oh, it's over here. Hi. We go and one more one more and now now you're not a ghost oh, one of them is no longer a ghost but oh so i think everyone has its own suit of armor so some of the ones are ones i've actually already killed so let's just hope we stumble upon the right one by dumb luck obnoxious obnoxious that was not the right one it's not the right one is this going to be it? It is. No, it's not. There was one more. I think there was one more. Wait. Okay, yeah, there was one more. And this should be it. That was... Yep, there we go. There we go. And... Come on. I should actually... I need to heal up real quick. Life gem, life gem, life gem. Luckily, you are not that strong. Two hits will take you down as long as you're actually in physical form. Now we got you. Oh, they have a... Oh, yeah, they do have crossbows. That's right. Hi. And just kill you. 
And there it is. It's all done. Repair powder. That would have been nice to use before. <laughs> it's really annoying that the dragon ring says, at risk. Basically right before it breaks. Eternal Sanctum Key. Oh, oh, so actually, I did need to go around to a lot of these places. Because if I'd killed Alana, I wouldn't actually be able to go down and use the elevator unless I had the key. Let's unlock another little dungeon later. Depths of Eternal Sanctum in the plant chamber. Sanctum shelters in the dragon at the Solemn Temple. Filled with devilish creatures that ensure no trespasser shall cause offense. Mm -mm. So we managed to get our revenge. Let's just see. I'm clearly dropping down there. Yep, destroy. Let's be nice and rate that message. Okay. Visions of comfort. And this is... This is... Oh, Sanctum Knight Helm. Oh, so their set clearly is... You don't get it from drops, I don't think. Or at least the best way to get it is going to be picking them up from treasure. Let's see, peasant hat, fit for farming than fighting. Should be down here, I think. Somewhere over here, maybe? Okay, there we are, Sanctum Knight Helm. Renounce their own flesh to eternally guard the Sanctum from Sir Jorg and his Drakeblood Knights. So yeah, the kind of backstory to this DLC area is that everyone died or got corrupted by poison because... There was a dragon that they worshipped, which had poison inside it, but it didn't matter except for the fact that there was a guy and his group of knights who really, really liked killing dragons and drinking their blood for power. And so they went in and stabbed the dragon and it released the poison and then they all died. In other words, the pursuit of power will lead you nowhere good. I suppose. Ow, ow, ow. 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 I poked myself in the eye with my chip bag. That really hurt. <laughs> okay. What's in here? What's in here? Trap ahead. No kidding. And just... Oh! A crossbow trap. So we just had to roll out of the way. More woods talismans, which are not useful. Oh, legitimately. There's no ring I could equip to protect myself from that. And what's in here? We got... Oh, a blood bite ring plus one. Not that any of those are things I particularly need right now. Oh, no, there you are. There you are. Now they targeted my weak point. There we go, and... Destroy the knight. Yeah, right in my hitbox. I would say that that, that hitbox would deal ten times normal damage if I was attacked there. Okay, so if I keep going over that way, actually, I will get access to the boss fight but for now what we want to do is explore the rest of the area see if any more of those doors will open up mm -hmm. it's supposed to be a bonfire so oh is this just wait is it already wait I'm getting all turned around oh i think right this door opened up this is a door to before Okay. How am I going to open up that door over there with a the bonfire? Do I need to drop back down? Okay. If you choose F1 over me, I won't be all that offended. It's a one-time event, and after all, if you had to, you could always just watch the VOD for the stream. Okay, so... Gotta go back to... Fair, fair enough. Either way, either way, don't push yourself too hard. I wouldn't want you to get hurt. In a metaphorical sense, I suppose. I don't think you would physically hurt yourself watching two live events at once. So actually, let me see. So how would I move that down there? I think... Oh, fair. Even if you know he's going to win, you know, you may as well watch him win. But the guy you like usually comes in second to their stop it, right? I think I kind of remember you saying that. Maybe. Well, either way, Alana shouldn't be that much trouble, I don't think. I need to not fall down and then jump through here, jump through here. And I think maybe the door from before should be open now. 
Already killed these guys, just gotta avoid the spike trap. And no, it's not open. Oh, but actually, I think, the area at the very top, that said, I actually don't have a way to get back to the start. The area at the very top should, should be able to go in using my key now. Oh, okay. As in your guy usually comes in second unless his car starts crashing? Okay. Mm, well, guess this is as good a time as ever to human effigy up. And then... Okay, okay. So that's what's going on. Mm -mm. Go through here. Doesn't seem like an access to that bonfire up there at the moment. Maybe. Just keep on going and... Visions of Switch. Not like that. You can hear singing. Oh, hi! That's actually how we want to do it. Nice. Miracles, but unlucky. Holy water is a joke. Because they thought he was going to die soon or something. That he needed someone to bless him. Okay. Paramancy, Dark Spirit. But we already killed that Dark Spirit. Not a problem. Should be able to go through here. Gurm Shield. Hmm. All right. So we should be able to... But wait. What? Wait. Where's Benhart's summon sign? Huh? This might be. Might be some trouble. If... If this is a boss fight, I'm just going to... Oh, it's not a boss fight. Oh, uh, okay. Weakness of leg. Good old... Oh, oh, good old lords to the, to the grotto. Oh, goodness. So these guys down here in Dragon Sanctum... Do the imperfect guys, the imperfects. Okay, they are weak to dark. They are weak to dark, and that's good. Strike thrust to dark lightning. We don't have any thrust right now, but that's fine. Let's keep on going. Hmm. This is... There should be a bonfire down here for... They were the imperfect, but either way, we've actually reached the bottom of the ziggurat area. The big thing is going to be, see, be seeing how well we can actually take on these big dragon butt guys. Hello, hello. Mm -mm. So they're actually a lot like... Well, they're not entirely like the dragon butts from Dark Souls 1, but they're somewhat similar. Get over here. Are you just gonna... Oh, that... It's kind of like a dark lightning attack. Interesting. That's just... Decent damage. Oh, well... Oh, wow. Okay. Come on. Estus up. Estus up. Well, I died. Okay. He really does. So in this case, actually, maybe I should... I should equip some dark spells. I should have done that already, because everything here is weak to dark, but not to magic. Silly and deadly. That is true. I actually want to go back to the starting bonfire to see if I can actually use that contraption I got to maybe activate those elevators. That could help with something. Because beyond all this, there's also the Sanctum itself, and then the Cave of the Dead. And then... Will it work? It won't work. Sad. I think I should be able to use the key, though, and that might be a shortcut. So we'll see. I'm just gonna go back to the next part. Tower of Prayer. Tower of Prayer said, given that Dragon Sanctum is a separate area, I would think that maybe, maybe, the bonfires in there that might be separate, and there's another bonfire in here that I'm just missing right now. Okay. So that was a fog wall that didn't actually lead to a boss. That's certainly something. Hmm. Keep going down here, and you're in here. Hi. Hello. Slam and allow me to. Well, I didn't get the backstab, but I was able to crush you pretty capably anyway. Mm -mm. 
This will just drop down here. Yeah, that'll be the best way to do it. We didn't really take much fall damage that way. Hi. I should have... Uh, I should have taken that backstab opportunity when it presented itself. Oh, okay, well, whatever. There we go, and make sure you don't kill me. Hello, hello. And just out of the way of that, and then... Still didn't get the backstab. I try not to. Sometimes it just doesn't work out for me. Well, you know, I guess you're right. No point in denying it at this point. Ooh, I could have fallen, but I didn't. That's good. So, yep, and that won't work. How am I going to get that open? I assume I'm just going to need to activate it from below, wherever below is. That's not the actual part where we go in the lair. There's an item over there, but I think that's probably Cave of the Dead. Hi, hi. Let's out of the way of that, and... There we go, one backstab, and... Wait, what? Huh? Weird. Oh, goodness. This is starting to suck. Well, at least maybe if I had to, I could lure them over to another direction and try to circle around that instead of doing it like this. Oh, well, a jump attack did it well enough. Hi. Okay. So the shield and spear guys seem to be a little less durable, which is nice. We are going to... So we can open it. And we can open it. Good. What's through here? Another witch. Hello. Die, die, die. And are there going to be any mimics in here? That is the question. Hi. So now they're going to go around, and can I? Well, even if I could backstab, I wasn't able to, so... What? Oh, now it's scraps of life, scraps of life, scraps of... Oh, good lord. At least we didn't die. That was a spell I tried using before, actually. It wasn't particularly special. And oh, they actually spawn a poison cloud when they die. Interesting. Well, we got some armor and some treasures. More buzzing. From the gamer. Try to root. Interesting. Interesting. More dried root. What does that do? It's up here. And storage HP for a long period. Natives of the South. Pungent odor. Pilgrimage. Keenly aware. Powerful medicinal effects. And I guess Majua would be in the south of... This area would be in the south, given that it's under Mont Gulch, which is under under the gutter, which is under Majula, which is under... Well, which is in the south. Oh, okay, okay. And this is Ruffer Ring. What ring is this going to be? What if it was the Elden Ring? Kidding. Lightning Clutch Ring. Oh, that's good. That reduces defenses, but increases lightning damage. Which is really useful for a lightning build. Two bonfire aesthetics. Try charging. Okay. Beanpole stomach. What does that mean? Either way, we're gonna go up. We are going to go up. So there is up here maybe, maybe that bonfire from before? I don't know. Bug ahead. Okay. Oh, but I forgot to repair the ring when I went back to the bonfire. Eh, whatever. It's not that consequential. So what am I... Oh, this is the buzzing. Well, it wouldn't take that much to explain, I don't think. I know romance languages. I think I'd more or less get it. Ah. Oh. Okay, and now that goes across. Okay, tell me. So how much more? Kill the dragon, and then I'll be... The other dragon... Alana, or Elena, or whatever, however you pronounce that, and then Alana, and let's see if we can, okay, no trap, no trap, Sanctum Shield, what does that do? Let's see, and this over, is that a cave? Hmm. Let's check out that shield, Sanctum Shield, Bone Shield, Leon Acolytes outlived its usefulness. Attempted to recreate a dragon, was not heard from again, which implies that the dragons we saw, including the the guard, the big ancient dragon, was probably a person or something else turned into a dragon, since it dropped a soul of a giant, which wouldn't make much sense. 
And also, it's known that Ollie was trying to create him. It's designed treasures of the Sunken King, mystical tree branch, and sacred charm, iron canister, miracles, and sorceries. As for loss, highly advanced craftsmanship. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. At that point, you know, once you're old, there's no reason to be that petty about things anymore, one way or the other. Worry of misfortune. What? Gorgeous view ahead. I should probably try to get my stuff back first. Try right. They think they killed you. So what's the wordplay in Italian? Totally killed, call an ambulance. So, is it a pun on whatever the name for ambulance is in... Worry of Dark Spirit, ooh. Name for ambulance is in Italian? Call an ambulagna. And... So what's the pun there? So either way, I think maybe that'll, that might send me back to both of those elevators. Oh, so... So maybe in English it would say, call a wine violence. Which isn't as, isn't as good, but it kind of gets the point across. I'm trying here. I'm trying. Okay, okay. Brutal. Okay. Oh, well, we weren't able to get it before it... Still two hits. That's good. Oh, oh! Get out of the way of that, and can we... Oh, dang it, dang it. Oh, roll, roll! Oh, no, 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 no. Let's run. Let's run. Do not want to die. Do not want to die. die. Do not kill me. Do not kill me. Fair. It's not stressful. You know, there's nothing to take the edge off of a stressful situation than by playing Dark Souls. Because it makes everything else feel so much easier by comparison. Okay. Over there, repair powder. There's other elevators in all these other areas. What am I going to find? Okay, well, whatever. Come on, come on. We were able to get you. Let's just make sure we... Gauntlet's no armor, though. Come on, come on. Backstab, backstab, kill before it poisons me. There we go, and there we go. Dragon charm and a... Sit you down before you get up. There we go, and... Other one's common, so let's just... Go over. Don't think we really need a dash attack specifically, but there we have it. So now it's the Sanctum Priestess over there. We can kill you. Oh, what? Okay. Die, die. Now we should heal, now we should heal. Heal before it hits me, and... Oh, well, I'm poisoned now. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Actually, using a life gem would somewhat counteract it without wasting Estus, so... Well, actually, no. This is so sad. The poison is stronger than the Estus. In Dark Souls 1 and in other Souls games, they've had basically weak poison and strong poison. In Dark Souls 2, they only have strong poison. All poison is basically, as they called it in Dark Souls 1, toxic. Which is certainly something, I will say. Sanctum Crossbow. Hi. Let's just go around and see if we can... We can backstab you! You know, I agree. Largely because I think everyone should play Dark Souls, but also that would be good too. Oh, well, we didn't dodge in time. Die, die, die. Oh, and they're shooting me. They do have that crossbow. That is true. Come on, come on. And they did drop something this time. Oh, just a dragon charm. So they are just like the other priestesses, priestesses in Amana, and actually, the game does kind of imply that there is some connection. There we go. Kill with a backstab. There we go. Exactly. Well, maybe they would try. Maybe the Fortnite guy would say you weren't a real gamer, even if you played Dark Souls. But then you could call him an idiot, and you would be right. Frankly, you could do that already. Let's just keep on going, and... Come on, come on. Yeah, not that Fortnite is bad. I d enjoyed my time with LEGO Fortnite. But if you're playing Fortnite, you have no grounds to call anyone else a fake gamer. Well, I don't know. Maybe he's having fun playing doubles. Oh, goodness. Back there is... Oh, goodness. Roll out of the way and... Let me get my blood stain at least. Oh! Blood stain, blood stain. I need my blood stain. 
Roll, roll, and can I get that back at least? Roll. Oh goodness, I need, I need this. Let's get out of the way before we die, before we die. So yeah, I need to engage these guys using dark magic from a distance. There is not going to be another good way to deal with them. In that case, I guess we can go back to Gotten the Bloodstain. Well, first of all, I can go to Majula and cash in these souls so they don't go to waste. That's yeah, just... Maybe it wasn't even a gamer thing. Maybe. He was hoping to find someone who could be a doubles partner for Fortnite with him. And he was disappointed when he couldn't find someone then. I don't know. Again, I'm trying to assume the best. Oh, nice. We got more dark bonus. Our sword is only going to get better. Cool. There we go. Well, I guess... I mean, not even a romantic sense. Just, you know, when you've been friends with someone for a while, the next step is logically getting them to play Fortnite duos with you. And when he found out that that probably wasn't happening, he just... Had to, I don't know, cry. You're probably cursed or something. It's usually the explanation when it comes to things like that. Oh, legitimately. It's a stupid decision to make, but it's kind of funny, though. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know. It's, it's truly one of the greatest tragedies over time, I will say. He passed up on not just the chance to... Have a Fortnite duo partner, but a friend. All because he couldn't actually ask you directly. Fair. But it's just... I do Dark Souls. I do Dark Souls pseudo-challenge runs. And I'm still not really a gaming elitist. It's just... There are more important things. There are more important things in life than being a gaming elitist. Such as actually playing games. So let's just, there we go, and backstab you. Can we just backstab you now, maybe? Maybe, oh, okay. Come on, come on. There we go, there we go, there we go. Nice. Guess I'll just pop a life gem. I have five billion of those. Five million billion kajillion. Honestly, it's just a way to get rid of them. Having this many and not using them is, even if they're not all that useful, I'd rather just be rid of them. Hi, die, oh, out of the way, out of the way. Do not want to have to deal with your scraps alive. Fair. I think... Oh, and people are elitist about that. I mean, I'm not really surprised, but still... Brutal. Oh, and actually... She has to be non poise broken in order to actually make her... Funny little dark soul projectiles go hit you. Honestly, it's... It scares me how much dedication that fans sort of cajole each other into in scenes like that. Because I, I remember you would say something about people wanting to stream some song or other, and I was just thinking, okay, yeah, so they'd listen to it to support it, and then he said, oh, yeah, they have it on play without actually listening to it repeatedly to jack up the metrics as a show of support. And I was just... That was insane to me. That just boggled my mind. Warrior of Dark Spirit, and Scroll of Light Ahead. So we're back in Shulva. Let's see, Rock Shield Baldir. What are you? Okay. Well, I should have put Dark Weapon back on. Whatever. Come on, come on. Well, next time we find another bonfire, I'll do my stuff. Come on, come on. Just... There we go. Oh, you have a... Oh, use your talisman. Hi. Oh, you have a lot of poise. That's insane. Go over and hit you. At least your spear isn't all that strong. Can't use S to seal it. What? What? Okay. Come on, come on. Oh, out of the way of that end. Can I circle around? Yeah, let's kill you with a backstab. Get crushed. Been vanquished. Yeah, that... Either way, that's... Downright insane. <clears throat> thank you, thank you. It's just... Nothing is so important as to warrant bullying other people who are devoted fans of the same thing as you. So why would you do that? We're off for victory, and this is going to be the final show of a bonfire, I think. Priestess's Chamber, I should. 
Well, I'll get rid of all these magic spells and put in dark spells for one. Not resonant weapon. Does that cost souls in addition to just being worse? Gatekeep words? What does that even mean in that context? Like, you wouldn't be able to call yourself a real fan unless you listened or pretended to listen to some song five times a day or something. It's just... It's not that deep. It's just music. Okay. Oh, oh, bro. Bro. Mm -hmm. Okay, you give it up for dead. Repair. There we go. Alright. Gatekeeping names of fandoms. Oh, goodness. Okay, so everything's at 27. The big thing is, and I'll probably be, I'll certainly be able to do it. I want to get my dexterity to 28 eventually. Because once I do that, there's going to be a sword in the final DLC area. That's a fire elemental greatsword, which as a result will work really, really well with my build. So I'm just hoping I'll be able to use that. I should be able to. I should be able to. Let's just see. Can we... What kind of soul should we use to... Use a soul of the hero, soul of the hero real quick to... How much do we need? We need a little bit more to level up. Let's just use that then. Just condense some souls with a level up to make sure they don't go to waste. Then... There we go. Two Metallica for the fake fans. What song do they use? Especially if they're just kids, it's just, what are you doing? What are you doing? Just a little bit more HP, there we go. Yeah. The one real concert I've ever actually seen was Metallica. And they were incredibly good. The live show was really impressive. They had a big video set up above where they were performing. And they used it to play related related video and stuff. The big thing is that Metallica... Oh, Master of Puppets. That's a fun one. Back in high school, my sophomore year, my second year, I made a parody of Master of Puppets, parody lyrics for karaoke, that related to the American Revolutionary War. So the Master of Puppets was King George. Because this is when Hamilton was big, so they were trying to have us do something similar for the sake of education. I mean, in the end... It's really funny, because... Bruno Bussolati is obscure enough of a JoJo character that nobody is going to know who he is unless they were actually interested in the, interested in the show. And I will say that there are people who do stuff like that for clout. But I don't think she is, because choosing Busalati out of anyone is not the kind of thing people would do if they just said, okay, I want to cosplay a JoJo character for the sake of clout. It's fundamentally just a difference in mentality. Yeah. It is interesting that apparently for a while the... BNHA artists have been using her as a reference for Mirko. Oh, so this is Cave of the Dead. Weakness Trio. Oh, so... There's gonna be treasure in here, though I might like to do that later, possibly. Yeah, exactly. Soul Eater is... so old at this point. It's just... choosing that specifically is... It's not the kind of thing a fake fan would do for Cloud. There are much easier ways to do things for Cloud. So, where am I? Am I in... Okay, so I think this is where I started. Yeah, yeah, this is the right location. Okay, cool. Yeah. Brutal. I... When I went to that con, I don't think I saw a single Gojo, actually. I was kind of surprised. Let's just see. Anything over here? Is there a liar ahead? What's over this way? Chest ahead, therefore, visions of joy. Yeah, exactly. Death the Kid and Busalati are not 
flavor of the month characters or cosplays that people could or would do for clout. Fundamentally would not work if that was your intention. Don't even watch. Sniper smelt, but be wary of a regret. So there is a chest over here. Is this going to be another clutch ring? Maybe. Let's see. Oh, Dark Greatsword. I can't use that spell. I don't have the Rex for that spell. Let's just check it out real quick, though. I think I have Soul Greatsword. I think I do. Do I? Yeah, I do. What did I get? Oh, I could actually... I could actually cast this now. I could actually cast that. Hmm. -hmm. That is interesting. It's not going to be all that useful, but I could try it. Soul Bolt still can't use that. Maka Alban. Who is that? Is he from... Soul Eater or... Resident Weapon, Dark Greatsword. Yep, that has a crazy high requirement. Okay. Yeah, see, fake fan, fake fan. I've literally never watched the show. Branch Dark Like a Sword, Ancient Sorcery. Ancient Sorcery? But wait, are they referring to Soul Greatsword? Because there was no sorcery in Dark Souls 1 that was anything like it. And normally tranquil, focus by the dark and an uncharacteristic flash of brilliance, which I believe also would allow it to... Well, let's actually just better back. I think that lets it shoot a beam, too. Okay. Now, there are so many things I need to be watch. I need to watch eventually. The thing about it is that as an unabashed sub over dub elitist, I want to finish one in Japanese first. Which... I should hopefully at least be able to beat Duolingo by the end of the year. Fair. It's like asking whether... And please forgive me for this one. It's like asking whether Pyra slash Mithra or Rex is the main character of Xenoblade 2. So over there, we've already been there. Hmm. Yeah. I said it's like asking whether Pyra or Mithra is the main character of Xenoblade 2. I mean Pyra or Mithra or Rex. Because they're all kind of, all kind of main in their own kind of ways. It's just sort of, even separating them is not really meaningfully possible. I played the original Xenoblade on Wii U via Wii Virtual Console. Well, on Wii via Wii U Virtual Console some time ago. Yeah, it's just... And then after a certain point, you're just splitting hairs. It's not the kind of thing you really need to be concerned about. Horse ahead. So we could just try to do that manually, or we could light them using a flame butterfly. Let's just use the flame butterfly. Okay. But I'm wondering how I get into Sanctum. Alright. So there was the other one down there. What is this gonna do? What is this gonna do? I might actually just take a quick detour through Cave of the Dead, then. Torch and then be wary of misfortune. So what did that torchlight do? Someone can invade me now? Fair. Oh, okay. Interesting. Shulva torches. What does that do? Side, point of torches outside. Produce light and heat. Deep enough that it's warm. Oh, goodness. Let me see. Sconces, sconces. What is that going to do? Whatever. Well, it doesn't seem like that's actually going to do anything. It said misfortune, but... Yeah, whatever. And over there is in the start of the area. Where we were before. Let's actually just go back to Cave of the Dead real quick and see what happens. So there was that other door. At the end of the spike pit. And there was also... That other elevator. Hmm. So we'll figure those out eventually. Maybe, but I'm not going back there right now. There is a quote-unquote boss through here, which really is not much of a boss at all. It's literally just a couple of guys. And by couple, I mean three. It's just a gank fight. It's nothing special. So actually, we need to put... Let's put our sunset staff back on. There we go, okay. So maybe actually putting Sand Tears on would do me better. Probably. 
Come on, come on. A boss that didn't believe in itself. Yeah. Back with silence. Where is... Okay, we can at least light that sconce. Hmm. So who's in here and how many things are in here? Oh, hi. Hello. Hmm. Don't like this. How much damage am I gonna... Oh, you are not very weak to pierce. Dumb, dumb, dumb. That is annoying. That said, I think Slash might do better. About Arlequino? Did some more leaks come out, or is it just people getting interested because her drip marketing is coming out soon? Either way, I'm I am excited to see how she actually plays. Because a lot of people, well, a lot of leaks are saying that she's basically going to be like, kind of like Huto. Oh, okay. I did hear about that. But that said, well, the weapon stats are kind of easy to assume at this point, given that... Oh, and that's... Oh, a Petrify statue. Interesting. Given that pretty much every DPS character for this patch cycle has just had a weapon with one crit stat and had the other crit stat as their ascension stat. Even Furina, and she's a support. Albeit a support with decent DPS capabilities. So it's just sort of, okay, congrats. What do you want, a cookie? Okay, so down there. Oh, I could just switch the sunset staff to the other hand and start blasting them. Let's do that. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, because next, next time around I could just get another sunset staff. And so I'd be able to have two equipped at once if I wanted to. Oh, okay. What kind? Do you have any preference? So in that case, we can just hopefully try to shoot them from above. Chocolate chip? Is oatmeal chocolate chip okay? I don't really eat cookies anymore, but back when I did, my absolute favorite was probably oatmeal chocolate chip. Because it has the chocolate, but the oatmeal gives it a lot of additional texture, which makes it a lot more interesting. It's experiential. Come on, come on. Well, actually, I stopped eating oatmeal. Because, at least in America, they use some interesting pesticides, which we don't exactly know what they do and whether they're safe or not. So I have kicked my oatmeal habit, which hurt me on a deep and personal level. I, oh! Okay, okay. Go over and... Store-bought sugar cookies. Okay. Oh, and you are... Die, die already. Come on, come on, get out of my way, get out of my way. Get out of my way. Ooh, ooh. Come on. Don't petrify me, don't petrify me. Just stay out of my way, stay out of my way, and just stop, stop, stop. So do you mean the ones with pink frosting, or...? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. All I need to do is move to Europe, and I can eat all the oatmeal I want. And what's in here? Quite something ahead, so then it has to be a petrified something. Come on, come on, come on. We got... Yep, a petrified something. So that over there is... Let's see if we can hit that. It said... Magic would probably be better than dark for this case. Hi! Oh, but the binoculars are... Interesting. I don't like that aim. This is really, really finicky. Hmm, okay. Okay. Alright. Let's just... Try to hit down. Uh, I get that. I know what you're saying. Uh, uh. Let's just... If I get rid of the other guys, then maybe I could put the binoculars back on to try to... I don't know if sconce is still light. Oh, there is a sconce to light down here. Okay. Pondi Stella. And that... So what's that like flavor-wise compared to something like an American sugar cookie? What would be the best point of comparison? Because, you know, that means... I know that means star bread, but beyond that, I'm not sure. Can I pierce that from here? I can't. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Gosiole. I don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. But the... 
getting the... Way to the boss. I guess a lot of it is just lighting all the sconces and maybe dropping down a bunch, but... Hmm. Interesting place. Truly an interesting place. There's another guy over there. I should definitely try to get him before. Turn off the torch, probably, but... Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, drop. Okay. Oh, so... Kind of like a Hershey's Kiss, but a cookie. Kind of. I need to stop comparing everything to American things. Ah, we are getting hedged in. Come on, come on. And just... Oh, out of, out of the way, out of the way. Please go to a better location. Just like that, and then can we stab you? There we go. Impaled. Come on. Come on. Epic cave of the dead, cave of the dead moment. Crunchy and frothy, but with soft chocolate. Okay. Well, to be fair, most of the time when you put chocolate chips in something and bake them, if you put the chocolate chips in beforehand, and if you heat it up enough, it should melt the chocolate chips. So you've got a torch too. Yeah, could you spare a light? There we go, there we go. It's like we're smokers. So you're over there. There should be more items, but before any of that, we need to switch to the binoculars and do some dark orbs to eliminate these statue guys. Let's see. Oh, well. All right. Oh, that damage is actually really good against them. It's kind of hard to aim, though, because of the size of the hitbox. Okay. Good thing we have a lot of these, at least. Come on, come on. You can't target them at all. No lock on whatsoever. Come on, come on. And we hit you, we hit you. Crunchy dark chocolate taste. Stars. So, when you say solidified frosting, would it be chocolate frosting or just a sugar frosting? Sounds cool. Giving me more ideas for a possible cooking hand cam stream eventually. Okay, sugar frosting. Okay. Just kill these turtle kind of guys. And let's light our torch back up. Cookie stream. I feel like, uh, my body does not handle sugar all that well, especially not anymore. So I feel like I might need to have someone taste test bartender one. Yeah, it's just, I don't really indulge in anything anymore. It's just, I need to find someone to eat them. I just get my dad involved. I'd use him as the guinea pig for everything. Okay, so which way is that going to be? The cave. Okay, we can light this up over here. It's pretty dark. Mm. Let's keep on going. I think there might be some other items dropped on the ground over here. Come on, come on. You have got to be kidding me. Something over there. I'm not sure if the turtle dropped it or... No, I think this was just standard. Sure. In the end, as long as I have the names, I can find recipes. Free bright bug. Shame I don't use those, but... The bright bugs are actually, it says, from the marshlands outside the undead crypt, which literally just means Shrine of Amana. And so beyond just being sort of the bright lights bright lights that appear around the Amana undead, you can also consume them to get a temporary power-up. Ringo. Are there cookies named after the other members of the Beatles, too? But, so is it chocolate, too, or what differentiates, what differentiates it from Oreos? All right, all right. So I guess once we actually get into the fight, we should probably... Where is that fog gate? Curse and then curse. And you wretch. Can I actually break that one? I don't think I can. I said... Well, on one hand, I said, what differentiates them from the other... Oh, lots of guys. From Oreos, and also, are there other cookies named after the other members of the Beatles? You know, because there's Ringo, and then there's John, and George, and Paul, and... Thank you, thank you. <laughs> one of the most cursed, but also powerful images in existence is an image of John, Ringo, Paul, and George lined up left to right in that order, each wearing a shirt that has their first initial on it. 
So, I, I assume you can guess what that said. Ringy. Chocolate and vanilla. Brown and right. Vanilla, but also with chocolate. Okay. Where we have left. So, a couple of them are coming over. We gotta make sure that... Oh, multiple will come over no matter what I do. Annoying. Oh, but these ones are not that bad, actually. Hi. There we go. Backstab you. Go for the next, and backstab you. There we go. There we go. Okay. It's just, is there going to be a torch for me to use, or... That's the question. Oh, die. Yeah, there has to be a skull somewhere, right? Oh, always. Whenever I can do it, I better do it. It's just, there is... What am I hearing? Oh, a big worm. Hi. Interesting. Let's just poke. And just out of the way of that, maybe. And will the head take more damage? Not meaningfully. Okay. Cool. Poke. Poke and poke. Dead one. Bones of dad jokes. But as I was saying, there is a picture of the Beatles lined up, and it literally says JRPG. In other words, the Beatles invented JRPGs. You can blame them for everything now. So there's the boss, the alleged boss of the area. Ooh, oh, more petrify. So getting petrified would instantly kill me, so I'm going to try not to do that. We do have our fires lit, so at least for now I can actually get my binoculars back up and blast them. Kind of, kind of. Oh, you didn't hear. For half... For almost half a year, maybe a little bit more, I literally had a parasitic worm infestation. It was lots of fun. And when I say that, I mean that it was not lots of fun at all. It severely impacted my digestion, but now I can say that I have literally been in parasite infested. When I get a model upgrade, it will probably be at least in part an allusion to that. We'll see. Fair. I survived. If I died, that would be one thing, but I did survive. So, there we go. So in that case, we can take the binoculars off, switch the staff over to the other hand, just enchant a dark weapon and obliterate these guys. Cool. Well, they weren't trying to kill me. They were just trying to get some food. In the end, in the end, they didn't really do anything wrong. I can't blame them. Okay, okay, okay. I'll accept the compliment. I can't criticize you if I'm like this. Kind of. Not by choice. So I kicked them out of the house. Once they turned 18, I had to immediately evict them. Varg and Sarah. So now we can just pancake some of them, maybe. Oh, goodness. Someone's nice. Uh oh. Uh, how much? Oh, goodness. You are more dangerous than I expected. So this is just a gank fight. Not really a real fight, but not really a real boss fight, but... Uh, afflicted Grave Robber. You know what? You know what? I could just run around and hit him with Dark Orb. Yeah, cool. Okay. I think that's what I'll do. Oh, but I need to stab the wave. The bow and arrow guy. Hi. Oh well. Oh, but you're blocking and you have a katana. I don't like that. I really don't like that. Get over here and Habble, habble, and just what? The damage wasn't all that bad, and I don't think they can heal. Huge thing. Oh, it's a Havel Knight. And they're holding a dragon tooth. Come on, come on, just jump and Oh goodness. That was bad. It was really bad. Come on, just die. Oh, your poise is so high though. Die, die, and just... Well, we can knock you that way. That was good. Let's go down here and heal. Are you gonna jump? Or are you gonna jump? Oh, am I stuck? I'm kinda stuck. Oh, this is a bad place to be in. This is a really bad place to be in. Come on. I did not think that would be as bad as it was. Oh, but what? Oh, come on. Where's he? Where are you? Oh, what? What? Do not backstab me. Do not backstab me. Is there no way to get up? Oh, you're kidding me. What? 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 
Oh, this is really bad. Oh, let's just run out of the way. Run out of the way. Tooth Fairy's minions. Yeah, exactly. Got a tooth. So he's the Tooth Fairy, and then the rest of the Tooth Fairy's minions. I'm kind of impressed that they managed to get a Dwayne the Rock Johnson cameo, but, you know, the budget had to go somewhere. Oh, well. At least the damage isn't all that horrible. Heal, heal. Come on, get my dark weapon back up. And just die. There we go, we got you. So now we can kill the Havel Knight. Oh, goodness. Goodness. This guy's so silly. What did Grave Robber and... Oh, my goodness. What? How can I not... How can I not dodge that? Dumb, dumb, dumb. And Sarah is the one with the bow. Out of the way of that. Can we backstab? Can we backstab? Nice! Crush you. Ancient Soldier Vard gun. One more. Exactly. Exactly. They had to pay him a lot to do that. Oh, but run, run, can we... Oh, goodness. You are not... Actually, that, that's not horrible. Die, 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 backstab again. Good riddance. Okay. So Sarah can't do much. She's not really a threat. Hi, and just out of the way of that end. Can we backstab you? Oh, well, whatever. Got a sword now, and... Oh, goodness. Damage isn't all that high, but... Can't afford to get too cocky. Hi, just out of the way of that. Can we backstab? No, we can't, but we can roll catch and whatever. Ooh, ooh, come on. Luckily, it's just one more hit and you'll be down. Can we jump? Jump. Nice, we traded. Goodbye, everybody. It's like the same reason I won't be a cat, but it's all about dignity. Twinkling Titanite, Petrified Dragon Bone, and a Titanite Slab. So that'll be good. How many Twinkling Titanites do I have now? It's actually a lot like Prowling Magus. No soul, but... A lot of upgrade materials. So I would be able to upgrade once I get it. The Loy Sword all the way to plus five. Guess I could maybe spare one for a bit more for Sand Tears, but I don't use Sand Tears all that much. So where do I go now? Go over the other side maybe, but... So there's water down here with a few more statues. Mm -hmm. Then down there, there is one of those turtles. I'm calling it a turtle. Okay. I do wonder if I could actually hit it with the sword, because it does strike pretty low. Well, if people didn't notice and didn't really care, you kind of won in your own kind of way. That's how I like to think about it. It's, it's about the choices you make and your ability to own up to them. That's all there really is. Let's put that there and put the binoculars down. Okay. In that case, we are going to go for a few more dark orbs to get rid of this turtle guy. Probably not necessary, but... Oh, can we not actually... Oh, okay, we can get him. That's good. There we have it. Fair. Yeah. Life is far too short to care about things like which way you're wearing your sweater could be doing things like playing Dark Souls or watching other people playing Dark Souls. Okay. So maybe I could put Sand Tears back on or at least light up the torch. Sure. Okay. At least until maybe I find another sconce. But I wonder if this is going to count as a shortcut or something and maybe allow me to get to a side of the area I wouldn't otherwise have been able to. Yeah, we could beat those guys. Even though I said they were easy, it definitely gave me my money's worth. I was pleasantly surprised, actually. Let's keep on going. I mean, it's definitely a bit silly for a quote-unquote boss to just be a gank fight, but... Huh. Been over here. That's water, but there's nothing really over there. Just continue onward through the Cave of the Dead. Cave of the Dad? What's he doing here? Come on, come on. Nothing over here. Any more statues? None that I see. Okay. Just a couple over here, and that should be the end of the area. Alright. So maybe this will send me to the Sanctum area a little bit faster. And maybe give me a nice bonfire, too. So I had to. I could just run through here to get to the bottom. Raw for victory, and... What else is here? Fine work. 
Okay, so this is the side of the cave I was seeing beforehand. So, yep, this is a place that I did want to get to. Oh, that sucks. Sorry to hear that. And flower skirt. Flower skirt? Okay. Interesting. Is that going to be a... Pants item? Let's see. Oh, it actually looks like this. Name is Troubadour. High durability despite its appearance. While well, use of their arts, generous patron, weird flowers, attention of a candidate for the position. Oh, but you can't really see it because of the sort of waistcoat part of the armor I'm wearing. Funny shoes, too. Eh, this isn't particularly strong. We need to put back on the armor I was actually using beforehand. There we go. And going down here, what is this going to do? Oh, this just sends you back to the other part of Cave of the Dead. So the only reward was upgrade materials and the ability to, I don't know, get that flower skirt? That's not nothing, but kind of expected a little bit more. Okay. Well, that'll be our shaggy dog story for today. Okay. In that case, we're going to go back to the sanctum. Back to the sanctum. Actually, wait. I'm gonna try my best. Gonna try my best. Don't worry. But actually, right. I can level up a couple of times. I can do that. Hmm. Okay. Gonna get a bit more strength, I think. Okay. Hello, friend. Let's see what we can level now. We need for another. Oh, actually. Endurance for an incredibly tiny amount of additional stamina. And then a thousand more souls or so should let me get another level of vitality. I think. No, not vitality, but whatever. Get this. Not a soul of a great hero. How much is Grave Warrior? Okay, so two of these should do the trick. Two of them should do the trick. There we go, and I think we can do it now. Oh, we need a tiny bit more. Okay. Come on, come on. Which soul the name of soldier should be alright. That's good enough. A little bit over, but whatever. The nice thing is that, but it, even though you have to check the item description, Elden Ring rune items do tell you how many runes you will get from using a consumable rune item. Get a bit more equip one. That is also quite nice. So what is my equip load at at the moment, then? It's at... Okay, but with the sword, what is it at? The spear isn't all that heavy. It's still over 50%, but it's getting closer and closer to being under. Well, whatever. We're going back. Back to... Priestess's chamber could be okay. It's not going to make much of a difference one way or the other, actually, so... Alright. Hmm. Oh! Got a message waiting. Might have been nicer when I actually had some Estus missing, but... No use complaining about something I got for free. Hmm. Alright. It's just... Actually, actually... What I should do is just keep Sorcerer's Staff in that hand, because the strength of a weapon buff actually has nothing to do with the catalyst you cast it with. That's right. Which means that there's nothing to lose at all from just using a weak catalyst to buff and having the other in hand to actually hit things with. I will just keep that in mind and... Oh, well. All right. Thought I would be able to get the drop on it with a backstab, and we did get we did get the drop on it, but not with a backstab. Come on, come on, just roll, and can we get you? There we go, cool. And you're gonna get tossed off the edge. Goodbye, goodbye. Just gonna go back through. Got access to the Cave of the Dead and got the meager rewards from it. Just run through, go back to the lair of the imperfect deep underneath, I suppose. It's just... That door in Dragon Sanctum. Wondering how I even need to get in there. Roll, roll, and just... Come on. 
Come on and just... Oh, please. That was... dangerously close. Oh, wow. Is he okay, at least? Because they do have safety equipment in the cars, right? Even though they're pretty functional. I just remember hearing that many, many years ago, in one of the first instances of Le Mans in France, someone actually crashed into the stands, which started a huge fire, which killed both the driver and a number of spectators, and they kept the race going. Okay, good. So is he out of the race, or are they going to give him another car to use, or, or what? Come on, come on. Avoid that trap, kill you, kill you, and just... There we go. Oh, wow, what happened? Is it just... The wreck? Okay, okay, okay. I'd figure as much, but you always got to check. Come on. Oh, and see out of the way of those arrows. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. What can I say? And, you know, in older eras, life was cheap. And to be fair, old, older eras is more like 1920 or something, but still. Hi, let's just out of the way of that and hit, hit. So that does actually decently always break the priestess. Hi. Stay out of my way, and can we hit you? I guess not. There we go. At the very least, we can hit you around your shield, and you couldn't really poke us with your spear. Hmm. Let's just go through. Let's go down to the weird, funny dragon butt lair, and... Well, actually, let me check. I want to see if that door opened now. Don't think it would have, but we may as well. So let's see. Not you. Hi, hi. So then you'll come up here and we'll use the spike trap to kill you. Hello. What? What? Oh, no, no. Come on, come on. And the spike trap, that didn't entirely do it, but whatever. And is it, gonna it is going to come up again, so we should wait. Okay. So what's down here? Oh, well, it's not open. Okay. Run over, have it spike them. Nice, nice. That's always fun. And that's still a dead end. Pretty sure. Is it? Yeah, it is. Mm -mm. Very, very labyrinthine. I would assume that, from a lore perspective, they were probably deliberately making it hard to navigate. We do. Maybe. We don't. Because given that this was supposed to basically be a place of worship and protection for the dragon, it would make some sense if... Wait, so actually, would rotating the contraption from there make it so that I could go through that one? Oh, I think what I have to do is go back, find some way back, rotate it, and then go back through to see how well I can uh, open that side, which should hopefully open a bonfire, maybe? We'll see. Yeah, because that was a spot I couldn't get to before. Beyond that, there's the other door and the other elevator, so we need to keep in mind what we've seen and what we need to go through still. Hi! Come on, just... I probably could have used that as a backstop opportunity if I'd been smarter about it. Whatever. Die. Die. Good thing I had enough poise to go through that, but still. Come on, come on, come on. So much stuff. Okay. It is a cool area. I do like the architecture here. Especially since it is a logical extension of Black Gulch from before. They've got all these statues, some of them poison, some of them petrify. Thank you for almost poisoning me. Thank you for not actually managing to get it off as well. Come on, just stay out of the way, stay out of the way. Crossbow, and can we... There we go. Oh, that didn't work. Whatever. So, if we put the switch down and run through, it should hopefully allow me to... Let's see. Make it through even though it rotates behind me. And I hope it should maybe allow me to go through the other one down there. Hi. Okay, let's see. Let's check that out real quick and see if my suspicions were confirmed. Oh, excuse me. 
Let's go down and did this work? Did this work? Still left before and oh, those contraptions aren't connected at all. So are they. Okay, cool. All right. Let's just see. Oh, hi, hi, Sanctum Knight. Just over there, backstab you again. Is the life gem for a quick top up? Cool. Honestly, what this reminds me a bit of is Crumbling Farm Azula at the end of Elden Ring. In particular, just the constant twisting areas of austere stone and the fact that it's hard. That is also something it has in common with Crumbling Farm Azula. So let's just play it safe. Try to hit these from more or less max range. They are dark weak. Taking decent damage. As long as we can make sure they don't hit me too much. Oh goodness. Out of the way, out of the way. Come on. Yep. These guys again. Come on, come on. Sword could be good. It's just are we gonna jump, jump. Ooh. So much HP. So much HP. Well, we got one down. They dropped an okay amount of souls. Oh, and they dropped... We could farm Petrified Dragon Bone from them, if we really wanted to. Eh, doesn't really matter. That might be a bonfire over there, maybe. A Dark Hail. Dark Hail. How many of these can I hit with? Hmm, okay. can hit them kind of a broadside there, but... I can't really make use of... Terrain. That's not as strong as I might like. Hello, hello. Maybe freeing it might actually be a little better. Hello, hello, and just... Oh, goodness. What? What? Please, S this up, S this up. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Die, 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 and... Almost, almost. The Dark Orb is actually better. Maybe if I went up and tried to free aim it, Dark Beak can more reliably hit with all the projectiles. But... Dark Hail is... And as you can tell, because I'm getting the name wrong, it's ultimately a modified version of Dark Bead from Dark Souls 1. And in Dark Souls 1, Dark Bead had basically no cast time. It was actually the fastest spell in the game. And it would absolutely just shotgun anything to death. Because it dealt physical damage, not just magic damage. And basically nothing was just a physical. Hmm. Let me see. Okay, okay. In that case... That looks like a bonfire. That is promising. But, before all that... We are just going to use a bunch of more dark orbs. Take out as many of them as we can. Because I don't want to have to come back and kill more because they respawned. Actually, in that case... Ooh, ooh. I accidentally bumped my mass. Just gonna run through and activate that bonfire. That is the actual intelligent course of action. Activate the bonfire and then go about trying to kill them. Hello, hello. Bonfire lit. Exactly! They do respawn though. Where are the imperfect and this? Let me see. Where is this? This is in Dragon Sanctum and there was another bonfire earlier. Hmm. Interesting. I don't quite like that. That said, the two remaining bosses should come up relatively quickly. I don't think it'll be all that much trouble. There's so many items around here and it's just... Soul of a Great Hero. We do need to try to isolate them because they do have a projectile attack. Have a lot of things we need to deal with. Hi! Oh, well. That was one heck of a charge. Come on, come on. Just... Oh! Oh! It's more of a headbutt than anything else. Now that we've gotten in close, attacking with the sword might be better. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. There we go. Nice. Okay. So essentially, get in and try to isolate them and use the sword to deal with them. Works enough for me. Oh, but hmm. if Alana is past here, 
Might be a bit annoying to get to her. I guess what I could do is I could use one Dark Orb to aggro them. And then when they come in close, I could get them with the sword. The AoE on that when it hits the water is certainly something, I will say. And just out of the way of that. Nice. One, two, and three. Oh, well. Not if you crush me. Come on. One more, one more, one more. So it's four hits. Four hits does it. Okay. Hmm. Interesting dudes. I say that much. How much more do we have to deal with? And where are we actually going to get the boss fog? That's the question. Hello there. Hello. Get over here. Hi. Out of the way and... Oh, goodness. Can we roll? Get in close. Chase me. Oh, goodness. I I'm going to have to approach on my own, own, and out of my... Oh, goodness. What? Okay. All right. That was a very, very delayed mouth swipe. You hear it gurgle. Probably eating my corpse or something. All right, all right. Well, whatever. Hi. Get over here. Get over here and just... There we go. One, two... Don't wanna... Roll. Oh, well. I didn't have time to roll. Dumb. Roll and... Oh, goodness. Estus, Estus. Please. What are these guys even doing? Oh, oh. Come on. One, two... There we go. You're dead now. Another petrified dragon bone. Okay. See these stalagmites poking up. They are stalagmites. The G in stalagmite is for ground, and the C in stalactite is for ceiling. That isn't actually true, but it's a good way to remember it. Oh, hi! And, of course, we have to deal with multiple of you now. Come on, come on. I don't want to lose that blood stain. How are you gonna... Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, good lord. So we're gonna have to dark orb this. Dark orb this. Come on, come on, and just out of my, out of my way, out of my way. Out of, out of the way, out of the way. Uh, oh, Maybe I could just run to a bonfire and get them to despawn. Yeah. Cannot afford to engage multiple at once. There we go, goodbye. Good riddance. Okay. Gotta keep on trying. We're here again. Welcome back. Getting close, getting close. Charge and ooh, ooh. So maybe I should try rolling through instead of rolling towards. And then, just like that, one, two... Oh! Oh, you have to sort of hit him from the front to deal maximum damage. Interesting. If you hit them from the back, it basically does nothing. And just like that. Okay, that was an easy enough attack to dodge. And just out of the way. There we go, we managed to dodge it. If anything, it would probably be either the Dragon Butts from Dark Souls 1 in Lost Isolith, or maybe actually the Imprisoned from Zelda. Given that it's a completely eyeless monster with a face completely colored black. Oh, lord. Are you gonna approach me? Get over here. And, oh, oh, no. Oh no. Please, please. You gonna jump? You gonna stomp? You gonna jump now? You are. Roll, roll, roll. Oh, we didn't have time for that. Dumb. Dumb. That's this. That's this. And luckily, if you stay close, it actually won't be able to hit you with its mouth. Okay, so there are a few more of these guys. I'm pretty sure the boss fog's over there. So I kill them all, I can go and find the items lying around this area with impunity. Hi! Okay. Come on, and just... You're gonna jump. You're gonna... Stomp. Hi. And just roll. Oh, that still hit me. Dumb. And just kill the other one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Okay. In that case, go over, grab dried roots. Nothing particularly useful, but yeah. Verification. Hmm. So how are we going to... Hmm. Uh, one of you. It's got to make sure that... Yep, that's good. That's good. Make sure that only one of you engages us at once. And there are three of these guys. Oh, that's a lingering hitbox. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. Come on, come on. And just... Whoop. Oh, we managed to dodge that. So the head is at least not as threatening as a hit of a hitbox for that purpose. Okay. Come on, come on, and just one more, one more. There we go. Uh, you know, I'm basically guts. Slaying these big, vaguely draconic creatures with a big sword. Well, if nothing else, it's just that the sword is like a number of the other big dark greatswords in the Soul series. Gotten a lot of Dragon Slayer comparisons in the past. Okay, let's heal. Don't predict that the actual boss is going to be all that troublesome, but we'll see. She's the one who was singing before. Hi. Okay. One, two. Dark weapon would have made that even easier, but whatever. So let's just check, make sure that didn't lose any items. Switching things around, and yeah, it's going to be a matter of going over, equipping... Oh, but I need to effigy up right before the boss falls so that I can summon Ben Hart in order to complete his quest line. Then, then, I can actually show off the Moonlight Greatsword in action and not fall in the water here. That would be unpleasant. Item, nope. Come on, come on, come on. I have to get to Olana, and then after that, there will be a dragon. Oh, so this is this is the contraption. Dragonstone. What will it do, though? What will this do? Huh? Mm -mm. Well... I don't... Oh, it's draining the water. Is it? Or... Oh, it's actually just making a bridge up. But where is... That going to be probably just the other side of the sanctum. Okay, go up here. Yeah, so that should be the way to the boss, I would think. Let's just. Oh, so this is the one from before. Cool. So all those imperfects, and now we've got an elevator up. Fun. And I assume this is going to take us basically back to the very start of the area. What well, was then the very first bonfire we spotted? Exciting. Mm-hmm. And there we are, and sure looks like it, but oh, there's actually another. Oh, it activated two. Oh. Huh. This is actually it's it's not. Oh, so this is the way to the boss, but this is actually, and right, because I was wondering, it seemed to kind of be on the wrong side, but this is going to be the way back to the area's initial bonfire. There we go, there we go. It's all coming together. No, I'm not getting lost. I'm actually getting found. We're finding something. You hear bonfire noises? It's because there's a bonfire. Go up here and... There we are. Found Dagen. Yeah. Sanctum walk. Only things left are going to be a couple of... The one last bonfire in Sanctum itself. Cannot use bonfire? Who invaded me? Excuse me. What? Dark Spirit Ponyo. Oh, now I feel bad. I don't want to kill Ponyo. I wonder where they are. Hmm. Well, either way, got a lot of durability now and a really strong weapon enchantment, so... As long as I can fight them on my own terms, I don't predict this is going to be all that... Oh, one tap? One tapped? Okay. Where are they? Where are they? Let's just see. Righty-ho. I'll do that once they show up. If they even find me. 
Where are they? Where are they? Come on, come on. I didn't see you. Maybe they actually invaded pretty far below. Hmm. Yeah, they're lost too. It would be really funny if they just ended up going home because they couldn't find me and it did nothing but just delay me fighting the boss. Or actually, if I really wanted to be silly, I could just go into the boss fog and fight the boss to make the invader go away, because that would work too. Hmm. So the only things left would be that one remaining door. That one remaining door. So we've gotten all the elevators, gone through Cave of the Dead. This is just... But there's that over there. Another item. Oh, so clearly I need to jump out when I'm over that way eventually, but... Oh, hello! Righty ho! Okay, that's just... Enchant and... Oh, you... Okay, thank you for waiting for me to do my enchantment. That was nice of you. Is that a Santier Spear or a York Spear? Hi. It's just... Hi. They found me. Interesting. Let's just roll out of the way of that. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Hi. Just... Come on. Where are you going? Weird. Are you even trying to fight me? This is bizarre. Huh? Okay, if... Is this basically just non-consensual co-op? This is new. Hi. Okay. Oh, you wanted to, you wanted a better arena to fight in. Okay. Cool. Let's just space this out and. Oh, what? Okay. It's not expecting that. Yeah. I respect that. I respect that. Get him close. Can I go for a jump attack? Come on. Come on. Approach me. Oh well. Did not expect that charge to. Oh, I think they've got York Spear. Whatever. Heal. Roll, roll. Wow. Okay, well. Alright. Whatever. You invade. I'm not playing fair. Come on, come on. Oh, I'm just... oh the hitbox on that is insane. Weird. Charge me, maybe? Charge me again, and just... If you're gonna do that, maybe I'll just... Sure. Okay, cool, and just charge me, charge me, go for your charge, I'll, I'll dodge your charge. And just, what? Oh, please, and just, there we go, oh, they dodged that. Come on. Charge me again. Oh, but my enchantment's gone. Dumb, dumb. Okay, let's just put it back on. It's the power of the command of space. Come on, let's just do this. Actually, you know what? Dark Orb. There's only so much you can dodge before I... No, you can keep dodging. This is not particularly easy to... land. Oh, I don't have anything fast at all. Dumb. Let's actually just... get this back up, because I unequipped it to try shooting some hexes, and it just didn't go. Hi! Hello. Come on, just out of my out of my oh oh! I need a poise ring equipped for this. My weapon is way too slow. And just out of the oh no oh no! Yeah, switch out to a poise related ring, make fight maybe. I could see that working. Should have done that beforehand, just because. Oh what? Huh? How'd that hit? How did that hit? Weird. Annoying. Come on. It's just, I don't have a good way to deal with you. So that, that didn't even hit you. Oh, good lord. And just out of the way. What can I do to maybe try to bait you? Yeah, it definitely was. Almost certainly. Let's just see. What can I do? What can I do? Jump and just... Oh, well. So he can totally just interrupt my jump with his charge. I don't like that. Don't like that at all. What? Oh, come on. Running, running, running. And just stay out of the way of that and maybe go for a plunge. Yeah, if you come up here, I'll just plunge on you. Come on, come on. I'm not fighting you fairly. I would never fight you fairly. 
Actually, maybe if I could try sniping with. Ah, nah. Come on. It's just what I could do. I'm just gonna put on a poise ring. Not that one. It's gotta be Ring of Giants. Okay, there we go, and that should hopefully allow me to tank through some stuff. Maybe. Come on. It's just. And just hit, hit. Oh, please. Uh, my attacks are just too slow to really hit anyone with any modicum of skill. What? What the? Come on, come on, just. Ah. Uh. Yorg Spear is just a crazy weapon. That's a lot of it. Weapon I'm pretty sure he's using. It's just one of the best ones in the game, period. Yeah, the funny thing about it is that he's basically gatekeeping. He's guarding the elevator. It's so funny. Mm. It's actually just... Mm. Come on. Because... If I keep doing this, eventually you'll run out of stamina. Oh, that works. That works fine. Yeah, eventually you won't be able to keep dodging, and I can just spam. Maybe. Actually, the best way to roll catch would probably be using Dark Hail. Oh, and an acid... acid pot? Oh, come on. What an absolute reprobate. So now that I'm playing dirty, they're playing dirty too. Well, before they break my rings, let's just do that. Hi. Goodness. Oh, so we can catch them. Good, good. And just keep dark hailing until they die. Cool. Just die, die. Ooh. Come on, come on. Just hit, hit. Maybe? Maybe. Mm -mm. Staying out of the way now. Mm -mm. How many life gems am I willing to expend for this fight? As long as I have the resources to do this, I think I'll I think I'll try my best. Okay, so they did get hit. They did get hit. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. If you get greedy, if you get greedy, I will punish you. Maybe actually having Corinthy might be better. Maybe. Oh, legitimately. They're they're actually trying to win. Slow and steady. Yep. I think they're just trying to run out my spells. Oh, come on. This is so silly. Come on, come on, just... Once you miss time to roll, I will be able to get a hit in on you. You're running out of stamina, so it should be fine. How much stamina do you even have? Dumb, dumb, dumb. Whatever. Maybe Corinthy for this. Come on, just die. There we go, we actually got a hit. Oh, one more. One more will do it. Goodbye, goodbye, Ponyo. Die, 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 and just... Ugh, oh, please. Oh. I gotta bait you into trying to actually go for a stab attack. I roll out of the way, and then... I retaliate with one of my remaining dark orbs. One of my remaining dark orbs. Goodbye, Ponyo! Don't come back. Ponyo, Pony, fishy in... The sea. Ponyo Ponyo, dead to me. Okay, well, time for another up. Time for another level up. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was that was tense. That was incredibly tense. Let's level up again. We are just getting banger after banger today. Two really, really funny invaders. You know, I feel like a lot of it is just that I've gotten better at running away and also better at using just the sheer strength of my sword. Oh no, actually. I've been invaded by three actual people today, and I just slammed them every single time. Well, the last one, the last one, well, I, I killed them. Second one was a mutual kill, and the third one was painful. But every time, it was technically a victory for me. Technically. I'm gonna hold myself to that. How many? And this will probably be... the boss fight. Yeah, exactly. I get one tiny, meager victory. And I'm going all crazy. As they say, pride cometh before a fall.
So that tower over there, there's another item underneath. Let's just teleport to uh, the priestess's chamber, I think. No, no, it'd be, other, be the other chamber. Thank you very much, thank you very much. Sometimes, sometimes. So it's actually, and that's over there. So the item that we're going to want to get is going to be down to here, I think. Let's just get out as soon as we can. Oh, please. Can I get down here? Can I? Oh, okay, there we go, and there we have it. Got an item. Oh, just torches. Five torches, though. It's not nothing. It's over here. Chest ahead, visions of joy. Oh, that was just the location of Soul Greatsword, so we just went a little too far ahead. Okay. Let's just feather back and then go to... Go to the start again. Nice. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. But yeah, it's just honestly... And you know, a lot of this is just be, be, me being... Maybe a little unwilling to make decisions for myself. But... You know, ideally I'd like to scrounge up some cash soon. Get a little bit of an overlay and a model upgrade. I'm just wondering if there are any characters or art styles that people have in mind that they like. That they would like seeing me maybe take some inspiration from. Yeah, exactly. It's the end of an era. Now I'm eating chips. So, we can go back down, back down to the Sanctum. Then we'll be chilling. We will be chilling. Come on, come on. Hmm. Alright. Lots and lots of fun here. Lots and lots of fun here. Please, please, please. Okay. So I'm gonna need to effigy up and then probably equip the durability ring for that fight over there. What for? I just eat cereal now. Actually, I eat bread. And I would ideally like to eat rice for breakfast now. The issue is, is that rice takes an inordinately long amount of time to make. So, don't worry. I'll keep on yelling at you. As long as it's what you want. So actually, okay, there was really... Okay, just over here. What's over here? This weird... Rock. Okay. Yeah, but... It's not the same, and also, we like to eat brown rice. And so it'd be harder. Actually, very specifically, we eat a mixture of white rice and brown rice. So, that's the kind of thing you need to specifically make yourself. Rich ahead. Oh, Drake Blood Greatsword. That's actually a pretty decent weapon. Let's see. Don't think I'll use it, though. Drake Blood Greatsword, where is it? Oh, right here, and it deals magic and lightning damage. So if you put fire on it and enchant it with dark weapon, it deals every kind of damage. Honorable Sir Yor, Drake Wood, symbolizes dragon's butt, sacrificing it, true understanding of life, transcending their own banal existence. Fair. You know, as long as you're willing to accept the consequences of your own decisions, whatever those decisions may be, I'm not going to criticize all that much. Oh, okay, white and black. So, we have, here in the American Midwest, we have this sort of Korean bowl place called Bibibop. And they, I think they call it purple rice. But it's also... I think it's sweet potato in it. But it's also a darkly colored rice that you put in your bowl. Your values? What do you mean by values? As in blood pressure, blood sugar, stuff like that, the doctor? That's good. It's got a lot of flavor to it too, which is not something you always get with rice. Though to be fair, since I try to avoid eating too much overly processed food, I think I can oftentimes, and I don't mean to brag, appreciate a lot of subtler flavors more easily. So a lot of people basically say, oh, you don't put enough salt on your food, and I'm just sort of, well, if I put too much salt, I wouldn't really be able to taste anything other than salt. Yeah. Okay, okay. Makes sense. This should be... The boss fight, and then we go down underneath, and then we fight. Then we fight the dragon. 
Let's go in here, back inside the Dragon Sanctum. It's actually really cool how we were going. Sort of in and out and in and out and in and out. We went into the Sanctum, then we had to exit it, and then we had to go back in. Fair. I think it depends on someone's expertise. That's the thing. And also, the existence of advice can oftentimes be more important than the advice itself. Because someone giving you advice can tell you, among other, among other things, that they care about you and about your well-being. And even if their advice is garbage, that can still be nice to know. Oh, goodness. And someone also told you that they envied your insomnia because they wished they could work at night. So, yeah. We'll let that one rest. Pun intended. So, yeah, we can hear her singing down there. Right, right, okay. Makes sense. It seems to always be the same person. Oh, and what is... Oh, these are the Drake Blood Knights. Hello. Get over here. Hi, and just out of the way of that, and can we... Yeah, just roll and backstab. Roll and backstab. Nice. Yeah. May God have mercy on him, I guess. Oh, so this is... Way to before, I think. Oh, this is the way to... The place I was trying to head to previously. Okay. Interesting. But, oh, it seems like I have to... Wait. Wait. Understandable. That's that's fashionable these days, though, right? Oh, what? Oh, hi. Did not expect a bunch of crystal wizards to show up here. Hi. Oh, well. Whatever. Old Mundane Stone and Twinkling Titanite. Oh, so they all came out from the top over there. So maybe, actually, is there a bonfire by here? Okay. Oh, well. I didn't know that about him. The impression you gave about him is that he was just some sort of weaselly dweeb. Okay. Come on, come on. Oh, and they can shoot dark projectiles out of their crossbows? That's new. Come on, come on. How are we going to get over the bottom? Okay, this one is rotating in thirds, so I kind of need to move through it when it's kind of in the bottom over here. Regret. Oh, so there's really nothing in here. And right. Sideways and... Oh, funny. And it's... You know, I assume he doesn't mean it, because he said he was kind of a well-intentioned idiot. You know, maybe that isn't such a bad thing. I did once... There was this joke going around a while ago about the idea that the ideal man was a man who couldn't read. As in, literally illiterate. And there were some people who liked that joke, but if you're one of them was that one friend I had who broke up with her boyfriend to date his roommate, so... Oh, wow. That should be... Okay, that will stay. Place again. Impossible. Oh, so all the crystal wizards actually jump out of the chest. That's funny. Oh, but actually, they rotate basically six positions, it seems, so maybe they can align correctly at the end. Well, if you enjoyed that experience, congrats. If you didn't, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Well, hopefully one day... It'll be like someone making a golem. Some will, someone will bless him with intelligence, and then he'll have it all. Okay. Let's just see pointless ahead. So where do I go next? It's just... I assume that maybe I could get back to the bonfire from before. Unlock some of those other doors, but... Hmm. The hexing room. Don't really need those. We got sorceries. I have actual sorceries. Oh, hi. Hi. Just, oh, interesting, and just, hello, hello. And we can just, oh, but we didn't actually manage to get the backstab attack off. Tried it, but he actually rolled around my backstab. That is crazy. Oh, come on, just die. Die. Okay, we managed to get him. Okay, okay, okay. That's good. 
it's just where do I go next? Where do I go next? So there is that. <sighs> do you want to get all those crystal lizards? But still, I don't mind popping out from. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like at the start of Undertale, where you first meet Sands and he shows off, tells you to hide behind this conveniently shaped lamp, conveniently shaped person. Oh, goodness. God bless him. But... But you said that he was book smart, but kind of street dumb. As they say, he should consider being money smart. It would make him more intelligent. Okay. Wretch ahead. And I disappear. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Someone once said that God has a special... Special place in his heart for fools. Back again. Bonfire ahead. Where do I? Is this the place? Let's see. Let's see. And oh, oh goodness. Can I get the Drake Knight? There we go. There we go. Nice. Okay. Ooh. Let's just go and see if we can get down somewhere. Oh, goodness. So did he just, did he just not hear you or... There we go, and... Oh, Forlorn is here. Forlorn is here? Oh, come on. Interesting. Bad time. Come on. Please. Die, die. Oh, you are rolling like a madman. Now, this one is actually an NPC, though. It's not too hard. And just hit. There we go. Oh, well, all right. Did not expect that. Come on, come on. Very, very bad time. Especially since the guy just showed up. Dum dum dum. Ugh, ugh. Lots and lots. No, seriously. A lot of them just... The DLC does specifically have a lot of invaders. That is true. And so I managed to get you. So the Forlorn actually very specifically is pretty dark resistant. So might not be a good way to deal with it. Okay, we're going to jump or... Come on, can we hit? Well, whatever. It is cool. Yeah, but their side is a special weapon, too, that you can actually get after you kill a certain number of them. The issue is that... Oh, goodness. Come on. That it gets stronger the more hollow you are, and if you're not very hollow, it's basically weak. Come on, come on, just... Oh, out of the way of that, and can we... There we go, backstab, and... It still didn't kill. Wow. Come on, just... There we go, go away. All right, all right. What else did he say? How funny will it be? Human effigy, and... So wait. Where then? Okay, so down there is clearly... Alana's location. Hmm. Have we been through... What are these places? Oh, I assume that... The knights we've been seeing around basically raided all of these treasure chests. Asta, Drakeblood, Bados. Oh, goodness. It's just, for better or worse, I don't hear anyone talking about Black Clover anymore. It was... For something very, very long-running, for what, it, what I heard, it was... It felt very seasonal. Oh. Oh, goodness. Okay. Come on, come on. Drake Knight Armor. Where is that? Drake Knight Armor. Drake Blood Armor. Land along Forgotten. Blood of Dragon. Siege of the Eternal Sanctum. Sunk when the Dragon awoke. Blood Cloth. Black Armor. Sacred Blood of Dragons. Okay. Black Clover Simp. That kind of surprises me. You know, the way you presented him, I wouldn't predict him to be in anything even remotely nerdy at all. So how am I going to get down here? Where am I going to head? Oh. I guess he just wasn't thinking that hard. Oh well. Come on, come on in. Okay, we made it, we made it, we made it. Can we go up here? Can we go up here? Let's not fall, let's not fall. Can we make it? Oh no. This might hurt. Can we actually... Uh, hmm. You know, 
Better to have no thoughts at all than bad thoughts, I guess. So, I failed. So where am I supposed to actually go for this? Weird. There are a lot of layers to the sanctum. Hmm. Lots of things. It's just... How could I get around the previous area? Oh, well, there you are. Hi. Just go like that and... Now we can hit you. So they'll attack two times in a row, more or less. Roll, roll. And then just back sad. Oh, three twinkling tide knights. It's not bad. It's just... There is a lot of treasure in here. I would assume that actually a lot of things on the ground are basically supposed to be what was inside the treasure chest, which is really cool environmental storytelling, actually. And just like that, can we... There we go! Another hit would have killed us, too. Okay. Come on, come on. Almost. Almost. I'm trying to find a way to a bonfire, hopefully, but... This area is very, very convoluted. Well, whatever. We can just go down, I suppose. Uh, fair. Yeah, just that random invader basically saying, Hello! It was really, really funny to me. You know, trying to lead me to a location for a fight, and I just would not have it. What can I say? If I'm given the opportunity to fight dirty, I usually will. Dragon's Arrest. So I guess this is where we find the rest of the dragon. Dragon's Rest. Never mind. For gorgeous view. Yeah? Okay. Come on, come on. Here, not here. And it doesn't look like there's actually anything over here. All right, all right. So she'll be behind here. So Ben Hart should have a summon sign here. So let's effigy up. And then it'll also... There he is. There he is. And that's Edithal. This should be Ben Hart. No, Steelheart Ellie. So wait, where is... No, I did not mean to do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, can I... Let's just actually quit. I can't quit. I can't quit. I'm just gonna... Oh. I did not mean to do that. I'm so sorry. Sorry. What can I do? I need to change... Oh? Let me change that to prostration. Change. Let's see. Well, I didn't intend to summon them. I didn't intend to summon them. I need to apologize real quick. Let me apologize. Which is to say that I need to send you back home. Where do I? Where is my separation crystal? Where's my separation crystal? Oh, please. Okay, there it is. There we go. Sorry. Sorry. Multiplayer success. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, well, it's just... Benhart should be over here. So this is the boss fight I should be summoning him for. But he isn't showing up. This is not particularly pleasant. Oh, I think it's over here, maybe? Is this... Yo! Here you are! Okay, there we go. So let's equip my Magic Moonlight Greatsword. Only magic damage. Only magic damage. So in that case, I should put on Racing Knuckle Ring. Because it would decrease equipment degradation. Let's go for it. Let's do this. Come on, come on. And this will allow me to complete his quest. Could I actually summon them? No, I don't think I can... I don't think I can summon multiple. Let's do it. It's time for you to see how this funny magic greatsword works. So, the sword I have actually looks very similar to his. But it's not the same. Oh. The mire. Ah, okay. On a squalid queen. There we are, Dark Pyromancies. And she is very weak to magic damage, but what? Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. Okay. There we go. Oh, interesting. The standard attacks are actually a lot better here. 
Come on, we need to heal. So eventually she'll summon some more people to help her out, but she's very specifically weak to magic damage. So, oh my goodness. Speed on that. Oh, and then that's someone else. Hi, hello. We have a, oh, an old knight. Oh, that's, that's literally Velstat. What? Okay, come on and just, out of the, out of the way, out of the way. Come on, just, oh, oh. powerful hits. No, really. Come on, just out of the way of that. I need to kill this guy. Oh, goodness. Luckily, he's not all that strong. Come on, just... Ah. Uh, sell away of you. Hi, die. Oh, don't kill him. Don't kill him. Luckily, Benhart's very, very strong, but still. Okay, Belstat's, Belstat's gone. That should be the hardest one to deal with now. So now we can just spam. Just spam our sword attack and just... Out of the way of that. Come on, come on. Aim for me, aim for me. One's done. One is done. Okay, can we... Are you going to actually do anything now? Oh, well, whatever. Come on, come on. We got one more, one more. And you are... What are oh, another Velstat? Oh, you're kidding me. I didn't know you could double up. Okay, so we just rush Alana. There's no reason to go for Velstat. Because he needs to survive this fight. Otherwise, it doesn't successfully complete any of this. Oh, goodness. Heal, heal. Please, please. Don't die, don't die. Don't die. Out of the way of that, and just... So his greatsword is basically a knockoff of mine. So let's just go in and kill you. Hi, die. There we go, and Ben Hart has survived. And Velstat's gone, Velstat's gone. Okay. There we are. Soul of Alana, Scarlet Queen. I do say that a lot, don't I? Victory achieved. So that's going to be the way of the dragon, but there are still a few more things for me to find in there. Let me see real quick. Okay. So interestingly enough, it didn't actually seem, but maybe it was something with her hitbox, that the strong attack beams were doing a lot less damage than they should have been. I don't know. Well, whatever. That was the one chance I really had to make the most of that great sword, so I used it. Don't have Dark Quatch Ring, but let's re-equip... Ring of Blades, sure. Okay. Actually, you know what? I should probably just use Coranthi. So with a weapon like this, any bit of stamina is worth having. Well, the singing's over. Let's actually check out her soul description real quick. Let's see. Oh, and oh, that's cool, and it looks like it's dark, just like Velstat's soul. The Swallowed Queen rests beside the slumbering dragon. Child of Dark accompanies the dragon. Slow amassing souls in anticipation of the coming day of vengeance. Wondrous soul of this augur of wrath. Use it to make a dark spell, I believe, but also you can make her halberd. Which is called the Wrathful Axe. Interestingly enough. Oh, and another one. Transcendent Eddy. And the dragon's right past there. Abyss Fever. Before any of that, it would be a great time to go back and teleport back to Majula. Sanctum Nadir, the lowest part of the Sanctum. Oh, over there. So. <laughs> the Imperfect. In multiple spots in here where there were bonfires I just didn't get. I'm gonna have to go back there eventually, but I think that can kind of wait a little. Before that, we go back to Majula and use these souls before I lose them. That was a fun fight. I will say that... For those NPC quest lines where you need to actually keep them alive, it actually makes the fight a lot more tense. Because I have a lot of Estus, I've got a lot, of, a lot of durability, I can tank things down. But I have to make sure that the people I'm with don't die. A little bit more of that. I'm going to get more dexterity, which will be enough for the Voice Sword once I actually get it. We need a few more souls. Let's see. Yeah, we should be able to close this off by killing Sin. Nothing should get in the way of that. That's not a soul of a great hero. Which are we going to get from Brave Warrior Soul? That is basically perfect. Okay. There we go. And level up. The dexterity a little. And there we go. Nice. The funny thing is, is that if you look at my rings all under my health bar and stamina bar, it's literally just lots and lots of arrows. And they're all actually pretty well lined up, too. 
let's go over here. Yeah, it's just, I'm gonna have to go back and figure out how to open those doors and get those bonfires. I don't imagine that'll be particularly fun or engrossing. Well, actually, maybe, let's see what I can tune. Maybe in place of one of these, I could actually equip, uh, cause it's big enough that I think Dark Hail could be good, but Sin is weak to dark, but mainly deals fire damage. So I'm actually gonna put Flash Sweat up here. Go for that. Actually, let's see. My Pyro Flame on here, so that I can keep the sword up. And then right before we go in, right before we go in, I will. Actually, I will. Flash Sweat and then Dark Weapon. There we go. Darth Invader. Well, whatever. I don't care. Goodbye. What the? Good God! You obnoxious imbecile. Come on. Dark weapon. Goodbye, goodbye. And just... Oh, good lord. Not here. Horrible place to do this. Oh, he looks like Vader, too. That's hilarious. Come on. Could just... Slow Estus. Slow... What? Oh, good lord. Life gems are gonna... I do not want to die to you. Do not want to die to you. Roll, roll. Uh, uh. What? How am I? How are you just... Good lord. Come on. If we keep circling, we can just... We might be able to get a backstab if we circle enough. Mm. Okay, well, whatever. Come on and just... Ah, oh, good lord. Just... Ah, oh, you are... Ah. Oh. Come on. And... Oh, I thought we'd be able to do that. I thought we'd be able to make that work. Yeah, probably. Oh, come on. I'm just out of my way, out of my way. Out of my way? Oh, and you hit the bonfire. Fun. Out of the way. That. Oh, what are you What are you doing? Let's just run. Run for now. Oh, we can do this. Oh, but... Oh, good lord. Good lord. Just... Oh, thank you. That was actually nice of you. Oh, come on. Just... What are you doing? Ah. Uh, come on. Trying to duel the fates, me. It's just life gem up. Hi. Not far away enough. I don't want to deal with this right now. Uh. There we. Oh, you dodged that? How? Okay. Oh. Oh, that was crazy range. Stupid. Ugh. Obnoxious. Hit the bonfire. Cling off the bonfire. Cling off the bonfire. Need you to do that for me. Oh, well. That does it. Here? Now? Uh, this is just as bad as when there was an invader in the tiny tunnel before Sanctuary Guardian. That was absurd. I should have... If I hadn't tried to run, I probably could have just smacked him down with my sword, but... Either way, it doesn't matter now. It doesn't matter now, does it? Uh, well... We couldn't keep up the perfect streak forever. So obnoxious. Okay. We're gonna go through and we're gonna fight Sin, and I think that's gonna be it for today. It's whatever. Could be worse. But actually... Oh, but... We actually unequipped Dark Weapon to put the power flame up, so... Oh well. Keep moving. Okay. Luckily, we do have... There you are! Hello! We cut off the tail, I'm pretty sure. Stop some attacks. Oh! That was... something. Okay. Come on. Just... out of the way, out of the way. Oh, you got... those fireballs from before. Excuse me? What? Oh, wow. That is... Can I always use these pillars to... No, I can't. That's right. Roll, roll, roll. Oh, come on. It's not the way that poison. You're gonna come down at least. You are insane. Let's just hit, hit. Okay, the damage is good at least. That's good. No, seriously. What is this dragon even doing? Oh, come on. I can't... All the way over to the other side. Come on. Just... Dodge your charge, dodge your charge, and... Oh, please. You are... An absolute shooter. Let's just... 
Oh, but dumb. Can we just swipe? This is a real boss fight. Oh please. Yo, yo, yo. There we go. And what are you gonna do now? Fireball probably. Fireball. Okay, that kinda worked. So we just need to we cut off the tail, it can't do any tail related attacks. Which would be nice. Come on, just chop, chop, hit. Did that work? No, it didn't. Whatever. Ugh, ugh. Just gotta stay out of the way, you. Come on. Whoa. Whoa. And then just. Ugh, ugh. You are absolutely, absolutely a shooter. Come on, just. Try to guillotine the tail, maybe? Ugh, but. I mean, the damage is good. The damage is undeniably good, but it's. Trying to chop the tail, which. Well, okay. So, in other words, there's no point in bothering with the tail. Just hit it normally. Dodge it normally, hit it normally. Well, the big thing is that Flashlight lasts for a while. This isn't the Ancient Dragon. It's not really a battle of attrition. I just wasn't being aggressive enough because I thought going for the tail would actually do something. Actually, I think it might. But it'd be hard to actually hit the tail unless I... Dodge and counter to charge, which is easier said than done. I mean, it's just like the Calamite fight I did in Dark Souls 1. It's a bit of luck and a bit of skill. You know, there are ways you can try to ensure that it'll do the attack you can punish more often, but there's no way to guarantee it. And luckily it does start over being over every time, which is good. Hi. Let's just... over there, let's just... Let's slam you, maybe? Slam you, maybe. Hi. Slam, slam, just... Okay, we did get the tail cut. That was good. It's just... Damage is good. Damage is good. Hi. We can just hit you from behind now. There we go. Don't get overconfident and... Come on, just... Keep moving. Stay on its tail. Come on, come on. Do not let it get the advantage on you. Stay behind it whenever possible. And just... Out of the way of that, out of the way of that. Hi! One, two, three. Yeah, we can go for another one. Cool. Thank you, Sin, and just... Again? I'm not complaining. I am not complaining. Two and... Oh, it's broken? And I'm toxic. Okay, let's just not screw this up. We can try a bit harder now. It's still enchanted, we can... One more, one more! And we killed it with a broken weapon! We killed it with a broken sword! Good lord! Solus Sin the Slumbering Dragon, go back to sleep! Whew! So, I did what I usually set out to do, which is kill four bosses. And I killed the Ancient Dragon. I killed the Afflicted Grave Robber and that funny gang fight. I killed Olana, barely beat the quest with Benhart. And then I killed another dragon and Sin is dead. Carefully miscreant. Yorg's ring. Oh, interesting. So, Sir Yorg of the Gravekeeper Knights, he was the one who put that spear through the dragon. And that's his ring. This is where he died. Well, the Darth whatever one did get me. I do really like that Darth Invader name. It's pretty funny. If only I'd actually been able to give him a better fight. Can deflect spells. Flash of a steel. Support the poison one brood within him, blinking the city in a miasmic cloud. He did, but the big thing is that I ran away. If I hadn't acted a coward, I probably actually would have been able to beat him. And that one's on me. So let's check out the description of that soul. Oh, so Olanis is actually after sins. So sin the dragon who sleeps. So maybe it's not dead. Warmost steps of this land, erected a magnificent city, and the dragon slept soundly. Till Sir Yorg disturbed it with a single great strike, and the dragon could bear its store of poison no longer. The reign of death toppled the city, but restored the dragon's purity. Well, it's still poison. It's still poison to me. It's something of great, great worth, and it would actually just be Yorg's spear. Which is a good weapon, but it might not be one... We particularly want to use because it does require 30 dexterity. Okay, cool. 
Crown of the Sunken King. Oh, nice. So he had the crown on him. A faint heat lingers in the ancient crown. Hmm. Praise the sun. You know what? I should change out my gestures. Because I do have praise the sun here. Let's do that. There we go. We did it. Okay. In that case, I guess I'll go back and fix the sword. Level up a couple of times. That was... That was... En that was enthralling. That was absolutely exhilarating. Okay. No, legitimately. I... Honestly, I should probably take challenge out of equal stats, given that... Doing stuff like this just means you have a somewhat defensive Crypt Black Sword build. It really is, though. Okay, let's repair that real quick. Here we go, Dark Crypt Black Sword. Okay, if you make it back, cool. So I'll just level up a few times, and then I guess I can try to find the other bonfires in that place later. Maybe, actually, we'll see. Maybe I could do that right now. ADP, a bit more intelligence, a bit more magic bonus. Tiny bit more light. Actually, that would give a lot more light bonus. I guess you just need more faith for it to scale, because they assume that people will already be building faith for a bit of heals. We're almost level 200. That's insane. We still have a good amount to beat. Let's actually just check real quick. Let's see that crown. Crown of the Sunken King. There we have it. Crown of the Sunken King, who once ruled this land. The king erected the eternal sanctum of the earth to worship the great dragon. The towering bulwark crumbled the city shortly after the dragon's awakening. These were events of long ago, and today no one even remembers the king's name. It's also got a special effect. Also, any of the crowns will give you a an effect that prevents you from hollowing on death eventually. Once you get all three of them. Plus one endurance, strength, dexterity, intelligence, and faith, but reduces vigor and vitality. Okay, well, whatever. We're chilling. I guess the question is... Normally I go for about six hours. I started a little late because I was doing a post-workout shower. But... It's almost five. I don't know. The big thing is just... The only thing that really comes to mind is going back to the Sanctum City, to the Dragon Sanctum, to try to get the remaining bonfire areas it's just sort of it's so labyrinthine yeah what can i say i like dark souls unless someone makes me stop or i force myself to stop i just won't stop all right At the very least i can maybe try to go down and kill those crystal wizards oh that that was a 12 hour genshin stream I'm pretty sure that was almost 12, actually. Yeah, family. Out of concern and general annoyance. So... Yeah, because that was the one where I queered out the entirety of the overworld exploration of Desert of Hadramaveth in a single day. Oh, I'd already done the quest line. If I'd done the quest, it would have taken forever. Yeah. What can I say? It's endurance. It's endurance. I'm sorry that I killed you. I hope you can keep watching. Let's go down and... Okay. It's just more Drake Blood Knights. For one, won't be coming back. I do like that that Darth Invader guy, well, his red color seemed matched a lightsaber already, but he was using a sword with fire damage, which really went for the lightsaber thing. In Elden Ring, there is a weapon that actually is just pure energy. So if you really wanted to go lightsaber, you could do that, but it's also just pure white. So the appearance does not entirely match. Can't get up there. So where is the bonfire going to be? That is the question of the hour. Hmm. Come on, come on. Souls is so fun. It's so exhilarating. You kind of want to play it with a guide because things can get kind of cryptic and confusing. Or at least have someone to talk to, to you know, give you some advice on what to miss and what, you know, what to avoid missing. But 
the adrenaline rush of overcoming a difficult boss, there were very, very few things like it. So this is over here. Can I actually make that jump? Let's see. Do you think I hear some wizards in here? Let's just... Come on, come on. Get over here. Roll, roll, and just... Can we... Well, whatever. Now we can do it. There we, oh, what? Okay. They don't. I wish they would. FromSoft games, for better or worse, are actually pretty hard to monetize. Oh, please, let's just... There we go. It is what it is. I'm just... I'm an evangelist. I encourage people to play Souls because I personally like Souls, and I think the world would be better if everyone played Souls. Maybe. Let's just... And I can't force that into... Oh, but how am I gonna... Where are the Crystal Wizards? Where are they? Other side? Thank you, thank you. Yeah, one of these days, one of these days, I'll do something like making my avatar look like Solaire. I'll become a FromSoft ambassador or something. That's the dream. It's the absolute dream. So how am I gonna get... Where are they coming from? So there are all these Crystal Wizards. They're gonna show up somehow. Coming up from the chest. Let's see. Because I hear them, but I don't see them. And that's the issue. Oh, they're up there. Oh, so what's going to make them come out? But for now, we can just hit you with a few dark orbs. There we go, there we go. Come on, come on. Don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh, just out of the way of that, out of the way of that. Of course, always. Well, you're dead. A few more crystal wizards over there. We gotta figure out how to how to do this. Let's just. Hmm. Where are you going? Where are you going? Gonna come over here, or? Cause I see them up there. Put your help there. There we got it. We got it. Okay, cool. And just die, die. Oh no, no, no. One, one, one more, one more. Oh well, we got one. Guess we'll have to try that again. Guess we have to try that again. Well, you know, even if we don't find the bonfires, this is a decent use of my time. Oh, but they were cursing me. Oh, no, they weren't cursing me. I just died twice. For appendicitis? Is he alright? It, it shouldn't be too dangerous, right? I hope not. Oh, oh, and is he driving it for fun, or what's going on? So is F2 kind of the youth league version of F1? Or something else entirely. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Let's do this, let's do this. Let's do this. <clears throat> okay, cool. Go down, go down, go down. No time, you're driving it, then you don't, then you drive again. It's like he was renting the car, maybe. Funny. So it's two more crystal wizards, and we can probably get to... As long as we're fast with... Slamming it down. One lap. And what happened? Did the guy, did the guy who actually was supposed to drive the car say something like, oh no, you can have it, or something like that? Make the qualify. Qualifier? Huh. It's just that other bonfire over there. How am I supposed to get there? It's getting so crazy. Come on, come on. Where am I supposed to go? I'm not found good anymore. Now I'm lost again. Let's just... Are you running? Are you running? You're... Oh, they already ran? Oh, so dumb. So I guess I need to... Okay. So if it's up like this, they were just going to immediately come out. Okay, okay. This is a lot more complicated than it had to be. Come on, come on. Oh. They really said, how can we hurt him? How can we make his life more of a struggle? We're just gonna get that back. We are going to go and kill the two remaining crystal wizards and get a few items and then we are going to maybe try to find a bonfire and that'll be it. 50 more minutes or so and I wouldn't say a quota, but decent time benchmark. 
G-force is shorter, and so as in, does the car go slower, or is it just about the turns being less tight? Because the tighter tur- okay, okay, okay. Because, yeah, if you had a tighter turn, as I'm sure you're aware, it would. That's more acceleration, because it's not just going forward, it's making the turn, and that would maybe disorient a person. Okay, okay, okay. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta let me through. You gotta let me through. Okay. Please, please, please. Come on, come on. Gonna go back in, and this should be the time that quenches it. Oh, oh, so. He would just basically let his neck hang free. Okay, I thought it was just the turn itself being ridiculously strong. <clears throat> sort of, that's a neck snapping tear. That's dangerous. Bonk, bonk, vroom, vroom. Oh, goodness. Because <clears throat> he wouldn't have been used to that, right? Not really free, okay. So you're over here, you're over here. Hi. And just slam you. Slam, slam, and one more, one more. These guys are annoying. Well, whatever. Then we can... Get the lizards to come down, and then we kill them, and we get their items. Oh, okay. Interesting. Are they gonna come up here now? They should. Hello. Wait, does... I guess it has to be fully aligned vertically for them to come out? Maybe. Let's see. Oh, wow. That's impressive. When I was 18, I wasn't driving F1. So how am I gonna... How am I going to... Hmm. This is certainly something. So whenever the lizards come over, I'll be ready. Hopefully. Come on, come on, and just... Oh, please. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Okay, whatever. Last one, last one. You're dead, and... But what is going to make those wizards come down? Don't worry, I was too. You've got company. So is this going to... No. How many times do I have to spin around for the wizards to come out? For it to go up top? Do I have to go over to the chess? Pretty sure I don't. This is strange. It's like this is Zelda or something. And is this... There we go, there we go. Okay, cool. Nice, and just... There we go, there we... Oh, die, 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 and... One more, one more, one more, one more, die. And just... Oh! Oh, we have to do it again. You've got to be kidding me. Fates don't drink like die nights. I am... Not pleased with this turn of events. Really, really not. One more time, one more time, one more time. Uh, national song... What is the Netherlands national song? I just... Uh, that reminds me of how... Many long years ago... There was an athlete from Kazakhstan, and she won something at the Olympics. And when they were trying to play her national song, they instead played... The derogatory parody national song of Kazakhstan from Borat. And... What's actually really, really, really funny... Is that... Kazakhstan actually likes Borat. In part because the stereotypes actually have nothing to do with him. No, nothing to do with actual Kazakhstan. But, but, oh, it is funny. It's awful, but it's funny. You know who hates Sasha Baron Cohen? Romanians. Because Borat wasn't filmed in Kazakhstan. It was filmed in a village in Romania. And Sasha Baron Cohen promised that it, it was some kind of tourist video that would revitalize the community, but it wasn't. And when they found out what was actually going on, they were furious. Because they did it under the impression that they would get paid or at least get a revitalized community. And instead they had people mocking them while pretending they weren't even who they actually were. So yeah. Sasha Baron Cohen is despised in at least some parts of Eastern Europe. Fun fact for the day. Let's just go over, let's kill that one remaining crystal lizard. One remaining crystal lizard. Hi. Legitimately. Came the castle, came in the chair. Oh, what? How did that... 
Oh, because the backstab slap is does a bit of a stun, but if you don't actually have the ability to backstab, it just does its own thing. If this guy kills me, I swear. Come on, come on. Die, 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 and just... What? What? Okay. Hit. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. There we go. There we go. Okay. In that case, we are going to try again to actually... Can I hit you from here? Oh, I can hit you. Don't think you can hit me. Yeah. Can't see me. Hitting your feet. Getting all medieval on you. Okay. So let's just... Get the wizards again. There's only one left. There is no reason other than my own immense stupidity and clumsiness, which to be fair is prodigious, that I should not be able to kill these lizards. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Just a couple more. It's just... It's rotating on such a weird axis. Gonna have to send it through probably two or three more times to get the wizard to come out. Because it's only when it's fully aligned with the top square hole that it actually makes the wizards come out. Mm -hmm. Okay. One more, one more. This is gonna do it. This is gonna do it. Prepare for greatness. And there you are, there you are. We gotta wait till they come to the corner and then. There we go, and we got two petrified dragon bones, two raw stones, and a three titanite chunks. It's actually pretty good. Okay, but it's just there's supposed to be a bonfire somewhere over here. Don't see it. Hmm. There's also supposed to be should be some way to get inside here. I'm also not seeing that. So how am I going to? from there to there. Must be some kind of illusory wall, maybe. We'll see. So I go down again and then go over this way. Should hopefully find something, but it's just... All the falls I'm having to take are adding up. Hmm. Let's just actually see if I can make this jump. Might not be the best way to get over, but... Okay, cool. Not all that much damage, either. The interesting thing about Dark Souls 2 compared to other Souls games specifically is that... Oh, uh, what? Okay, I'm gonna have to, some other time, just try to look up illusory walls in this area. Because I get the impression that there was an illusory wall that I didn't see that would lead me back to before, or at least let me actually find some of the bonfires. Because there are a number of bonfires which are past illusory walls that you wouldn't really find normally. Let's just go over. There we go. There we go. Please, please. They've started to despise me. They're tormenting me. Has to be delivered at this point. Come on, come on. Ooh, ooh. That was almost bad. Come on, come on. And this, this, this. So where? That's a place I haven't seen yet. There are stairs, but how am I going to get there? Just whatever. Come on, come on. Fall down. Die. Oh, what? Well, I died too. So, you know, whatever. I think that will be a decent enough note to end things on. Thank you to everyone who followed, everyone who watched, even everyone who didn't. I will come back and avenge my humiliation at some later date. Let's just quit out. There we go. But yeah, I will be hopping on at the same time tomorrow to probably get through maybe two of the, the two remaining DLC expansions. And after that, it's just going to be one, maybe two, probably just one more session and Dark Souls 2 will be over and I'll start Bloodborne. So yeah, thank you everybody and Santa Ragan.